right, so I'm gonna be trying out the Nightmare of Dragua. This takes the Tower of Dragua franchise and Mystery Dungeon, like Tornico, Sheer and the Wanderer, all that. Combines it into one, and it's a game for PlayStation 2. So let's let's check it out. If you remember Tornico uh, that I streamed a while back, it's that kind of game, but except this is in 3D. So I'm just starting this out. I don't really know what I'm doing too much, so we'll see how it goes. Here's a game that I don't hear anybody ever talk about. I like that, you know? You guys know I like that. There's like all these other games that I'm supposed to be playing right now. There's like a fan-made um, Castlevania Chronicles thing. There's like, uh, there's a game that's new that's kind of like Hagane. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna play this. Let me see some items. I just got poisoned. So I don't know what this is. I'm gonna hope that this is a um, antidote. Mirror Grave, what's up? I'm using social media. What's going on? Thanks for the subs, guys. Namco PlayStation, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna try it. Let's see. It is an antidote. All right, I got lucky. I don't know how you appraise like potions and stuff to know what they are, so I'm I'm gonna struggle a bit with this. I probably should have practiced this more before starting, but whatever. Guess we'll learn as we go. See, so yeah, these snakes, I am not. Don't. Alright. I don't want to keep getting. See, I don't have any potions left. To... Ooh, 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 ooh. So red means they're gonna attack first with these enemies, and uh, blue or green means I can attack first. I have the key, so I could go. Um, or I can search this dungeon more. It does have the quick move stuff. I'm doing it right now, just like Tornico. And as I move around, I gradually get healed. So I'm going to do that a little bit. I'm just trying to like, heal myself. Hopefully no enemies come before I go to the next area. Can I see how my health is going up? That's how, oh, some kind of fucking ghost or some shit. Hold up. Oh, motherfuck. I haven't seen that before. So I don't know if these enemies are from Tower of Dragula or what, or maybe some of them are, I have to assume. All right. So they would they would do that, but they would take like Pokemon, well, what like Final Fantasy, uh, and now I guess you know uh, Tower of Dragula. They take take these different franchises, and I always said they should have done it with like Zelda or Mario or something, and it probably would have made these like mystery dungeon type games more popular. But Pac-Man, even no, I don't think that that probably wouldn't be the best fit. All right, let's go to the next. Low Life Dirtbag says he's been drinking for 15 hours. All right. Yeah, it's not Dracula. It's a Dr Dracula, which I, I guess, which is like a game that was on, you know, it was arcade and then it was on like PC Engine and... I think Famicom. I don't think it was on NES, though. I take the square, yeah.
You played the original Tower of Dragula, but you've never seen anybody play this game. Yeah, now I know. Whoa. You can't climb up more tiers at once, but you can climb down. Alright, so no idea how I get that. Okay. Oh, so it does let me climb up. Okay. Good, I got a potion. Okay. I didn't know there was going to be, like, climbing upwards. That's interesting. And also, I guess when I got to the new area, it gave me my health back. So that's also kind of nice. What ha Am I going to, like, be swept down here? That's scary. Can I break these? Nice. Okay, so wait. I got a weapon, so how do I equip shit? So I don't even know what I'm doing. Did I just get this? Oh, this is gonna be worse, though. Ah, this it's worse. And oh my god, uh, I just got a bunch of gift subs. Hang on a second. Um, First of all, I fornicate, gifted a sub, or sub, thank you very much, PlayStation 2, yes. Uh, and then AMH1701, gifted out subs to the community, so listen up. Shawnee Mac Attack, you got a sub. Fish Kid 4 got a sub. Rack MK, you got a sub. It Has Begun, She She, Doom Waffle, that guy Arto, Riddler on the Roof, that name always makes me laugh. Uh, Exodus, Zang D33F, and Manga 99 UK, uh, you guys all got gift subs from AMH 1701. Thank you very much for that. Very much appreciated. And Moonwatcher B3 uh, also subbed, and he he said four hours into my drinking. Wait, so there was another guy that was 15 hours into drinking, and you're four hours into drink. So everybody's like drunk tonight. <laughs> okay, I really didn't expect that right now. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, I fornicate. Just gifted out subs. Uh, thanks. Uh, okay, so some more guys got subs here. Uh, Funk Police, you got a sub. Uh, 813, Count Vizcount, Ginger Buddha, Kozo Brain, Zero for You, Low Life Dirtbag, Epcot Pizza, Inhale83, uh, and Muffin Man. You guys all just got gift subs from iFornicate. Thank you once again. And they have gifted out 328 subs on this channel, so thank you very much for that. Okay, and Amagon. What, is that like the NES game? Amagon gifted out subs to the community. To uh, Brawl81, Quix, Draculin, Johnny Bananas, and uh, Rubik's, is it Rubik's Cubes? Uh, you guys got a gift sub from Amagon, and then Brisby sub. Thank you very much. Oh my god. Well, that was very nice. Let's get back to the game. Uh, so, where am I moving here? Thank you very much, guys. So yeah, I, I'm gonna guess that most people have not played this game, but you know, you've probably, uh, well maybe you've played a mystery dungeon game, so you should get the idea of what's going on here. I have not seen this enemy yet. He's got a sword. Thief. See, I don't know what that is. This balance. Here, let's see if I can. Oh, you use the potion to appraise. Oh, yo, I can appraise these. Hold up. Let me see if I can do this. I'll do it on the weapon. Okay, how much is that? So that's. There we go. All right, wait, I'm learning. If you can do more than one thing at a time, but oh, I'm out of those, huh? Well, wait a second. Which ones did I just hit? This thing. No, no, don't place. Hang on. Ooh. 
I mean, no, the, well, the damage is down, so that's not good. Alright, well. Wait a second, but this damage is 8, but the weight is, like, really heavy. Hmm. I mean, that's so much more damage, though. How much is that? See, this is more in my range. I mean, I probably shouldn't go over my weight. Three damage is not great, though. Should I just put it on? Fuck it. I'm gonna try it. Let's see what happens if I'm too heavy. I mean, I'm still able to use it, so fuck it, right? As long as I can still you know, use it, why the fuck not? Oh, did I get a key? I did get, a, get the key. Alright, I guess I'm going to the next level. Boy, I feel like I didn't explore this area very much. Whatever, let's just go. And Low Life Dirtbag, thank you for gifting this up to Timmy the Great. You can take it off at any time, right? I, get, I think so. What is everyone's liquor of choice? Alright, we, we got a drunk chat tonight once again. <laughs> All right, uh, drunk, drunk Dracula. Uh, can I just say Dracula instead of Dragua? It's such a weird name. Night, the Nightmare of Dragua, the Tower of Dragua. Blah. I just want to say Dracula. I'm gonna call it Dracula instead. Wisco six o eight. It's not Dracula. It has nothing to do with that. It's just a weird name. Wisco six o eight. Thank you very much for the sub. Bustin makes you feel good. Uh, uh yes, I'm sure. Uh, Amagon uh, uh, gifted out more subs. Thank you to Retro Slow. Uh, door Hinge uh, rhymes with the one thing that rhymes with orange, by the way. Door Hinge. Orange, Door Hinge. Uh, Tele J. Voltage and Freaky Video Guy. See, did I, did I blow the mind of the drunken chat? The drunken chat's like, there's nothing that rhymes with orange. Let me tell you, and I'm having an orange vodka. And I'm like, what about orange door hinge? And they're like, oh shit! Let me have another. Yeah, basically. Whoa, dude. Uh, Amagon also gifted us up to Daniel99510. Thank you very much, Amagon. Oh my god. Appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Uh, and I, oh, so I can save and quit, but I don't want to do that. And then that takes you back to. So there's like an. There's like a room that you start in where you can get like tips from people and stuff. I'm just gonna like see how far I can go. And I'm assuming if I die, I have to go through the whole dungeon again because it's like that kind of game, right? So like, I should probably should have read that. Got shield. It's unappraised though. Wait, everything's gotta be appraised. So I don't have any more of those appraising things, whatever. It's called. Oh, what the fuck is this? Yo. So doing that doesn't count as a move, I guess? Huh. Did he just warp me? Also, he like fucked me up. Oh my god. Am I dead? It will not affect your level, but you lose all your items. Here, let me do this for a bit and see if I can get my health back. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Um. 
What? <laughs> How about, do I have, can I just use like a health potion or something? Ability potion. Fuck. Healing potion. Here. There. Good. Do I have any more of those? I don't know what the fuck I was talking about, by the way. Like, that's what I'm worried about with this stream, is I'm not gonna know. Oh, I have five of these. Okay. I didn't realize I had that many. Alright, I guess I'm good. Because, like, with Tornico, you'd have to eat, but I maybe there maybe you don't have to do eat, eating with this game. Uh-oh, he's got the high ground. <laughs> Piece of shit. I, dude, I don't like these things. They just seem like bad news. Like, I can't even hit them, right? What the fuck is this? Okay. Alright, well, I did something. Warp me! I hate that. And there's this little map, by the way, in the lower right, so I gotta, like, I'm uncovering all that. Does that do anything? <laughs> I'm, like, smacking the fucking... Wait, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, there's the exit, but I didn't get the key yet. A potion. Oh, by the way, I forgot I can do that. You can spin the camera. Oh, yo, is that it? See that yellow thing on the map? I think that that's, oh god. somewhere? Dude, I can't even see where I am. There, alright. Oh, fucking, I got it. Also, by the way, I can do, there's like this shit. So you use the right control stick and then you can put on like, you can do like magic power. I, for, I forgot that I, I can do that too. So I'll do that next time, I guess. I'm like learning the game, so... It, it works a little differently than Tornico, so I gotta, like, learn how this game works. Uh, oh man. Good. No, 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 no. Get, get off, get off, get off. Gotta spin. Okay. So it's R1 and L1 to spin the camera. There we go. I'm trying to figure out how I can get down there. Barely see anything. There we go. Go. Yes, please go to the next floor. Barely making it through this. Do, 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 do. I wonder how many floors it was. Tornico, like, went on forever. Do, 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 do. Offer something to restore the vision. Oh yeah, like I don't really know how you do that. Let me see. How about like this? Here, offer. 
Oh, I guess that worked. They let me have, or kind of. Is that like only part partially restored? Who am I offering to? The devil? Maybe it's a Dracula. Like a Pac-Man maze. I mean, maybe that, that's why I like this, because it's it's pretty much Pac-Man. I mean, that's all this game is. I'm playing Pac-Man. You're going around, and instead of ghosts, it's skeletons or whatever. That's all. And also, this game is Namco, by the way, like dead serious. Actually, you can see it on the box. It's fucking Pac-Man. I knew there was something I liked about this game. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Like, you're not kidding. That's really fucking funny. Hey Mike, nice Pac-Man game. The chat says to me. Mike moves into PlayStation 2 era and he plays the one game that's basically Pac-Man. <laughs> Couple differences, but it's pretty much Pac-Man. Yo, that That has a skull on it. Is that going to be like really bad? I just want to get stronger and stronger. Time to time to grind. It's one of those games. It's a grindy game. Do you guys mind? We're gonna we're gonna be grinding the fuck out of this game so I can get anywhere. I spent like three hours on this dungeon right here. I don't even leave the hallway. Uh oh. Now nah, I'm in trouble. Actually though, if I go to the door, it refills my health, right? So, I guess that's the thing. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Where's my health? I don't have all that many of these. Oh, dude. Fucking eat my shit. I need to be better than these skeletons. <laughs> I'm not. I suck. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> and I know it. Come on, give me my crap back. You can't do that. Oh, what did he just do to me? What is this? Is, this, is that like attack down? <sighs> There's always something. I guess I'll use antidote. But it only cures poison. I don't think that's poison. I don't know what that effect is. Shit. Maybe if I go to the next area, it'll go away. Let's find out if this game works like that. Oh! It went away. Oh, maybe it only lasts so long. Okay, here. God damn it with you. At least I know your bullshit doesn't last. Back. Oh, you shit. You shit. Give me my health. They suck. They suck. <laughs> Offer item three. 
covered divine protection of the goddess. So she's giving me my vision or whatever. All right. So is that basically like a torch? Is that what they're saying? Divine protection. Uh, in my day, it was torch. All right. I will offer up. Um. Hold up. First of all, let's see, like. Like, what sucks? <laughs> the short sword sucks. You can have that. Good. Alright. Now I know what I'm doing. Uh, I swear. Sure I do. Where's this damn door? Oh, there it is. Yeah, you suck. You suck! There should be a little cutscene. Alright. I think they give you something to leave the dungeon. Oh, the feather, by the way. So that's, so like in Tornico, it had the outside spell or whatever, remember that? So in this game, it's got, oops, I'm hitting the wrong thing. It's got, that, the feather, warp you back to town. So I could always do that too, but, so also, like, I would appraise this stuff, but I don't have any more of this appraising potion stuff, like, so. I'll just have to wait on that, I guess. Unless there's some other way to appraise that I don't know about, but. Or maybe you can appraise stuff in town. That, I'm not sure. Like, may maybe what they want me to do is, like, I make it as far as I can, and then I, like, use the feather, go back to town, get my stuff appraised, and then go through the dungeon again. Like, that might be what this wants. I'm not really sure. Red Zero, what's up? Thank you very much for the tier three sub. Uh, and I have no fucking idea what you're talking about, I gotta tell ya. <laughs> Sounds like some Lord of the Rings shit. This game purposely wants to throw in weird ass names so you can't remember it. Maybe so. That's okay, lol. Yeah, dude, I have no idea what you were talking about. What's the difference between protection and defense? Maybe, maybe I have no idea. But you know, it'd be great if we can raise both of them. Let's just work on raising everything. <laughs> maybe one's to do like protection from magic or something, and the other one could be like defense. Defense might be for attack, like physical attacks. Maybe that's just a guess. Honestly, no idea. I think that's a good question. He's like, what's the difference between defense and protection in this stupid ass game you're playing? You ever think of that, Mike? No, I didn't. I didn't think of it. Got ass blaster? Yo. What did that say? I got, I'm gonna fucking blast some ass here. All right, let's blast some ass. All right, ass blaster shard. Oh, ice element. So I can throw that as like a magic attack or some shit. What is it called? Al Ala blaster. Oh, all right. <laughs> Same thing. Same shit.
Okay, so can I, like, put those on? Or they gotta be, like... Oh, yeah, they're better. Alright, got something better. I need more ways to, like, identify my items or whatever the hell they call it in this. Oh my god, these guys were in Tornico. It's like, oh, never mind. I thought he was going to be, like, the metal... Remember, like, the little metal jelly guys? But he was not... Gold? If you make it through, like, in, in, let's say, Tornico, like, the 20 floors or whatever, I don't remember how many floors it was, maybe it was, like, 40 floors, and then you get the box, and then you make it back, you basically, like, beat the game. I wonder if this is, like, similar, like, you get, you get down, like, 30 floors, and then you make it back, like, I'm assuming. In this game, you're supposed to, like, it's not, like, a treasure chest you're getting, you're, I think we're rescuing a princess, you know, so... Oh, oh, I see the thing over there. Also, by the way, this is made by the same company that did Tornico. Whoa, what the hell is this? Don't poison me. Roper? Hey, did I ever tell you that you fucking suck? Stanley. Whatever. Stanley, Stanley, take out the trash. Fuck you, you fucking bitch. <laughs> I mean, like, pretty much. Is this thing gonna fucking die? Is, am I doing anything? It's not like doing it at all. Maybe you have to have the divine protection for it to. Alright, fine. Here. Here, have my ass blaster. Good. Now maybe it'll let me. doesn't work as well as Tornico would get my damn health back. It's like slow. Oh, if you're on ground, it seems to come back faster than if you're in the water. I think. That might be a thing. Maybe. I gotta get this damn key. Yeah, but this fucking green thing is a problem. Maybe I have to use, you know what? Maybe, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use one of these things that I haven't been doing. All right, violent, violent twister. <laughs> oh, is that like, you have to be right next to me? Shit, I, see, I don't know what these things do. Extreme force, here you go. Come on! Dude, I used extreme force. You piece of shit. Well, I, you died, right? Give me this damn key. 
extreme ass blast. Extreme force out of my ass. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Fuck. You fuck! Yo, wait. Why don't I just hang out here near the door? And then I can fucking leave. Yeah, that's what I need. Oh, that's, oh, but then, then this shit. How about if I fight? Oh, and you know what? I can't get back health. You can't get back health. If you, if you don't have, like, the protection shit, uh, that sucks. But, I'm still getting experience. Uh-oh. What's that all about? I guess I better leave. Oh, I have to, I have to like, offer bullshit here. All right. So that's how they prevent you from, like, just leveling up. Oh, they're smart about this. They're like, you're not allowed to grind too much. You can only grind a little bit, motherfucker. Hmm. you get this. See, I need to be able to offer stuff. Should I go back? If I go in this door, it lets me, well, for one thing, it lets me save, but I could use the feather and go back. Because I'm wondering if I can identify, I have all this shit. Gloves, helm, like, Potion, boots, shield, another potion, weapon. What I'm wondering is if I go back to town, if there's somebody that lets me, like, identify all this stuff for free. Like, that's what I don't know. Did I collect all the pellets? I'm working on that. We're gonna get the power pack pellet and all that. Go back. All right, I'm gonna do it. This might be a bad idea, but I gotta try this at some point, right? Let's try it. I gotta figure out how this game works. All right, so let's see. We're going back to town. guy going. There's the Pac-Man going by. So it does have a thing like that. Now I'm happy. So is my level still high or what? Let's say. I'm still level 7. And do I have my items? I still have my items. Alright. So let's talk to you. Inscribed. Oh, I think the inscribing lets me keep like one thing. So, wait a second. So basically like, I, I think I have to choose like what my best thing is. Hang on, does anybody let me? Good luck. They say they're nothing. Like, oh, you should just equip. 
Hey, you know what you gotta do, Mike? You gotta equip your shit. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm looking how to... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. He said something about appraising. Appraise at the appraiser shop. Yeah, where is that? I didn't even look at any of this. Okay, hang on. Are you? All right, yeah, 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 shut up. Where is the appraised shop? Oh. I didn't know there was, oh. I didn't know there was this whole area existed. Here you can have your items appraised. I don't know about combining. This is like a whole thing. All right, are you the... Okay, you're the combine. Are you the appraised? Nah. You. You're combined. No, I don't want it. No, not now. I'll learn that later. You! This is the guy. Alright. Yes. Let's ask this guy about combining. What's the deal with it? All right, weapons with weapons, armor with armor, okay. Their qualities get mixed together, producing a new item that's better and stronger. That's kind of cool. So if you get like two kinds of armor, you can put them together. That's neat. Can I do that at all? I might have to come back later when I have like more stuff. Okay, let, that, I mean, that's kind of cool. Um, is there anything I can do? Yeah, I did it. Um. All right, I guess I combined a couple things. So let's say, and then as far as equipping, um, all right, I mean, that's the highest for that, right? Okay, that's on already, right? Armor, gauntlets. Uh, is that like auto-equipping the shit that's good already? That's good. I wish there was a button to like auto, like I want like an auto-equip best stuff button. I don't know if that exists. I should save it. That's what I need, because I'm stupid. I need auto-equip best. Th some games have that, right? Like I think some games have that. Optimize. Yeah, Final Fantasy games have it, yeah. 
I wonder if this has a yeah Final Fantasy. I, th I feel like uh, yeah Final Fantasy Six, right? Oh, turn off the console. Wait, I just wanted to fucking say that you have to turn the console off. Fuck. Well, this better not fuck up the whole stream. <laughs> the hell. PlayStation. All right. Oh, you want to save? You're done playing. I know, right? It was like bullshit. Well, that's why we're in the retro category, right? I guess you can't continue from a previous save point. No, I should. That should have saved it, and then I would imagine I could keep going from where I just was. You should just be able to save, and then like, can, like I didn't know it was gonna fucking do all that. This is basically like, don't turn off, don't save it until you're fucking like done for the day. I guess like. I don't know. It's, that's like a little weird, isn't it? Jeez. Yes. Load successful. Well, that's good. You always want your load to be successful. All right, he's going after the little guy. Is that the dude I fought down in the dungeon? All right, there you go. We're going back. Are you tired? Do you want to take a break? All right, here we go. We're going back into the dungeon. Oh yeah, I gotta get this asshole to move out of the way. How about just step the fuck out of the way in the first place? Go. Should have never left the damn dungeon. Red Zero, thank you for getting that subs community. Get that subs to flow. Pig Riser, Chill84, Kenzo, Butt Clown, Captain Perseus, Gamer Nerd, Tora84, Mander, and TJ Cardillac. Thank you very much. Red Zero for gifting out those subs. I appreciate it. All right, here we go. Back to the dungeon. So now I can kick everybody's ass on level one. Do I only have like one feather now though to get out? Oh no, I have two. Huh. So I can continually like leave and get stronger. Interesting. Can I like there? Got earrings. Got aqua shoes. That's what I always wanted, some aqua shoes. Look at me now. Look at my fucking shield and shit. Now we're, now we're going. Now I'm awesome. Break down the door. Oh, a bonus dungeon. Oh, I better not. No, 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 no. 
I'll just die, and then that'll be the end of the game. Then it'll be a giant waste. That's kind of cool, though. Maybe later. So you get the idea? That's what this game is. That's what we're doing here tonight. Alright, I got Antidote. You go around. You get the fucking key. You go to the door. You, you go in the door. You go to the next de le level down. And then there's more enemies. You know? And then you go and you go and you go until you eventually probably die. I'd like to get a poison resist. If such a thing resists. I, I hate in these ga in games when I get poisoned and then I don't have like an antidote or you know, you always gotta worry about poison. In Tornico I feel that way too. It's always like, oh I hate that so much. And then you're walking around poisoned. It sucks. Yo, I'm just gonna go. Fuck it. Use the key. Break down the door. Better than Elden Ring? I expected this game to not be like the arcade game, but it's kind of similar. Wasn't this an arcade game? Tower of Dragula was, but it's, you know, this is more Mystery Dungeon. You missed the Tornico music? I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Piece of fuck? Stop moving. You suck. Dude, that sounded like a Zelda sound effect, like seriously. Not to make everything Zelda, but it really did. How do you hit a ghost with a mace? I don't think that should be like a thing. What is that green over there? Fucking poison me. I think that goes away, right? I'm continually getting hurt. Fuck. Oh, that is poison status, isn't it? Shit, I thought it wasn't. Sure. Is it wor it's worse that like I'm not putting that shit on. Let's fucking sell that to the gods. It'll offer that shit up. Look at this ray tracing, isn't it amazing? What gods? The god when you off have to offer shit. The whole like level goes like you can't see shit. And then you're like, oh, offer something to some I don't know, who the fuck am I offering then to? Louie Anderson? I assume it's the fucking gods. Maybe Louie Anderson's god. Like fuck. Richard Dawson. Actually. Got armor. Get equipped with.
thank you, Randy Hathaway, for the sub. Gonna get your Super Pac-Man badge? All right. Keep going. Remember Ma Man 2 from the other day? Oh my god, Man 2. Yeah, that was, like, broken, right? I might play that Mario one again sometime, that Mario 2 hack I was playing. He's like, all right, I'm not gonna fight you. I'll just, I'll just look this way. That's right. You turn around and you look that way. I'm gonna bash your fucking skull in. All right, I got the key. Let's get the fuck out of here. And I'm a thief. Good enough. Use the key. Destroying crates. What is this? Crash Bandicoot? Go down the waterfall? I don't want to die or something, though. Isn't it Zelda sound effects? There was a couple that sounded a little bit similar. I mean, they might have been doing that a little bit. Oh, the health didn't come back. Fuck me. Nice. All right. So health is not coming back in the water. For sure. Here, can I get up there? No. Like a little bit, it's coming. It, th that, like, I don't know what to do with that, um, or what that fucking thing is. This, like, ghost thing. Where the fuck is the key? I could be like appraising some stuff. If I ever get an appraised potion, otherwise it's like go back to the beginning and go to that fucking whatever the fuck his name was. I don't even fucking remember what his name was. The fucking like monk guy. To get my shit appraised. I guess do that at the end, you know? Do 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 do. PGMF21, thanks for the sub. It's nice. 
you heal up when you reach a new level. Y y do you though? Like maybe a little bit? I should pay more attention to that. I think they do some, like I'm not full, so it's like maybe somewhat. Well, that was quick. All right. Too many items. Oh, I didn't know that could be a thing. Shit. Whoa, hang on a second. Oh my god! I'm gonna be heavy, I know, but fuck. Dude, I don't even care. I'll be heavy. I'll be I'll be a fucking tank. I don't fucking care. Dude, I had no idea. Fuck it. I'm like, oh wow, I'm like so too many items again. Too damn slow. Um, it, I mean, this might be a really bad idea. Oops. Dude. Mm. It's like, now I just want. Can I, like, sell shit? Like, let's say, like. Like this shit. Can I fucking sell this? Offer. Maybe I gotta go, like, go back to town again to sell shit? Like, where do you do that? Fuck. Now I'm not gonna fucking get anything. I, I need to take this thing off, dude. I think I'm just too damn slow with that. Like, this is sort of a medium here. Like, that would suck, so this would be, like, a little better. Maybe I won't be quite as slow. Man, I don't know. I don't know how you sell items. Also, there's a thing for like valuables. What is this? Quest items, hence. Yeah, I, if anybody knows how you sell shit in this game, let me know. Square to sort? Oh, really? I'm hit, I'm doing that. It's not doing anything. Unless I already have the best. Or you mean under items? Hang on. Oh. Under items. But I meant like sorting under like like if I click on like that and then I yeah and then I do that it's like what's the most powerful is what I meant and I don't know that it's doing that or maybe it is no it's not yeah but I need I need to know how to fucking sell shit this is a problem I mean I can just grind and like level up but. Yeah, it's for the item menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, now I know that. But now I need to know how to sell shit. 
never seen this game before. I mean, this is the first time I've played it. As you can tell. Too many items. <laughs> Go to eBay and sell. Yeah, right. What's up, D. Whitehill? I, I'll just try to get as far as I can get, I guess. I'm leveling. I'm at eight yet. Yeah. Let's just see how far I can go. See, this thing's a fuck. I'm gonna give him the violent twister. Yeah. Here. Have a fucking violent twister, motherfucker. Man. I don't know what to do with those guys. They're fucking strong as shit. It's like, how strong are you? I killed one of those before, didn't I? Like. Impossible. Oh. Smash hammer? Oh my god. A second. Dude, I don't even care. The fuck? Oh, here. What are you gonna do? The only thing is they're fast, but I still hit them. What's that? Like 105 damage? Bitch! You get a little smash hammer in your fucking pussy. And then you're fucking, fucking destroyed. Fucking bitch. Look at that shit. I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> this is awesome. Small improvement. Yeah, big fucking improvement. You did it first try. I know. Now we're... Now... Now we're fucking playing Nightmare of Dracula. Yo, isn't that like Christopher Lee? Like, <laughs> do you think Christopher Lee played this game back in the nineties? I think probably that's what he was doing. In between, like. When he was waiting for his scene on the sets of like Lord of the Rings, he's like, All right, we got like an hour until I'm gonna be like Saruman. All right, yo, you got like a PS2, and who's got a PS2? And like one of the audio engineers is like, yeah, I got a PS2, it's in my truck. He's like, set that shit up. What games do you got? He's like, uh, I got Nightmare of Dragula. He's like, perfect, let's go. You know why? Why is that? Because I want to get the smash hammer. He's like, oh yeah, it's a good item. He's like, I know. 
You think I don't fucking know about fucking PS2 Nightmare and Drag, you motherfucker? I'm Christopher Lee, bitch. <laughs> Catalyst 17. Thank you for the sub. Kielbasa sausage. Hey, I got kielbasa down here. Throw in my pee pee. <laughs> Fucking, oh, uh, what was that fucking guy's name? Oh, um, I can't fucking remember. <sighs> Anybody remember that fucking comedian? Um, I know it was like the fucking 90s. Uh, I'll never think of it. Columbo1994, thank you for the sub. No. Um, I don't know. I'll look it up later. Like, remember when they used to do like comedians on like VH1 and shit, in, like the '90s. has lived through this thing. This is what you want. Oh, this is the thing that I should get the fucking lady to use her spell on or whatever so I can't lose it. Whatever it's called at the town. I should probably do that before I fucking lose this thing. But how can I die if I can kill everything in one hit? I, be I shouldn't, I better not say that. Oh, now, I wait, hang on. I think I like this game. It's pretty it's pretty good. I don't know. It, it kind of moves a little slower, I'd say, than Tornico, but like it's pretty cool. Oh, door's like over there. Hang on. And I don't know, I can move fast enough to... Still use this thing, so fucking look it up or anything like how you fucking sell shit maybe it says do I have the instruction oh this manual oh my god this will take me an hour to find this Alka 
Optimus inscribing is what I want to do to this smash hammer. Residential area. Here we go. The shopkeeper. It's in the town. It's Tarkus. Shopkeeper. That's how you fucking do it. All right. Hey! I've been streaming for seven years. I think that's the first time I ever looked at an instruction manual and, like, found information that I needed. First time. <laughs> that might, like, literally be... If, if, if it happened another time, it was probably, like, once. Okay. So... I could go back to town and sell all the bullshit and then come back and do it again. Like, fuck it. Let's do it. I'm doing it. And, and also, I want to inscribe the, um, the smash hammer. I want to inscribe my smash hammer. I want to get a tattoo on my cock. That's what it fucking sounds like, right? <laughs> next time you, next time you guys get a tattoo on your cock, you go in, say, say to the guy, "I'd like to inscribe my smash hammer." And the guy's gonna be like, "Huh? What? All right, yeah. You just flop it on the table. All right. All right. Here we go. How do you like your new Bulbasaur?" Um, alright, let me, first of all, let's inscribe my smash hammer. Inscribe items. Smash hammer. Two-handed weapon. <laughs> you don't have enough money? Oh! Well, I will, because I'm going to go sell shit. Alright, I get it. Different area? How big is this fucking town? Hold up, I gotta find this shop guy. This might be him. Nope. this fucking guy look like? Oh my god, it's gonna take like an hour. They should make this part, like, quicker. <sighs> He's to the right of steps. Th this is him. Come Okay. that this was a little quicker because you got the selling guy okay this okay now I have a complaint with this game the the dude to sell shit 
and the dude to like do all this shit. They should just be on the like. How about this? How about just make these make these two like you praise here and you fucking sell shit here, like you know. So it's all, put it, put all the important things on one screen instead of making me walk all over the place. That I don't like. Cause then then and then it's got to fucking load in between the fucking screens. That is fucking stupid. I mean, as long as you're in no rush, I guess it's fine. But it's like it's kind of like it's really not fine either way. Let's like praise shit. Can I praise everything at once? Like, I think you should be able to praise everything at once, too. It's like, I want everything appraised, dude. Just, like, just one at a time shit. Alright, um... Nothing's equipped. Did I sell that? Fuck. <laughs> Shit. I didn't mean to sell that. Okay. We got another pair of earrings on. Really? I sold the fucking shield? Well, I made a mistake. Shit. Well, I'll get another shield then, I guess. That's not good. Uh... Aqua scale. Yeah, I was gonna like hold on to that because it's like the heavy thing, right? Leather whip. I'm gonna just keep smash hammer. I should sell all these. Leather whip. I should sell all those. I can't believe I sold the fucking shield though. That was stupid of me. Where is man baby doodling and crosswords? Uh, it's in your ass, I think. Some things have to get retired. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> he says, damn it. I don't know, maybe I'll do it again sometime. Dance for us. Yeah, exactly. I'm playing this fucking game. I fucking care. Um, Alright, let me not... Dude, I thought I had that shield equipped, though. It let me sell something that was equipped? I don't think it should let you sell something that's equipped. Maybe I, like... I don't like that it did that.
Oh, maybe the little flashing is it means that it is, I guess. Alright. And now I have to find another shield. So I kind of fucked this up, but... Wait, can you buy... Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Can I just buy a shield? Because the guy was selling stuff, right? I'm sorry. I, I need to... I, I shouldn't go into here without a shield. Like, may, maybe he'll sell me one. Because it did have a buy option. Or, or there was a... There was, like, a blacksmith downstairs, but that was, like, to combine stuff. I'm hoping this guy just has a shield for sale. I can't believe it let me sell an item that I had equipped. I, like, I don't... That's another thing I don't really like. He's not gonna have... You know what, though? I could be buying some of these. Okay, so I have nine of those ability antidotes. You know what? I would like to have more antidotes, actually, because I fucking hate that. All right. All right, so I, I guess I'm going to walk down to the bottom and see if I can buy a shield. Cause the, so the dude up top is only selling, like, potions and shit. Oh, fuck. Is it the... It's the two-handed weapon. That's fucking why. Oh, my God. I didn't even think of that. I forgot that it's a two-handed fucking thing. Dude, you're right. That's why it let me sell. That is why it let me sell it. Because when I fucking... Okay, there... Oh, my God. I didn't even fucking think of that. I'm stupid. So when I switched it to Smash Hammer, it took that off, and it was not equipped. Okay. That makes way more sense. Okay. Because I was like, why the fuck would it let me sell that? So that is not a game mistake. That's a me... That is a me mistake that I forgot it was a two-handed weapon. Okay. Oh my god. You're totally right. Oops. What are you gonna do? Enjoy your new Mike Matei brand coffee creamer. What do you think it's made out of? Oh, oh, motherfucker. You know this guy's name? This guy's name is Hey underscore Mike underscore Mega Man. Hey Mike, Mega Man. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So can I get, so do I have 10 now? I got 10, there we go. Boom. That noise, that sound. Isn't that not a Zelda sound? Dude, dude, dude. Which Zelda is that? Is that like fucking Wind Waker or something? I'm telling you. Mike, do you ever feel like a porn star? When I put my cock and balls um, in my kitchen drawer and I slam the kitchen drawer, usually a lot of times then. What about you? Just slam the drawer and the spoons and shit are like going all over the place. <laughs> it's a problem. Does the kitchen drawer usually break at that point? Yeah, but I have a lot of kitchen drawers, so 
you know, one breaks, so then I move on to the next. Twilight Princess. Mm. Have you ever beaten Kid Icarus and gotten the good ending? Yeah, but you know what? Once you get... If I was going to do that, I didn't want to do it on, like, the first quest. But then it would just be, like, continual grinding, and it's just like... Ugh. Um... Like, is it worth it? And then if you go, if you do it on the second quest, which I guess is the point of the second quest, it's just to basic. Second quest is basically god mode, is what it is, and then it's just like, I don't know. I, I, I think it's kind of stupid. You waste the time, kind of. At that point, it's like you already beat it, and then if there was additional challenge to it, then I'd be, I'd be down. But it's just, it's fucking stupid. It's totally not what it should be, in my opinion. I don't. Know. Some people like m might like that, be like, "Oh, I beat the game and now I get to go through it again," and like, like I'm ultra powerful or whatever. But then it's like, then you're just there's no challenge anymore because you just destroy everything. And it's like you've already been playing the game for hours and hours or whatever. So it's like, what? Like, I I'm good at that point. I don't know. Kind of stupid. Unfortunately, but I do think a good hack of that game should be made. Like, there's a better game in there for sure. I'd be down to play like new levels and like make the game a little harder and fix the bosses and you know make some of the item maybe make some better items or something. Maybe some new items. Oh, what level? Am I just level up? Level 9, alright. What's my least favorite Zelda game? Or games? Um. Uh. uh Phantom Hourglass, I don't like. Spirit tracks, I don't really care for. Uh, I obviously like Zelda CDI games, but like you can't ruin if you want to count them, but most people wouldn't. Um, uh, I feel like I'm forgetting some. What else is, do I not really like? I don't personally really like Majora's Mask very much. I know a lot of people like love that one. I just feel like it's very it's so different with the time travel and all that. I don't I don't care for that. Um, I like I do like the atmosphere of it. I just don't like the time travel stuff. Like I think the characters and like the mood the mood of it is like awesome. Um it, it, but it's just like it's like I find the time travel stuff to be like really annoying. Honestly, like, a, a hack of Majora's Mask that it's, like, Majora's Mask, a, li a linear Majora's Mask, you know, would actually be pretty cool. Because I do, I do like those characters and stuff, but... And I kind of like, I do kind of like the weirdness of it. It's very odd. There's, like, a part in that game that has, like, like a UFO. A, you know, like, it's, like, cows and, like, a UFO and stuff. It, from what I remember, right? It's, it's it's weird. Um, I don't, other than that, I feel like I mostly like the rest of them. I don't know if I'm forgetting any. Like I like Minish Cap. I like Zelda. Zelda Two. Link to the Past. I, I like Link Between Worlds. I like the Oracle games. I like I like Wind Waker for the most part. It's got problems, I know, but I like when you're in the dungeons in Wind Waker and you get through some of the bullshit parts. There is definitely bullshit to that, but it's like you know, fucking Zelda Two has some bullshit. I don't like the fucking overworld map in Zelda Two, but that's still like one of my favorite Zelda games. You know, 
sometimes you gotta pull, put up with the bullshit to get to the good shit. You know, I'll tell you what I, I do hate about um, Wind Waker is... So I don't mind exploring the ocean because there's a lot of things to do on the ocean. Like, there might be, like, an octopus thing to fight or there might be, like, a, uh, an, island, like an island to discover and then you go onto the island and then you figure out some kind of cool Zelda puzzle. Like, that's all well and good. But what I do hate is I fucking hate getting the Triforce shards. That is something in Wind Waker, and I'm a guy that likes Wind Waker, but I fucking hate that. Because you're in the fucking boat, and then you have a crane, and then it shows... I hate the, I hate the crane going down to the water, and then you miss like the thing, and then you gotta bring the crane back up, and then you gotta turn the ship like a little bit, but... And then you drop the thing, and you're like, oh, I'm not... I have to be, like, a foot back. So then you gotta, like, change the wind or some shit. You change the wind, and then you go, you go like, a little too far, and you're just like, that, that part fucking sucks. So that's the, that's the thing I really probably hate the most about, about Wind Waker, actually. But I would say the positives outweigh the negatives but they're, they're definitely and also there's like in the town what is it the the main town with the like the windmill and all that I feel like there's too many fucking people like too many side quest things they gotta like kind of do that it's like a little bit too much I don't mind doing some side quests but some of like the going around and talking to the kids and there's like the one kid with the snot coming out of his nose and stuff there's definitely things I don't like about it But, but then you get to the dungeons, and they're fucking awesome. And I love the style of it. Like, I love the, um, it's got a slow start, too. Like, it takes a while to, like, get to the shit. But I would, like, like, you, you could fix that game and basically just make it, like, like, quicker to get, have, like, have, like, a water thing with, like, a, like, a little mini dungeon, and then go to the main dungeon. Like, a thing to make it quicker to get to the fucking dungeons, because that's the good part of the game. And I think a lot of people miss out on that because they don't want to do the water stuff, and I get that. It's, I understand that. But, I mean, Zelda's about exploration, so I don't mind that to a certain extent. Like, there are some good aspects to the water part, but some, it's like there's, there's goods and there's bads. It's kind of all over the place. So... Did I miss one? I feel like I missed, like, some Zelda games that I'm not thinking of right now that, you know, I feel like there's something else that sucks, <laughs> you know, what did I not mention? Oh, yeah, Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess. Princess. I think I mostly liked it, but I felt like the enemies in the overworld were too sparse. And I didn't love turning into the wolf. It was like alright, but sometimes I felt like it went on a little too long for me. And some people really like the wolf stuff. Um but like most mostly i liked twilight princess actually and there's some really cool stuff in that game you know what the problem with twilight princess is they get you, the, there's the uh, the ge the gear thing that's like a really awesome item that you get from that like pyramid dungeon or whatever you fight that like skull head and then you're going on the wall it's like the thing where you can go on the walls it's like this spinning gear thing and that thing's awesome 
But then after that, there's like barely anywhere else in the rest of the game where you can use that item. There's like one area like in the overworld where you can like use it to get like a heart piece, you know? But there's like barely anywhere to f use that thing. And it's like, that's such a cool Zelda item. And it's like, you only really get to use it well there. And I feel like they should have made something else later in the game where you could really use that like a lot and there's and it's a kind of a missed opportunity with that because that's a cool item um i don't know i feel like they should have designed that to where you could have like went around the whole like overworld with it or something somehow or i don't know or like a good portion of the overworld Um, and then Skyward Sword. Oh. I mean, as long as you're playing it, like, you can play it without the, like, swinging around the Wiimote, right? But I've played it with, like, you're swinging the fucking Wiimote around, and, like, I hate, I fucking hate that. You know? It's, like, it's, I think it's, like, a good... Zelda game, as long as you're not doing that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just have it without swinging the Wiimote around, and then then it's like, all right. You played the HD version with the stick, yeah. Like if you do that, then it's probably like, all right. I don't know. When I originally played it, though, I played it with the Wiimote, and that really made me not like it. I'm Crocs. Thank you very much for the sub. This game looks interesting. It's it's fucking pretty cool. Um, it's got a few problems. The, the town could be better. Because it takes a little too long to fucking sell things and whatever. But, I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool, though. I'm enjoying it. I, I kind of want to now just see how far I can make it. Because I keep going back to the town, but at some point I gotta, like man up here and see how far I can fucking go. I, I've been playing this, like, very cautiously so far. It's probably time for me to stop doing that. At some point, you gotta just kinda go for it, you know? Maybe I can use some of these things more. Do I have any, like... Like that? Light element magic. Use that thing on an enemy or something? Like, I don't know. But it's like, I kind of don't even need to, because the smash hammer just kills everything. So it's like, just go, I guess. I don't know. What I could really use in this game is, like, to, uh, to be able to carry more stuff. You can only carry so much. start offering. I mean, at some point I'll start offering up more crap. I guess when I get down into the deeper dungeons, I'll worry more about grabbing new items. Because right now it's probably all garbage, I guess. Right? But I feel relatively, like, safe. I got some armor. I got some I got the fucking smash hammer thing. I can't lose it right now because it's inscribed, so, like, it should be pretty good. I, don't, I, li I like this kind of shit, these, like, mystery dungeon games. There's, there's a Pokemon one. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, I guess it is. I haven't played that. Um, but, like, if you're, like, a Pokemon fan, you might... 
you know, it, if you want to try a mystery dungeon type of game, you might want to try that. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's good. I would imagine it's like these, I guess. I'm more of a sword and sorcery kind of person, so like this is more my kind of thing, but... covered in shit. Uh, you should go clean yourself off. And then come back. Go take a shower and come back. Menus are very Final Fantasy in this. I'm just gonna... Well, let's see. Because I got the smash hammer, let's see. One. Two. So it's three hits with the smash hammer to kill one of those now. The before was like 100 hits. Look at this fucking shit. Is he fucking standing in the corner jerking off? For real. Um, I have to go this way, right? Two feathers. I, by the way, I know I, I haven't been using my like magic that much, but I, I use it just like if there's like a strong enemy or something. Save it for that because I mean, why, why? I mean, look, this fucking smash hammer just kills everything. So why would I bother? I'd be wasting my magic. To, you know. There is actually a Tornico Mystery Dungeon game on PS2. Yeah, no, I know about that. Um, it's like it's like the fourth one or something. Yeah, I haven't uh, I haven't played that one yet. And then there's like um, there's like all different ones. The other one I want to play is just the Tornico game on PS1. So I want to play that too. There's too many things that I want to do. the strongest enemies deserve the violent twister. <laughs> You're a fucking knight with low intelligence. Who cares about magic? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're not wrong. I mean, listen, if this was the middle, middle ages, like, that would be me. I'd just be the dude with, that's the only chance I'd have. I'd be like, I have a giant axe, and I'm gonna swing it at your head, and if maybe I'll win, I'll, good chance I'll die, but that's my, that's me. I'm just gonna take, I'm not gonna be like the fucking, uh, I'm not the alchemist, okay? I'm not gonna get the guy in the, in the, in the hut making the potions. I wouldn't be, I would put one potion and another potion, and then the hut would blow up. You know, it would be bad. So I'm not. Uh, I'm not that. I'm, I'm the idiot with the smash hammer. It's very accurate. at this point if they're like like the golden chests or just the special chests or whatever. Fuck 
focus is key. Get again so far. Pain in the ass. Map. Alright, now I gotta figure out how to get over to the exit. Oh, you fuck. Do 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 do. Am I level 11 now? I think I'm level 11. Oh, level 9? That's it? Fuck. That was more than that. Anything good in here? Fucking idiot with a fucking hammer. <laughs> That's all I am. I'm an idiot with a hammer. Pathetic. I'm pathetic! Telepathic! Thank you for that sub. Hammer smash go boom. Yeah, it's like this game with like leveling, hit points, and experience, and critical hits and stuff, and I'm like, hammer go boom. You know? Alright, we're on floor nine. Here we go. Boom. Oh! One hit didn't work on him. They're getting a little stronger now. The hell? You're not allowed to get strong. You gotta be a fucking pussy ass. I'm not used to you guys being strong. Considering I've never seen this before, let's use my shaft strike. Oh, dude, that fucked me up. You don't want to smash your shaft into a porcupine. You think I would have known that? attack after he attacks or something? I don't know. I don't like them. I don't like them. What the fuck did you do to me? Oh my god, 
geez. How many are there? You got the gem. It's like all like low level, like, yeah, whatever. You sense a force coming beyond the door. What will you do? I'm gonna go. Uh-oh, it's like, oh, are we gonna have like a fucking real battle here or something? Oh, sh oh, 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 something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. Thanks, Cal X, for the sub. My name is Skull D. Skull D, give key back immediately. Kai. I'm afraid I can't do that. She has a duty she must fulfill. I'm always on duty. What the fuck are you talking about? regular enemy. It's jello with a testicle in the middle. <laughs> you oh, it's gonna gobble me. Well I'll have to use my shaft attack. something shaft strike the jellies are hitting me at the same time. They took away more health than I thought was gonna happen. Oh, you fucking kidding me. Did I just lose everything except for my smash hammer? 
Did I lose my level too? Oh, well, this is where I'm gonna find out. So what I would want, when you become incapacitated, you lose your all the items in your inventory except equipable items you added. So the smash hammer, you also lose half your money. Do I lose my level though? Okay, so here's how I feel about this. If I also lose my level, fuck this game. If I keep my level, then okay. I want to keep, if I keep my smash hammer and my level, I can tolerate it. Let's, I'm about to find out. You do. You fucking keep it. Good. All right. I just, so. Oh, and then all my equipped items, I keep that. Oh, no. I do, they're the shit. They're shit ones, though, now. And do I have to re- Oh no, okay, so, so I had the smash hammer, and I ha I wonder if later on in the game if you can inscribe more than one thing, like... Once you reach the inscription limit, you will... Okay. So I... To have items inscribed, choose valuable from the menu. Oh, really? Oh, wait, can I inscribe things from inside the dungeon? Shit, I didn't know that. Okay. And then... I have two thousand. So you know what I need to do? So I need to go buy, like, fucking poison resists and health potions and shit, and then I go back into the dungeon. All right, well, I fucking fucked up. I, I can do this. But, I mean, so my level is still there. So, I mean, that's relatively fair. I mean, they're going to take away a bunch of shit from you. It's a fucking, it's a fucking roguelike. That's what, that's what it is. You know? That's actually not bad. Bad, I mean... You can you can fucking do more. There you go. There you go. Good. Healing. Good. Oh wow! I just fucking used up a lot of my money. Maybe next time. At least I'll be able to grab more treasures. Yo. So now you know what I should do. I should only grab like good like good treasures so that I'm not using up my whole fucking inventory or I don't know it's gonna take forever right, I'm gonna take a quick break I will come back and then we'll give the dungeon another try I'll be right back all right guys I'm back so I'm playing nightmare of Dracula that's what I'm calling it Namco was San Jose, California. Should I spend the whole stream just reading the instruction manual? It probably would be helpful. So the main guy's name is Gil. You're saving Kai. And the bad person is Skull D. You wanna see you wanna see how back in the day there was art? Look at that. You don't get any of that shit anymore. You know what you get now? Get fucked in the ass.
That's what you get. That's what you fucking get. I mean, pretty much. Look at this. All the, all the, all the, uh, weapons, items. This is good shit here. Instruction manuals. Little illustrations on how to play, you know? That's what I'm talking about. This is 32 pages, 32 pages. And what was the game like? 1999 or something, you know? <laughs> like, anyway, alright, we're gonna go back into the dungeon here. Here we go. Super Frankie, thank you very much for the sub. What game have I been buying? Like what, what new games? Um, uh, my copy of Time Splitters was fucked up. So I have like two copies of Time Splitters. You know? So, like, what new games you been buying, Mike? Oh yeah, Time Splitters for PS2. <laughs> Time Splitters 2 is the only one you really need. Well, this is Time Splitters 1, um, but um, I like the first Time Splitters. Why can't we have both? Why can't we play both of them? Space remake. Um, I streamed Dead Space though. Like the original. You know what I should do? Like, I should stream the original. Um, Demon Souls. Just to be like a fuck. Like I got um I have like the remaster. But I just stream stream the fucking <laughs> stream the original version anyway. Is is the new version even better than the old one? Like, I don't even know. Oh here we go. This is the shit I want. I should only grab ones that are like that. Quality ability potion. Shit's quality. Fine ability potion. Quality and fine. I'm not, I'm not taking that. I guess I have to. I mean, it's a healing potion. And then what am I at? It's level 10? I mean, it'll be easier when I get there. I'll probably be like level 12 by the time I fucking get down there again, so whatever. I should advance to PS3 by now? No, dude. Like... I'm still, first of all, first of all, you know how many Atari 2600 games I still haven't even fucking done, like, everything I want to do yet? A bunch. Um, I've done, I've done a bunch of Atari 2600 streams now, though, so, like, at least I did that, Sp I was playing Spider Fighter, I wanted to do that for a while, and I did that Atari 7800 stream. 
I wanted to do that. And I did a 5200 stream, but there's still like more games on Atari 2600 that I like a lot that I'd like to stream. And that's Atari. I've done a lot of the NES stuff that I that I wanted to do. I, I will have to say that. There's more. There's more stuff on NES that, of course, I want to do. There seems to always be more, right? But, like, I have done quite a bit of the things that I want to do on NES. Um, geez, and now we're just, like, NES and Atari. But, like, I'm just getting into, like, okay, now, like, PS1 and, you know, like, some of this other stuff. Dude, PS3 and PS... Like, oh, my God. That's, like... I've done like one PS3 stream, I think, and it was, um, oh, what is the name of that game? 3D Dot Game Heroes. That's like, I think that's the only PS3 stream I've ever done. Um, I don't know. There's, I, there's a lot more on PS2. And PS, PS1 and PS2, there's like a lot of stuff that I'm interested in. Uh, well, I mean, PS1, there's like endless. PS2, there's a good amount of stuff I, I would like to play. PS3, not as much. There, there may be a few things, but there's not, there's not that much on PS3 that I probably am going to care about streaming. Uh, at least that I know about. I mean, I might find other things, but... As far as I know, it's like not that much. I don't know. It, let me add, open that up to you guys. Is there anything on PS3 that like you think like I should actually like fucking stream? Be streaming like that that I can't play on like another system? Like what should I play on PS3? Like I don't even fucking know. I, by the way, I have like several PS3s, and like I have, I don't even know any reason to hook the fucking thing up. Vanquish. Oh yeah. Well, Vanquish also isn't that also on other things by now? But Vanquish, I have played that, and that is a cool game. But I think you can play that like on other shit. Like I think I have that on like Xbox One and stuff. So something that's exclusive to ps3 that's only on ps3 like i need to use the ps3 to fucking stream it that's what i mean vanquish is on pc and xbox 360. yeah i think i have it on pc and that is a cool game i have played that before i did i stream that before i don't know if i did uh i might have uh but I, that that game yeah i like vanquish but i don't need a ps3 to play it you know, that's the thing. I feel like anything that was good on PS3 is like, they ported it, and then it's like, there's not really much of a reason to fucking have a, use a PS3 anymore. Like, maybe the, maybe there's something, but. The original Vanquish ran like ass on PS3. Then there's that, too. Folklore, Killzone 2, Moto Storm, and Little Big Planet. I played Little Big Planet. I was, I'm like not that into that. The other ones I have not played, so and maybe I tried those. I don't know. So, so like this, this shit, like, oh, it just gives you a ton of health back, basically. Oh, no, abil ability, like, that's your magic. AP, they're calling it. I just think of, like, when I think, I think of AP, I think of, when, well, there's A and P, the grocery store, but then there's, uh, when the old Popeye cartoons would start, 
I feel like that's like later on when the Popeye cartoons got shitty. Like early on when they're like Fleischer, they're they're like good, but then later it's just, it's like A P or A P P or whatever, and then they're like the color Popeye cartoons, and they're like not and they're not good. Yeah. Uh, SYC, thanks for the sub. How many people right now are talking about A and P and Popeye title sequences on Twitch? This is what you guys come here for. This is, that's what I. That's what I have to offer for you. Isn't it funny how throughout like the United States, there's like all these different grocery store um, chains. If you go to a different state, like it's it's always like different. I don't think there's one that's totally, you know, nationwide. What is it like in California? They have like Ralphs, isn't it? And then, uh, you know, out here we got like Giant and uh, like Shoprite and shit. You know, it's it's like different all over the country. You know. What do you guys got for grocery stores where you're at? And I can bring this to gaming too, by the way. I used to go to the grocery store and be like not nine years old, ten years old. And I go to the grocery store, and you know when you walk into the grocery store and there's like the there's like the area before you're in the grocery store? It's like they might have the carts there or something and the doors are like opening and closing, like the automatic doors, and they used to have, to have arcade machines and then there'd be like bubble gum machines and shit like that. And I remember going in there and that would be a place where I would often play arcade games, is in the goddamn grocery store. They don't have that shit anymore. Why don't they have that, like how come they don't have that anymore? So there's, wait, so there's new arcade, and I know, I know you'd be like, well, they're not going to have, like, you know, Gradius or whatever from the 80s. I'm not even asking that. There's, like, new arcades, like, you know, yeah, you're, like, Dave and Buster's or whatever, and you're, like, uh, um, what's the other ones called? Like, Round One and stuff. So the, the places that are, the, that make the new arcade machines... How come they don't have the new ar newly released arcade machines in the grocery stores anymore? That's just that's a place where families go with their kids. They just totally I don't I never see that anymore. You know? I don't see why they had to get rid of that. Like I'm not even asking for them to have fucking Qbert or something. Like that'd be better. <laughs> but I'm not asking for them to have fucking Qbert at the grocery store. I get it. You're not going to have that. But, like, what about... You ever play that new, like, Mario Kart shit in the arcade? It's, like, pretty fucking cool. I want to go to the grocery store, and it has fucking Mario Kart. They don't fucking go. The fuck? Yo, next time I go to my grocery store, it better fucking have Tower of Dragula, the arcade game, or I'm gonna fucking complain. Excuse me, do you have uh, Tower of Dragula, the arcade? They're gonna, huh? The, what, the what? The beer's over that way, buddy. Okay, well that'll that'll do, I guess. Actually, thanks. Good, good enough. They know how to get rid of me. The the wine is that way. We got antidote potion. Arcade machines here were placed, were replaced with vending machines selling soda. There's already soda for sale in the store. That's a good point. But you know what? 
the vending machine is more like if you want to drink a soda right then and there, right? You get it out of the vending machine, and then you're drinking it maybe as you're walking around the store, where when you're in the store, you buy it, you put it in your cart, you bring it up, and you check out, and you take it home with you. So... I think that they could have the vending machine up front and that sells the sodas and stuff, but then next to it, Super Pac-Man. How about Super Pac-Man? We should have arcade instead of soda. We should have all of it. I think there should be a fucking hot dog stand. I think there's, they should, there should be a fucking bar. Uh... <laughs> There should be, uh, you know, there, there should be a, a fat guy there to, to jack you off. Uh, there, there should be, like, Alf. Alf should be there. Oh, gee. What, the, the way it would be if I was in control, um, let me tell you, uh, Dr. Claw, his arm would be there and pounding on things. It would be crazy. It would be great. You'd want to go there all the time. <laughs> bozo, Bozo shows up. Yeah, it's just fuck. Exactly. Hey, kids! Hey, 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 hey! He puts the cigar out in your fucking eye. to play Junior Pac-Man! <laughs> That's what things were like in the 80s. Things were so much better than in the 80s. Let me tell you, I was around back then, and that's how it was. You'd go into the grocery store, Bozo would be there. He'd fucking pull down his pants and fire a rocket. It was great. That's the way it was. And you guys that were there, you remember that. The kids today, these these Zoomers, they don't know what they were missing. They think they know everything that happened in the 1980s. You know? That you weren't there. You don't know about fucking Bozo shitting in your face. You don't know anything about that. You don't know about Alf. Alf was there. He's got a slice of pizza. He's telling you jokes. This is how it was for me. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what your AMP was like, but uh, <laughs> that was what was going down in my AMP. Al Bundy. Anything you want, man. Kiosks now are sad. Back in the day, they had everything comics. VCR rental. They would have the Topps trading cards. And you remember... I remember going to things back then, and it was like comic books, but also... It, it, they had, like, cards, but there'd be, like... You guys remember when there would be, like, superhero cards? It'd be, like, X-Men cards, and you'd get, like, the Wolverine card. Or, like, the fucking Magneto card and all that shit. You guys remember all that? And people were, like, into collecting, like, the, the cards for, like, superheroes. Because, like, later everything became, like, magic and, like, Pokemon and all that. But before that, it was, like, that kind of stuff. Pogs. Well, yeah, there was Pogs, too, but... Garbage Pail Kids. Yeah, exactly. Sport. But, yeah, and before that, it was, like... Sports ball cards. I, I like how you said that. Yeah, there used to be sports ball cards. <laughs> That's what I would call it. I didn't care about any of that. You want to know the card? Wait, hold on a second. I'm going to show you guys the cards that I collected. Hang on a second. Wait a second. So the cards I liked were in these magazines. 
and you would get like you get like this. These are the these are the ones I liked. I also really like the X Men cards, but I would collect I would collect those. And also the uh, I collected Star Trek cards too. Star Trek the original series and Next Generation cards. I was cool like that. I wanted to get them all. I had to get all the Lieutenant Commander Data cards. And I had to get the Commander Riker card. And all that. Where are the rest of these? There's gotta be more. Oh, here's another one. There you go. Those are the cards I liked. <laughs> of course, big surprise, right? But, um, no, but I really, I was really into those X-Men cards. Like, I love that shit. All that stuff. All right, anyway, so we're, <laughs> the hell am I doing here? Oh, yeah, I gotta defeat Jell-O. So I'm trying to defeat Jell-O. I gotta, I gotta break a thousand boxes first. Can I equip, like, anything? Endurance up by one. One is better than nothing. Yes. Dude. And now and now I don't have the fucking They did fucking did that on purpose. They're like, let's wait until he uses the but the identify shit, I keep calling it identify. The fuck do they call it? I don't fucking remember what they call it in this. I'm thinking like Diablo terms. <laughs> They're nice boots though, I got not much better, yeah. Not at all. Hogwarts Legacy, Mike. What does that mean? It's like a Harry Potter or something? I'm more like Lord of the Rings like person. I don't really know about Harry Potter. To be honest with you. I play, so here's what I know about Harry Potter. Uh, I played the game on Wii. Um, where you're like on a broomstick. And it's really bad. That's about it. And I've been to Universal. The fucking, the, the park is pretty cool. 
I drank, uh, yo, butter beer is real fucking good. That's all I got on Harry Potter. The Wii game sucks. Butter beer is good. That's all I can tell you. Other than that, uh, you better ask me about Gandalf. Like. <laughs> pretty much. Or, uh. You can, uh, Tom Bombadil? I'll tell you all about Tom Bombadil. Thanks, uh, excretion. Good username. Excretion. James Gandolfini? Oh, Gandalf Feeney. I said that's okay. Well, you try that. All right, all right. That was effort. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. Gandalf. I haven't heard that one. That's that's interesting. Did you just make that up? <laughs> Should he have played Gandalf instead of Ian McKellen? That would be interesting. to kill him. Like, does he come back up? Yeah. Now he's dead. Like seven and eight. I'm hoping now I can like get something good. <sighs> Cause now I feel like if I don't get some fucking armor, like I'm not gonna beat this. Let me see something. Like, do I seriously like not have? The shield I can't use because I'm doing the two-handed thing. The helmet I could put on if I can identify it. And that's it, right? Like... 
And I'm not gonna appraise, appraise, that's the word. I'm not gonna appraise, um, right, there's a door, the fucking weapon again. Is this like, here, is this, there. If I do that again, can I get rid of like all the bullshit on the screen? No, that's the best you can get. <laughs> so it's always gonna have like a cloud around you somewhat. Oh! It's a little better. I'll take anything I can get. See, now that I'm down lower, I actually gotta like really search these dungeons because I want to make sure that I get every treasure chest now. See, this guy's a fuck. Fuck you. I want, give me armor. Ass blaster shard again. How many fucking ass blasters can I fucking get in one day? F I don't fucking want an ass blaster. I want armor. today did you guys say the same thing? Did anybody else here yell out loud today that they don't want an ass blaster? I can't be the only one. You said the opposite. Oh, that you do. I say. <laughs> you like this game, you're sad you missed it? It's cool. I should be using this like way more than I am. So you can you can go like way faster. I just like I've been fucking moving slow because I'm I'm an idiot. Okay. All right. I like to move slow around the level. All right. I, I'm gonna save that because because so, hopefully I can get some armor. Too. 
wait for them to all fucking wake up again. Got boots. Yeah, the other fucking pair of boots I got were fucking dog shit. Now I gotta go back and like figure out how the fuck I get to this fucking key. Oh god, like. Do 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 do. this um dude I don't even I'm kind of waiting for armor I know I, I know I could do it to the helmet too I'm gonna just wait this is going very poorly the fuck kind of camera oh do I have to wait It was just the camera angle. I thought, like, my vision ran out again. Oh, yo, there's another treasure chest, huh? I'm gonna go try to get that. Wait, how the fuck do I get over that one? Or maybe there's treasure chests here. Can figure that out. How the fuck do I get over there? Oh, I say. I say, I say. Fucking fuck you. Oh, did I just got all my health back somehow? Wait, what? Did I just level up? Oh, level 11, and you get your health back. Wow, that was a fucking convenient time for that to happen. I think I was, like, almost out of health, right? That might have been, like, a super convenient thing that just happened. So anyway, here. Yeah, yeah now I'm glad I can be... Okay, bronze ring. Can I put that on this shit? Yo. Look at that. All right. Cock ring equipped. Should I wait? Should I wait for this motherfucker? I gotta get up to level 12. Motherfucker. Yo, I wonder what the max level in this game is. Oh, I gotta do this shit. Squall bottle rarity it's a throwing thing damages all enemies in the blast radius yeah that might be good for that fuck I'm gonna yo that's like a model top cocktail is what that is I'm gonna get rid of the ass blaster shard You know what? I think I like this game. The fucking, um... I, I, I do still think that the town stuff is fucking stupid. Like, it should all be in one area. That's about it. That's all. That's about my only complaint, though, so far as uh, the town... The, like, all the town stuff should just be on one screen. Other than that, though, I'm, like, pretty happy with this. And you can't really ask for much more. Red score. What's going on? If your RPG doesn't have a, give you a full health upon leveling up, then it would be a piece of shit. Makes sense. 
is it like Diablo one where all the where they're all scattered? Where what's all scattered? Yo, I love Diablo one though. Are you enjoying the game? I am so far. I mean, it's fun. I'm not like getting anywhere very. Fast. I've never played this before, so like. I'm like learning what I mean, I'm supposed to fucking do in this game. It's just that I played Mystery Dungeon before. So I kinda like, I know the genre, but this particular game, I'm like learning little things about this particular game that are a little different, you know? So it's taken me a little while to figure everything out. But uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool. What did I just get? Oh, did I get treasure from him? I don't, what did I just get? I have no fucking idea. Uh, did I, I saw, you know, I thought I saw a treasure chest come up or something. I don't know. That, oh, that's it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Armor. I hope it's fucking better. It's like defense is a little better. I mean, it's better, but not by much. Shit. So I was hoping for a lot more than that. It's a little disappointing. Oh, fuck. Get away. I don't really know how to deal with this thing. something so you don't have to get cl no I don't like have anything ranged yet I mean like maybe later I'll get like a bow a fucking bow and arrow or something that'd be awesome yo if you get like a crossbow in this that'd be fucking great I don't know if this game has like anything like that god damn it man chest there it's like I should I'm gonna spend more time on this because oh I I'm on the ninth floor so the next one is the fucking boss I'm gonna spend some time here and dick around for sure 
then we gotta make a fucking decision if I'm just gonna go. I might just go for it. Like, the smart thing for me to do would be to fucking go back and, and do another run, because my armor and shit is shit. That would be that would be the intelligent thing to do. <laughs> but my level is a little I mean, you know what that's the other thing. At least my level has been staying has been going up. I better not just I better not die. Like, let's just be careful here. I wanna get this other like treasure chest and say Fuck. Thunderblade. Hang on a minute. Good thing I fucking went back, huh? Oh, it's worse. Well, I could sell it, though. Oh, now I really need to win this. I bet that's fuck. I wonder how much I could sell that for. That's like thousands of dollars. The only thing, so a couple things about this is now I'm level 11. So I'm a little bit stronger. Plus, I have this, uh, I have this that I could throw if there's a bunch of those like jelly guys. There will be, so like, I'm kind of feeling like if I don't, so listen, if I don't do the battle and I, and I went back to town, I'm not going to know if this like Molotov cocktail is going to like save, like, you know, save the day and kill all these jellies and then I get through it, you know, I kind of want to see if I can do that. I would say the most intelligent decision I could make would be to go back. But I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do the riskier decision and just go for it. Cause I'm dumb. So hang on. Let me look at this shit real quick. I, wa I also wonder if you could, like, you know, Final Fantasy VI, I wonder if you could, can I throw the fucking Thunderblade at the fucking, the, the center eye of this jelly thing, you know? I don't know that you can do that. It's all unappraised. I'm not equipping that, I can't, uh, it's unappraised. One feather to get out. Not much else I can do here. I have and I have seven healing potions. My equipment blows. <sighs> it's just I'm a little bit of a I'm a little bit higher level. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fight it. I might, I'm pro I might die. But even if I die, at least my level went up a little bit. You also have magical abilities. No, I know that. So, you know what's weird too? The uh, so the magic ability. You know what you do? Most of the game, I'm playing this with like the D-pad. And if you want to change um, camera angles, it's like R1 and L1, right? To do this. But if you want magic, you know what you do? It's the 
it's the right control stick to like bring that stuff up, which is kind of which is pretty interesting. So I'll, yeah, I'll use the all these fatals and stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm just gonna go for it. I just need to make, be smart about my decisions here. I'll play it as safe as I can and heal as much as I can. Can I skip this now? Because I've seen this now. Let me hit start. Oh, you can. Kind of. Or not. It, feel, I, it seems like it's going fast. There was like less screens to have to look at than the first time. That's, but there were still screens. Okay, so I mean, it loaded somewhat faster. That was kind of weird. Alright, so first thing. I guess let's be next to it first. jelly on me again? You fuck. That's what I was worried about. Oh, my shaft is back. Fucking take my shaft. You better not be able to get hit off the edge. Jelly bean. Alright, so we got through it. 
Well, it wasn't even difficult. I was just being, like, cautious. What if that's the end of the game? <laughs> Fucking better not be. Send me back to the town. Are, is there gonna be a new dungeon? That's what it should be. I hope there's a new dungeon now, and it's like you gotta go deeper down. That's what this should. It should be like you go back to the town, like save it, and then you go down, and then next time you play, you go down to a deeper dungeon. I would hope. Oh, were these two gonna, like, fucking get married? Is that who you save in the arcade, like, Tower of Dragula? Is that, uh, is Kai, like, a Tower of Dragula, like, princess? She's, like, the princess of that, I guess? Like, I don't know. So I feel like the gameplay is more mystery dungeon, and maybe the characters are... He's already gotten further than Link. <laughs> I guess that's true. Heroes yell stop. They're like, so the villain's gonna. It's so so Skeletor comes into Castle Grayskull or Eternia or whatever, and then takes Tilo away, and then Prince Adam goes stop. You think Skeletor Skeletor is gonna be like, oh okay. Well, since you told me to stop, here's Tila back. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to Snake, Snake Mountain now, and then he goes home. That should be the, that should be an episode or something. I want to see that episode. When does that ever work? Never has it ever worked in any form of media ever. Stop. The the Joker kidnaps Robin. Batman's stop. Oh, okay, Batman. Here you go. My Joker's a little off today. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Where am I? This is Billy Pones. What is going on now? All right. I, like, just the next dungeon. I'm good now. I don't need to see this part. <laughs> My sincerest apologies, Batman. How did it go, sir? Uh, 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 dot, dot, dot. Is it bad? Is it bad? Is it not good? Did you not get the princess? Uh. 
This is why I don't write the stories in games. <laughs> there's, there's a good reason why I'm not in charge. <laughs> Pardon me, sir, but this evil sorceress apparently has magical power strong enough to overpower even you. I can't let you go alone. Please let me come with you, sir. Oh, no, don't you be an escort mission. Say no. No, I'm sorry. Underground ruins are filled with evil. It's too dangerous to risk my best man. Good, leave him here. Fuck him. Actually, better yet, set, just send him in and let him go kill some of the monsters and then we'll come later. Let's we'll have fucking... We'll stay here, we'll hang out. Actually, send all these motherfuckers down there. Now that I think about it. How about my hero just stays and, I, and he stands there just like this. They all just stand there like this with their arms out to their sides, standing there doing nothing. How about all you motherfuckers go down? Come on. You all so worried about the fucking princess. I got some orbs for you. The source of my power are my two orbs. You wanna check them out? Magical power that fills the earth. It'll crystallize over everything. Even one little tiny fragment of that comes out of your orbs has vast power. The Shrine Mother loves these orbs. All right, I'm good. You know, you know what's gonna happen? There's gonna be another dungeon, and I'm gonna have to save the girl. I get it. We get. She, they, they they keep saying orbs a lot. So okay, orbs are a thing now. Okay, they sealed away the orbs. So the orb are the, are the orbs like? The crystals in Link to the Past. Is that what that is? And the maiden, the maidens, the shrine maidens. The maidens are in the crystals or whatever. Is this Link to the Past? Did somebody play Link to the Past? Lookout point. Isn't that in Transformers? Isn't that what they say in Transformers the movie? Lookout point, I think it's called. Right? Like, or something like that? A lookout mountain or some shit. Sailor Mars is also a shrine maiden. Yeah. What about it? She can now inscribe two weapons. Okay, that that's the only fucking thing I wanted to hear out of her. That is important. Also, this motherfucker is telling me I think that I can hold more shit. Here, take that guy's bag. You can now carry more items. Okay, that was something I wanted. I wish, like, all that shit would have just been like, you beat first dungeon. There should have been one screen that came up. You can now carry more items, and you can now inscribe more than one object. That's all, it could have been one frame. You you get equipped with these two things, and now then you're on to the next level. I didn't need like all that description. It's like why? Oh look at this! Oh we're doing great. Where's all my shit? Hey. Where's my shit? What, are we starting completely over now? I have fucking nothing? Fuck you people. Do I have money? Wait, do I have fucking money? $200? 
Do I have items? Well, I have, I have items. So I can sell some shit. Well, here. Wait, well, I uh, no. We gotta go down to the fucking, fucking bullshit down here. Maybe I, wait. Alright, I gotta... Uh, hang on a second. Equip. Smash hammer, first of all. They took all my shit off. Don't take my shit off. There. Now I gotta go down here and sell all this shit. I gotta get it all fucking appraised or whatever from who's the where's the asshole? This asshole down here. Hey asshole. Appraise my shit, asshole. Alright, so I need like yeah. Here, boots. Can you appraise my helmet? That's what they're calling it these days, you know? Now I'll appraise your helmet. Alright. What, what, what did I... I had some fucking helmet or whatever here. It's all worse. It's all worse. It's all shit. Bronze boots. Can I, do I have another, like, thing? No, I don't. All right. So that's all that shit. Now we go back, and now I'm gonna go to this store. I got some money, I guess, and then I can buy some bullshit, and then we can go down to the next thing. Frighten76, thank you very much for the tier one sub. This game, Is what Time Stalkers on Dreamcast is better? Well, I could play that. Is that like this? Is that a mystery dungeon thing? Time Stalkers on Dreamcast? I'll write it down. Maybe we'll play that another day. Right now I'm playing this though. Get the fu- Oh, you fuck! I hate when they do that shit. Too much loading, too. Alright, motherfucker. Let's sell some bullshit. Yeah, the Thunder Blade is less powerful, so it's, it's gonna go. I'd be really fucking careful not to sell anything. I'll keep the shield because, like, maybe I'll want to put one on later. That's it. Bye. Antidote. Bye. Oh, look at all this shit. Whoa. That's so much money. What the fuck? Oh, I should just have these instead, right? Like... There. Maybe next time. Yeah, so what was that game? Time... Time Stalkers or something? On Dreamcast? Is that like a mystery dungeon kind of game? Thunderblade Ho.
So now I better fucking save it after all that or I'm fucked. So And then it's gonna shut my system off. I have to say like what if I didn't, you know? Okay, this shit's stupid. This is another problem. That. Turn off the console. No, it should just save it and then I should continue. That's fucking stupid. I don't like that. What's that fucking game? Time Stalkers? Maybe I should fucking play that. <laughs> it's sleep time? Alright, fine. Um, Alright, I'm gonna stop for now. Guys, thank you for watching. That's the stream for now. If you like this game, let me know if you want to see more of it. Maybe I'll play it another time. So other games I want to play for PlayStation 2. I want to play Burnout. I want to play more Burnout 3 because I love that game. I have Taito Legends 1 and 2. I'd like to go through some of those. So that has Space Invaders, Jungle Hunt, Bubble Bobble, Elevator Action, Phoenix, Zookeeper. Yo, I love Zookeeper. Uh, New Zealand Story, Operation Thunderbolt, Return of the Invaders, like all kinds of stuff on here, games I haven't even heard of. There's Rastan, Rainbow Islands, then Title Legends 2 as Darius Gaiden, Liquid Kids, Space Invaders DX, that'd be cool actually. Uh, Elevator Action Returns, Legend of Kage, whatever, Crazy Balloon, Crazy Balloon. Uh, kicks, good old kicks. Space Invaders '95. There's all kinds of cool things on there. Um, I tried this game out like off stream, and I was I thought maybe it'd be fun. It would be like dirt bike game where you're going down the mountain, and then I, I played it, and I didn't really like it very much. So I'm probably not going to play that. Uh, other stuff that I like that I'd like to do. So Time Splitters, I might play that again just because I really like Time Splitters. And I have The Punisher, so I might go through The Punisher again. I remember that being a fun game. If there are PlayStation 2 games you'd like to see me uh, play, let me know. Drop a comment. And also, by the way, um, the other day I did uh, Katamari. That was that was a fun game. Maybe I could do the sequel. I'm thinking maybe I'll play the sequel or whatever. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Have a good night. All right, here we go. This is the nightmare of Dragula. Let's see this opening cutscene. There's Gil. Aquamentus. I got it over with early. I want a shirt with that. How do I get that? Did they ever make that? They didn't make that. Gil. Are we gonna do all the character names? Key? Kai? B. Blue Crystal Rod? Oh. Is that supposed to be like Master Sword? <laughs> Only 37 more days to enjoy your name. Why is that? Skull D. Okay, that's the villain. Succubus. Is that a vibrator? <laughs> like... Seriously. 
So this game is about obtaining the mighty vibrator. <laughs> Rock Harden, uh, thank you very much for the sub. Right on time, too. All right. Here we go, back to this. So I started this game the other day. I don't know if any of you guys were here for that, but we're gonna go back to it. What's up, Gummy92? So is this the titular mystery dungeon game? Oh yeah, the titular, yeah, all right. <laughs> Zelda dude says, dude, Mike, I love this game. Have you played it before? I started playing it the other day and it was uh, pretty cool so far. So let's see my inventory and all this. So I have Smash Hammer. This is what I got so far. Not much. I beat the first boss, but I feel like I'm not, I'm probably not far. I didn't like look anything about this up. I've been doing this all on stream. I haven't like, I had the instruction manual. That's as much as I got. So anyway, we're, you know, uh, I guess let's just go. I mean, I, I have my, uh, actually, how many health? I have nine health. And, oh, I got lots of antidote. All right, I'm just going to go. Let's see. Here we go. I wish she wasn't standing in my way. Wait, order me not to... I can't... What? Um... Hey, let me go. I have one inscribed. Maybe I gotta inscribe another one. Alright. I mean, everything else I have sucks, though. Maybe they want me to do it anyway. I'll just do it, I guess. Um. Do I have to, like, wait. of the plaza. Oh, am I supposed to go talk to somebody first? God damn it. That guy's telling me to look for Roa or something. I don't know. Oh my god. Can we? Oh, it, tell me this is a person. Aha! They really want me to know about these orbs. All right, so there's several unusually large orbs. What a reaction. So, so listen, there's two really big orbs. There are. Why didn't you tell me about that? <laughs> I would have went there a long time ago. All right, now we're gonna see a cutscene where we're gonna know all about the orbs. Are you telling me that there's several gigantic orbs? There must be horrible monsters coming out of them. We gotta report it. Those orbs fell into my hands. Don't tell anyone about it though. But, but... I'll use my powers to steal off the tower. Don't tell anybody about the orbs. I want to go. It doesn't matter what happens to me. All right. So we tried to save her, but like we couldn't because I don't know that bad person put up a wall or something. 
that you can, wait, what about this, oh, circle does let it, oh my god, I didn't know you could do that on the overworld too, sorry, there we go, so I can run, what was your name, oh yeah, good, let me go, To do, couldn't they just have let me go on? Like, did I really need to hear all that? Underground cave. That's where we're going. Let me go. Let me play the damn game. Get the hell out of my way. It wasn't enough that she was standing in my way. I had to go, go talk to some old poor person about the orbs in his hands or whatever. See, if I made one of these mystery dungeon games, it would just go from dungeon to dungeon. The town, if there was a town area, it would be like one room. All the things you need would be in the one room. All right, here we go, new level though. The underground cave. with my smash hammer. Guess that's it. I'm just gonna go. Do, 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 do. Good call on title Legends 1 and 2. There's, yeah, I have them right here. And right now I'm playing this. I, I want to, like, go through this game, but... You just got to work and you're literally sitting in the parking lot. Well, now you have to sit in the parking lot all day. You're not allowed to go in. You have to watch the stream. Or, um, you know, you could you could be uh, you could you be in work and then you could have it there. Just keep the volume volume down. Or no, you put some headphones in. You just have one headphone and you can just like look around. <laughs> you could probably get the idea of what's going on anyway. You know, just just check once in a while. Is the floor sticky? What, oh, at the parking lot he's in? They wanna know if the floor is sticky in the parking lot. <laughs> You're at work with headphones? They're saying you better keep the volume low, though, because you'll hear me yell fuck. I mean, event later, probably. So is it kind of like, it's like the crystals from the Maidens in Link to the Past. Seriously, not to make a Zelda comparison, but like, you gotta get all the crystals to break down, break down the barrier to get into the... 
like Ganon's fortress or whatever. So basically, now we're getting the crystals, and then we're gonna be able to get to the princess. But it's like the same. It's all the same thing. <laughs> it's all the same game. <laughs> I mean, like, really. I said turn towards him. I guess there's only a couple kind of potions that it could even be, right? It's, you got your antidote potion and you got your health potion, so it's like, I really got to identify those. Oh, all right, the key is that way, let's see. Boom. Fine ability. Thank God I found this smash hammer. Let's not step on them then. I mean, what, like, how stupid would I have to be to walk onto it? Like, maybe there'll be some options where I have no other option but to step on it. Like, like what? <laughs> I don't understand. Like, why would I ever walk onto one? Like. I'm guessing at some point I have to. Oh, now I'm in trouble, though. God damn it. Yeah, you walk over here. Yo, did I level up? Did I just turn level 12? I'm level 12. Oh, good time for that. I feel like I always level up when I'm, like, low energy. Which is the way you would want it. Got Iron Spike. What's that all about? Oh, you throw it. All right. All right, Leo Goblin, thanks for the sub. Is it really a mic stream if we don't get a Zelda reference? You've gotten several already. I mean, this kind of game, you're gonna get them. Sorry, it's just gonna happen. Wisco says, I was just about to crank it, but then I came here instead. Uh, wow, you know, honestly, that is quite the, um, you know, compliment. The fact that you would stop from cranking it. Also, the fact that you call it cranking it is also just fantastic. But uh, I'll take that as a compliment. You came here to watch the stream instead of cranking it. So thank you. It's very nice of you. You've got an iron spike in your pants. Okay. What does cranking it mean? So he's got a jack in the box. Except except this as he's tugging on his nuts. <laughs> um as far as I know, I could be wrong. I'm sorry, is that what I'm not supposed to be doing in a fantasy game stream? Here, let me be more uh, nerdy about this. I will attack the metal babble. I have destroyed the slime. All right, we got some gloves. So, Oh. 
I don't have the potion that lets me get the question marks off. I forget, I, I forget the names of everything. There's a potion to do that, though. And I do not have it, so I'm going to have to wait until I get one or when I can go back and... I'm just gonna call it identify. I cannot remember what the hell they call it in this game. They're, they they change it from identify. I grew up with like Diablo, you know. So they got different terminology in this, and I can't keep it straight. I wish all these games just had the same terminology. So I've talked about this before. Like a lot, like a lot of the games have different money terminology. You know, Zelda's rupees and Final Fantasy is what like gil. Like you know, there's all these different. Um, what is it, Deadly Towers is like Lutter? Or is that Hyde Light? You know? I can't keep it straight. Just call it money. Or gold or something. Like. They always gotta be fancy. Several things need to happen right now. This is the better one, right? Dude. What? You're not. I'm spinning? goes to fucking, the enemy's right here, and he goes like that, and then he's spinning, and then he hits the wall. Like a fucking idiot. What a, wow. I thought I was poisoned. I didn't know I was spinning in circles. Okay, that sucks. smash hammer so the little twinkle that means it's inscribed and now all my other stuff is oh my god I lost all the items So many health potions and antidotes and shit. That's a huge setback. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna get some healing potion. I have barely any money, too. Now the question is, should I just go to the new dungeon, or should I go to the old dungeon and, like, level up a bit? Oh my god.
new. All right. Media, I'm doing this because of you. If I die, I'm blaming it on you. <laughs> Where's your companions? Never do this alone. The, yeah, I agree. The, the whole, there's a whole town of people and warriors and stuff. It's not like they're just all, you know, nobodies. Like, there's little, literal warriors. And they're just standing there. They're like, oh, we've got to stay back and protect the castle or something like that. Okay, how about, like, you know, you got like 20 warriors. Can one guy come with me? That you all have to stay back. Something tells me that this is bullshit. Oh, yeah. There's 4,000 warriors in this castle. Um, they, we all have to stay back to protect the castle. You can't have anybody. I can't have any. Oh, we got armor. Well, I'm just going to put it on. Oh, they won't let me, right? I have to identify it first. I wish I could just like guess. Or I wish you could just put it on and like take the chance. They don't even let you. Peppermint root. What the hell's that do? By the way, this is all I stream now. I'm a nightmare of Dracula streamer. People are like, what are you playing? At least Tornico lets you equip the unknown items. I'm gonna be real with you. I think I like Tornico like a little bit better. It seems to like some some of the little things about it or like gameplay wise like I think this is a good game at least so far but Torner goes like a little better at least so far I mean we'll see what happens but that doesn't mean that this is bad I'm just saying that like Tornico that's like that game's really really good like that's hard to compare to you know Like, some of the little decisions that they made here could be a little bit better, but, like, m mostly this is, like, 90%, you know, pretty good. At least so far. We'll see. I mean, later in the game, maybe I'll have different opinions, but right now I feel like this is mostly a very good game. So, I I'm good. There's a couple things, though, that are a little annoying. I'm gonna, oh, and I got gloves, too. Don't you think that should have hit him when he was, like, moving into place? Does that electri electricity hit me? Like, if I happen to be standing on the spot? Hounds of the Baskervilles? I, right here. Me. A long time ago, I read, like, not all of them, but I read most of the Sherlock Holmes books, honestly. Like, I did. I went through a whole, like, thing of reading all those. Probably, like, 15 years ago. 10, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. I haven't read them all. But I read like a lot of them. I don't know why. So, some of them were really good, and some of them were like not. 
I've seen a lot of movies and stuff, too. So, yeah, you're talking about Sir Arthur, Arthur Conan Doyle. Oh, this is the place for you. Are there, there's Sherlock Holmes games, like... I don't think I've ever played one. I'll tell you what, I never saw the new Sherlock Holmes movies. Um, I don't know if they're any good or whatever, but I the one I, I watched all the, you know, like the Jeremy Brett series, like the, the English series, I've seen all of that. So yeah, so what I'm trying to set, tell you guys is I like, um, not only do I like Sherlock Holmes, but I also like Lord of the Rings and Star Trek, so. <laughs> and, now, and now I like Nightmare of Dragula, so. <laughs> and Mr. Dungeon. What other, like, nerd shit can I like? I'm particular, though. I don't like everything nerdy. So there's some nerdy stuff I don't like. Where the hell is this key? Here we go. Smash your fucking face in. Good. Good. That's what you get. I'm gonna run out of potion and then it's gonna be over. I hate these guys so much. Both missed. Why? Because we're in the water. Don't you do that. He, see? I think he was trying to do that spinny shit to me. Now I'm out of healing potions. Unbelievable. Or was it the, was it the bat that did it? I held down circle there. So, like, I have armor and gloves and stuff. I probably should, like, I'm not going to go much further, but I'm probably going to, like, leave and, like, identify my stuff. I'll go a little bit further. Spin on me. I don't know who. Did. I feel like the bat probably did that though. I don't know exactly who did that to me. Alright, there's the key. Can I get any, like, good treasure chests or anything? Oh, there you go. Antidote, all right. How about a fine health or something? Oh, no. Do I have any? I have that, but it's unappraised. Oh, that lets me appraise. I can hold on to it though, cause I sh I'm gonna go back. I'm going back. I'm out. I'm out. I have to. I'm gonna lose my. I have no health. I was gonna lose my armor. This is gonna take forever. Oh, so if I leave, then it saved it right there, right? Didn't it say saving? All right, so who was the damn person to friggin' do this? 
least I know I can run in towns now. Here, this idiot. Oh, look how much better. And then what was the other thing I got? That's a little better. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. So I'm going to inscribe the armor, I guess. Did I get any money? <laughs> this is such a disaster. Here, inscribe my armor. I just want to let you know that I hate you, Kalindra, Shrine Mother. <laughs> the Shrine Mother. At least I got the armor on. Let's go back. I probably should have went back to the first. I don't have money. I don't have health. I don't have money. This is going to be a long day. I'm on your money! <laughs> Sounds good, Pixel. I'm surprised she doesn't make you pay her before she moves. I mean, with this game, right? Oh, different armor. Hey, a healing potion. How about that? Wow. So give me a helmet, and give me gloves, and like... If they keep giving me healing potions. Zap, 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 zap. So you think there's other like levels? So this is like the forest, and if I defeat the forest, you'll think there'll be like an, an ice world, and then there'll be like lava world, and then there'll be, what, what, what else would there be? You know, did I just level up? Oh, I'm level 13 now, okay. Sewer, there'd be a sewer. Maybe near the end, there'd be like, you're like in space or something. Because it's fantasy. What am I gonna be like uh, in space or something? Do, 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 do. Oh my god, it's like I could tell the future. How long does it take to beat this? Uh, probably depends on how bad you are, and I'm terrible, so probably a very long time. So come back in March, and I'll probably be playing Mario 2 or something. <laughs> you know? Actually, I, I do have that pretty cool Mario 2 hack that I do want to play at some point. I'd like to try to beat that. Oh, there's a helmet. All right. I definitely think I'm going to come back to that Mario 2 game at some point. Uh, oh, I can't go this way? step on the trap why would I do that no 
Uh, how about no? I'm not doing that. So let's see if they give me health back. 52, 132. They give you a little bit, right? Cleared uncave. The uncave. Oh, they didn't give me any. Still 52. I thought when you go to the next level, they gave you a little bit. Maybe that was only the first dungeon. So now they don't give you crap. Great. Great. Ugh. Come on, little shit. Alfalfa. Alpha. I'm going to start doing Little Rascals references. Just to keep up with the times. Here we go. What do we got? Oh, got some gold. All right. Well, that's nice. Oh, be more gold. Yeah, all right, something's happening. Oh, I don't have the key yet. Crap. Don't you do this spinny shit on me. Okay, I can identify, yo, I should do that, huh? I'm gonna use it. Uh, I'll do it on the helmet, because I don't chain helmet, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's weird, how you do it and then the thing goes off? Don't you think, like, it should show that first? I don't know, that's weird, that does it, like, after. No, 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 no. Equip it. There we go. Alright, now I'm getting out of here. Ah! So if you break down the door, then you go to a bonus thing that's like ten times harder. And I bet you probably can't escape from it. That's a guess, but... go get good and high as soon as you finish your coffee? Is that how you're going to get through the stream? You're going to just watch me talk about slime? <laughs> you're, like, you're like high off your ass. You're like, oh, yo, that's a red slime. Oh, shit, that's a, that's a green slime right there, Mike. All right, I think that's one of those balance things, right? Balance. Arcanium or whatever the fuck. But I need key. I need the 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 key. Oh, don't. Oh.
antidote. How about health? One of these be health. Be health. Alright. And I have one more fine potion. I didn't even know I had those. Motherfuck. I need to be stronger. <laughs> like, badly. Oh, Mimic! Oh, no. Oh, he wasn't that strong, though. So we have mimics, huh? Yeah, this game's awesome. <laughs> Doo -doo 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 -doo. What's the green? Is that a uh, chest? Oh, I want that. A shield, okay. I mean, I'm not using shields right now, but I could sell it probably. I think those are worth like a thousand. I have another one of those, I think. All right, all right. Pee in my cup. Thank you very much for the sub. Game has a lot of fog of war, it does. Always take the fog of war off. I like that you call it that. This is like you gotta put, they haven't made me do it yet, but I'll have to put an offer in to get rid of it. It gets like really bad at a certain point. Do I have any health left? Not really. What do we got, like wizards and shit now? I have to go. I gotta leave. I, and I got gold and stuff. Yeah, I, I have to. I hate having to do this, but like, I'm just, I'm gonna lose everything. We gotta go. I'll never get anywhere if I don't, like, save my stuff. I had no health left. Something was gonna kill me. I gotta play this safe or I will never get anywhere. No health, you're gonna die soon. No, I know, that's why I left. All right, um... First of all, I got stuff I can. S well, no, let's identify it, the stuff first. Do, 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 do. Appraise. I'm writing this down because I keep using the wrong terminology for this game. So what I call identify is actually a praise in this game. A praise, a praise. Alright. So let's see. Claymore. getting sold. Yeah, so, alright. 
time to go sell stuff. See, this is why I wish the st the store guy was in there. That's my main gripe here. You gotta like, walk all the way over here, stupid. Top 10 PS2 games, chat. Uh, go ahead, let's hear. Oh, so some people, uh, so hold up a second. Um, so. So some people were recommending me games uh, when I, was, I put out the Katamari thing. And they said uh, Dark Watch on PlayStation 2 and Champions Return to Arms on PlayStation 2. So I picked those up. I looked up footage of them. Oh, and Max Payne. So I actually bought a couple PS2 games that I didn't have. Um, so I might try those at some point like later. So if you do have suggestions, let me know. Like somebody left me a list of suggestions and I looked them up and like there was only one that I liked of the ones that they suggested, but at least there was some one. Oops, come here. sell the helmet, did I? Or does he only put it on when he's in the dungeon? Wait. No, I have it. I guess he takes it off when he's in town. Mike needs to do a Ben 10 stream. D dude, I'm like 110 years old. What year did Ben 10 come out? W when was Ben 10 popular? I'm gonna look this up. Two thousand and five. Dude, I was twenty-five. <laughs> when Ben Ten was out. And when it started probably like twenty-five, twenty you know, like twenty-six, twenty-seven I was probably like twenty-six, twenty-seven when that was like getting popular, right? Dude, I grew up with like Voltron in like nineteen eighty-four. You know? They're like, when are you playing Ben 10? I'm like, I'm like a hundred years old. <laughs> I mean, honestly. I don't know, maybe I would like it. Like, I'm not saying, by the way, I'm not saying I wouldn't like it. I haven't never seen it. I just, I didn't, I was past, I wasn't watching stuff like that anymore. I don't even have TV. <laughs> like, I stopped watching TV pretty much, for the most part, it, it, like, probably about 1999, you know? I'd watch maybe Conan O'Brien, that's about it. And getting laid, that's, <laughs> the couch, the couch duck says, and getting laid. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Mike already did Ben 10. Oh yeah, and by the way, I did do Ben 10. Uh, the hyperscan had Ben 10, so that's like, there you go. I did it, so leave me alone. That's all you're getting. If it's not on the hyper, why would you want to play a game anyway if it's not on the hyperscan? Oh, 
Armored Core 2. You know what? I tried that, and like, I really sucked at it. Um, I was having a hard time getting the controls down. Um, I tried it, though. I, maybe I'll try it again and see if I can get it. I don't know. I was having a hard time with it. I mean, I probably only messed with it for like 10 minutes or something. So I probably need to sit with it for a while. You know, some games are like that where it's like, oh god, is this, this is the spinniness? Oh no, this is where it, it takes your level down for a second. It'll go away. Um, it's like Shinobi, right? Shinobi 3, which I ended up loving. When I first played it, I was like, oh my god, I can't play this because I couldn't get the controls down. And then later on, it became one of my favorite Sega Genesis games. So, that happens. One of my best examples of that is Friday the 13th. Never knew how to play that game. Eventually learned how to play it. Now I don't mind it. I don't mind that game at all. I used to, I used to hate that game. I think there's good reasons, though, for me to have felt that way. Like, the map it is, like, very confusing. It's, like, weird, but you eventually can, you can get used to it. But I, there was a long period of my, most of my life, I hated that game. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe some certain games I can come around on. Um, yeah, I hate uh, Skate or Die still, but who knows? Maybe one day I'll learn it better and then, then I'll, like, I can't imagine, but... Walker, Texas Dangler, thank you very much for the sub. Escaluda, or whatever it's called. Yo, Blueberry Boat, hold up a second. Hold up, hold up. One I can't pronounce the names of anything, so leave me, leave me alone. But, so... I, you want you want this? We got all the cave stuff, but where's the one you were just talking about? Oh, here you go. Right here. I forgot I have this whole bit. This is all, like, cave shmups and stuff. Yeah, I, got, I have it right here. And then... This is Kat Katsui, which I also have um, on PlayStation 4 now. And then I have all this stuff. Um, I keep forgetting I have some. This one I haven't even tried yet. But this is I got this one for 360. Um, Death Smiles. I've streamed Death Smiles, though. You've seen that. And people, that's the one people know. Death Smiles 2. What's this one? Okay, so this is Mushihai Misama. Um, there's that. That's, like, the first. But then there, then there's this, which I have played this. This is Mushihai. Look at that art, by the way. It's, like, really good art. Mushihai Musama Futari, which that's a very good game. Um... They should put that game on, like, Switch. They should have that, like, M2 do that. Then I have the limited edition, like, Death Smiles uh, box. Um, what else? This is a different Death... What is this one? Oh, this is the Japan Death Smiles. Oh! And there, this, this also... By the way, this is Blueberry Boat. Uh, this is the sequel. So I have all that stuff. Okay? And they've been like gradually putting those um, on, like PS4 usually tends to be. Some, like, they, they, what they really need to do is take all those games and pro honestly like get them onto the Switch. Um, now you're gonna get me on cave stuff. I don't wanna start on that, I'm playing this right now. But anyway, like eventually I'd like to do that. The problem is is like, 
So I really like those games. I'm just not good at them. But the thing is, is like those games are like you have to invest like a ton of time to get good at them. You know, they're they're tough bullet hell games, and um, it's like honestly, I probably have to sit and play, just pick one of them, and every day for like probably months, you know, every single day, just play, 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 play. So that's the reason I haven't really done cave stuff, is they're really hard and they're, you know, to get good at them takes takes a lot of time, so or it would take me a lot of time at least, but uh, I really do like those games, it's just the the, commi the commitment to get good at it is, is a lot, so... You beat and play NES games, they take a lot of time too. Yeah, it, it's a little different though. Um, how do I say that? It'd be like um, I don't know, like a game like Wave Race or something like that. Or like here, here's a better like example, like Mario Kart. Like you know, like when you're playing fr playing Mario Kart with your friends, and like it's like you know you're doing battle mode or you're playing versus your friends, and you play it like every day. Or Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers is something you come back to, you know, and you play every day, every day, and you, you eventually get really, really good at Smash Brothers, or, you know, I'm sure, like, fighting games or whatever. It's, like, the kind of things you, come, you keep coming back to. You get better and better and better. It's like that. Um, any An NES game, I might need to, like, practice for a couple days or something and then stream it, but, like, it's that's different than, like, getting good at, like, a fighting game or, like, Smash Brothers or, like, a cave game. It's, like, you got to keep coming back to it over the course of a long period of time. It's different than getting good at an NES game. It's it's more time consuming to do, you know. If you, like, think about like the people who are like the best Street Fighter players in the world and stuff like that. Like, it, it's, you know, you gotta get like really, really good. Or like if you're somebody who's like gonna get like a high score in, you know, Donkey Kong or something like that. It's, it's gonna take you a very long time. So, it's more along those lines, I'd say, you know, not that I have to be that good at it, but, like, for me to be, like, even be decent at those, I feel like I would need to really play them a lot, and, yeah, I have to, like, really understand all the mechanics, you know, like, legit, so, it's, it's a lot. Not, and not just understand the mechanics, but be able to... Because, like, those games are very deep. You know? Like, Battle Garega and stuff. Dude, it's like... That's a whole... Undertaking. But, yeah, but I do really like those games. It's just... It's, it's a lot, though. So I usually tend to go for stuff that, you know, that I can, like, learn a little bit quicker or do a little bit quicker. It's like I'd stream, like, um, uh, what's it called? The Katamari that we did the other day. That's a good example of a game that you can just put it on and play. You know, you don't really, there's not, you don't really have to learn anything. You're just rolling the ball around. If I had, like, just completely unlimited time... I wish between every stream I had, like, a month. And then I could, like, learn some of these games that, like, are more, um, you know, time-consuming to learn. And then stream, you know? But then if I just popped on one of these cave games, it's just like, I don't know what, what the hell I'm doing, you know? giant cock monster you talking about me right I know, we all know but like right now I'm talking about like bullet hell games and get, getting good at them I wasn't <laughs> you know that what the topic of conversation right now is not my giant dick I'm sorry Later in the stream, we'll talk about that. But right now, we're talking about cave games. We're talking about death smiles. We're talking about Katsui. You got to learn to stay on topic.
Mike is saying something about top secret fighting games. What? <laughs> I'm talking about fucking bullet hells. Bullet hell games. I, lo I love how the chat is always on a completely different topic than I'm talking about. <laughs> it's always like totally different. They're like they're like talking about like Three's Company or something. Would Captain Caveman be considered a cave game? <sighs> that was not. Let's pretend I didn't read that. <laughs> He tried. You, you tried, you know, that's fine. Thanks. God damn it. Now I'm not reading the chat. I, I'm trying to talk about bullet hell games. I'm trying to talk about this game. This is, uh, you know, uh, this is what happens when I go to the chat. Is that, what we, is that what we're gonna do? Puns? Let's do puns. Let's do horrible puns. <laughs> that pun was so horrible, though, that I was like, oh my god. That was beyond. <laughs> that was beyond bad. That was beyond Shadowgate. <laughs> Which I should play some back. What do, what do cats like to read? Literature. Oh. We were talking about... Yeah, exactly. I was trying to talk about Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And then the chat's like, how about cock? And I'm like, how about... I'm just going to play the game and not read the chat. Literature. Garlic petal. Yeah, I have... The mighty garlic petal. All right, here's some gold, unless he turns into a mimic. So the silver ones tend to be the really good items. All right, I better use something. The lightning did hit me. I was wondering if that was a thing. Apparently it actually is. Where is the key? We could talk about, what could we talk about? We could talk about Earthworm Jim. We could talk about Bucky O'Hare. What do you guys want to talk about? You like how those were the things that came to my mind? I was like, okay, so there's, you got Earthworm Jim, you got Bucky O'Hare. Those are your, those are your choices. It's all you get. Cowboys and Moo Mesa. Can this thing die, please? Dude, I, uh, I it's gonna make me go all the way around. Jeez. Oh no, another one.
What does it mean when it does that noise? That's not leveling. Oh, was it a level up? Did I just level up? I think I did, actually. Never mind. So that's a level up sound. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, yo. Come on. Give me something good. That's the aqua shield again. It's always the fucking aqua shield. I mean, it's good to sell, but I was hoping for something else. Because I keep doing these two-handed weapons. All right. Christian ABS, thank you very much for the sub. Total Recall introduced three tits to the human mind. Um, don't you think somebody before that thought of three tits? I'm sure in the history of mankind somebody had that thought, so I don't know. R-Type Final, sure. I have that. Raiden 3. You know what? I think I lost my copy of Raiden 3. I had that. And then I can't fucking find it anywhere. Cash old Shikigami, I, I, I've played that on Wii. Silphied, I have that. Gradius 5, you already know. Yeah, I did. Have you guys seen my Gradius 5 video? You know, in all seriousness, if you guys never watched my Gradius 5 video, sometime this week, we'll go watch, it's on YouTube, watch the, my Gradius 5 video. Gradius. Gradius or Gradius? What the hell? Just like a sword on the ground now? Is that a glitch? Or is he gonna come back? Oh, th no, there he is. I couldn't even see this skeleton. All right, there he is. Oh, whoa, I haven't seen this before. magic when I'm like worried about what I'm fighting. See, it did that noise again right there. And that was like the level up sound. That's why I'm confused about it. Like why did it play right there? What the hell? Okay, okay. Nice! Maybe that's the thing with them. Swing be beforehand and then they'll warp into you or something. Um, oh, oh, he can get me through the walls. Yeah, they were gonna like warn me about that. There's a thing in the town that tells you about the hit, getting hit through the walls. I should now. Now I'm gonna. I'll read it next time. All right. I guess that's how I deal with them. It's starting to get harder now. Good. Oh, 
I just, I just saw it. Alright, it's over there. Oh, level 15. Oh, that's, a, it is a different sound. So I gotta like... I see. Oh, they're fucking hitting me through the... Dude, I hate that thing, by the way. What is this gold shit on me? Is my is my hit points going down? Oh, it's going up. I don't know what the gold shit is on me. Oh, do I have to uh, do the air? Yeah, thank you. I'll do an offering. Thanks. I didn't even notice. I was worried about these enemies. Oh, what? Here. Oh, maybe that's why that was happening. Here, hang on. Uh... Here, take the peppermint leaf. There you go. Boots. You know what? Where is it? One better. I don't know, better is better. Barely, but. Oh, we have snow. Uh, and I call that earlier. I thought it would be like later in the game, but okay, we're at snow. <laughs> Maybe that was coming. Got here sooner than I thought. Reminded that, like that's one reason I want to replay um, Twilight Princess is because I like there's a whole like ice dungeon that I remember I really liked in that game. So maybe someday I'll do Twilight Princess. Maybe it's a long game though. I wonder if I'd still like that game. Got gloves. Squall bottle. Garlic. What the fuck? Okay, two hits. He's he was strong though. So that was a new enemy. Is this guy different too? No, he's the same thing. I'm surprised you ever made it past the intro, considering how many times you just hit reset in other games. Yeah, but I knew that this was like a mystery dungeon thing, so I put up, even like Tornico, the beginning of it has like a little bit of shit in the beginning that you have to like kind of skip through. 
This does too. It's, it's a good like five, ten minutes of bullshit before it really gets going. Which it, sh it shouldn't have. If I designed it, you just go right to the dungeon. You don't give a shit about all that. Just let me fucking play the game. But yeah, I put up with it. Um, here, I guess I'll... I like two of these out. Like, I don't care about this garlic. Spike. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll start throwing the iron spikes. Get some stuff out of my inventory here. Ah! God damn it, I'm hitting the wrong button. Yeah, but you're not wrong about that. Yeah, there is like bullshit in the beginning. I figured, uh, see, I had seen footage of this. I, I figured it was the type of game that I would like, and I know the developer, you know, um, because they did the um, Tornico games and Mystery Dungeon and stuff, so I figured it would be a good game if I got past that crap. So, I mean, because I knew you know, about what it was later, I put up with it. Where normally with a bunch of like other games, like I might not know what the hell the game is, so I'm not gonna put up with all that bullshit, because I, then, then I finally get to the game, and then it's some crap that I know I'm not gonna like. You know? This had a better chance of me actually liking it. You were talking about Twilight Princess, not this game. Twilight Princess takes a long time to get going. Oh, yeah, true. Well, once again, though, same thing applies. That was Zelda, so I knew, you know, I played through Ocarina of Time, so I was like, okay, some more Zelda. So I put up with it, because I knew what it was gonna be. I was like, it's Zelda, I'm probably gonna like it, most likely. Although I haven't liked all the Zeldas. So I guess I give, I give a game more of a chance if I know you know, if I played other games in the franchise that I've liked in the past, you know. But if it's a brand new game and I know nothing about it, and then when it starts out and it's just a bunch of like story stuff, then yeah, I have less patience. I'll just turn it off because I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait and then find out that I don't even like the game, you know. So yeah, does that make sense? So exact same thing applies. He almost fucking fucked me up. He's another one. These guys are getting a little powerful here. Do do do. Now we're into the PS2 era of Mike Matei Live. How does it feel? I gotta get, there's like a million PS1 games I gotta play. I'm skipping around a little bit. I played that, um, what's it called? Uh, 
Intelligent Cube game on PS1. I beat that. I like that game. That was a good PS1 game. See, that was perfect because I was able to play through the entire game in one stream. That's like my favorite thing. <laughs> then I can just be done and move on. Alundra? Yeah, see, that's, there you go. Like, Alundra, I've played it before, but that'll be probably 600 streams, you know? I mean, probably like, what do you think, like 10 streams or something? That's the problem. When you play, it's unintelligent cube. Me too. I mean, I beat it, but not well. Alundra is a super long game, but amazing. Yeah, exactly. That's the only problem with it. Yeah, we're on basement nine. So here's what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get to the boss of this and then I gotta make the decision of should I go back and then level up more? You know, which would be the smart thing to do, and then I could actually get through this. Or, because if I die, everything that I just did is for nothing. So, like, ugh. And some of these enemies I'm kind of having a hard time with. I'm a little, like, God knows what the boss is going to be. Yo, I can barely handle these enemies. How much potion do I have left? And I'm pretty low on potion. Yeah, I don't know. I might have to. As much as I'd like to just go to the boss, I don't know. If I can even make it through this area. Oh shit. Can I get to level 16 before I get out of here? You know what I mean? They're like fucking me up. And also, I, well, you know what? I guess I could I'll at least find the door and then I can see if, like this, this dungeon might go on deeper. I'm assuming like these are all like nine because the other one was, but that might not even be true. Almost out of. And then, oh, they're always like faster than me, though. God damn it. make myself faster. I mean, I probably have too much weight. I mean, that's why I gotta, like, get my guy, like, what, is, what, what would it be like? His... Huh, wait. I, I don't know what it would be in this game to where he could carry more heavy equipment, maybe that's just your level? Because in a lot of these games, you would ha you would also have strength or something, but there is not. Like, protection, attack, defense, intelligence, experience. So there's only, like, so many... Oh, strength! It's under status. So I need my strength up, which probably just goes up with level. So... And then I... Be See how all these guys are fucking red? Like, that's a problem, you know? 
you don't, uh, you don't want that. I'm just trying to find the fucking door. I wish I could use them more than one of these small ones at a time. Maybe you can somehow. If you can, I don't know. See? Just... See? That fucking noise. There's two different, like, victory sounds. Oh, yeah, it's ahead of me. There it is. See this. Huh. It doesn't say anything. Move on to the next floor. So it doesn't say shit. So it might go on longer or it might not. What's up? <laughs> up your strength by making Gil do squats. Oh yeah, true. Thanks, media. Oh, stuntman. Yeah, that was PS2. Yeah, that game's fun too. So, fuck. So if I go through this door, this might be a boss, and then I, so. Okay, so here's the problem. If I go through this door and this is a boss, I have one heal, I have one potion. So I'll die. But, if I go through the door, and it's more level, then... Let's say there was like one, like, what am I on, nine? Let's say, let's say the boss is on like 12 or something, like, I still will be, I'll still run out of potion. So either way, it would even be harder by that point. So I have to fucking leave. Like, there's not a choice. Right, you know, then die. <laughs> Don't risk it. I, I it's, I'm gonna, ha I, I, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I'll die. I will die. There's no way I'll live. I'll, I will 100% be dead if I kept going. Just die. <laughs> Just don't die. Easy peasy. You can leave the dungeon after moving to the next floor without using the feather. Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, like, uh, that's true. When you go in the door, I guess there's like a way to do that. I don't really know about that, like how that all works. I don't, I don't know all that shit. It's like a save and quit too or something. I don't know, this game is weird with saving. Like really weird. It like turns this fucking system off. Like that's... you'd like to store. Oh, I was wondering about that. Oh, crap. Oh, 
Oh shit, you can sell things here? Okay, wait a second. One of my big complaints was that. So you can, s I didn't know you could go to him too. It's a good thing I accidentally clicked this guy. Okay, so one of my complaints just went away. All right. That's good news. Now you can't, I don't think you can buy anything here. I should check out, I need to check out everybody in this room. That's a big deal though. Wait, Iron Blade? Hold on a second. Oh, oh yeah, it's worse, okay. He did say now and then. He's like, now and then I'll, I'll let you like sell things. So I don't know, maybe sometimes he won't. Like... Oh, you can sell multiples, all right. I was hitting the wrong thing. I, maybe I should inscribe. I, I should just inscribe the armor in case I die or something. I'll, I'll do that too. So let's see from this guy. Hang on a second. Oh, that's right. That's where you combine shit. You know. Um, I'm hoping one of these people let me buy like equipment here. What about you? sell, I mean, so it's like half fixed, <laughs> still gotta come down here for this though, this is as many as will let me buy apparently, alright, is more than one item. I don't like that. Like, that should count as one item. You're telling me if I have, the more healing stuff I have, that counts as far as how much I can hold? Dude, that sucks. I'm not, I do not agree with that. Alright, I'm gonna have her inscribe the armor. That way, at least I have something. I think that's as much as you can do for now. You like clink clink when he walks? Bum, 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 bum.
so I can't hold anymore, so I can't take the feather, because... One too many bottles. How about I stick it in your ass? And then I can take the feather. <sighs> That's fucking stupid. Dude, I, that I don't like. I think that I think that the healing bottles should all count as one item. I'm not gonna be able to fucking carry shit, but I got all this healing though, so it's like, I don't know. Like, fuck all you people, I swear to god. It's fucking stupid castle. Give me the fucking feather now. Ishtar can give me my fucking feather. Shut my fucking blue boots up his ass. All right, here we go. Saving. Good, thank you for saving. See, you can save. It does save without having to turn the console off. It's, it's got auto save. And call it macaroni. Stick a feather in your ass. And call it macaroni. We have, I do very mature streams here. I'm very mature, my chat is very mature. Alright, level 16, there we go. Yeah, the iron claymore. Healing key. Good. Yo, he can drop that far. You miss KB toys? Me too. There's not enough toy places anymore. There's like, where do you go? Like, Target? Walmart? Where else? Uh, there, there's Toys R Us in Macy's now. That's about it, right? What else? Where else can you buy toys in 2020? I was almost going to say 2022. 2023 now. You guys believe this shit? 2023? By the way, those flying cars that we were supposed to get in 2020, they're not coming. You ever think about it? If there was flying cars... So imagine if there, let's say that there was flying cars. So at some point there would be a car accident, right? There would have to be, right? So there's flying cars going around, right? So imagine there's a car accident in the sky. You know what would happen? The car would drop out of the sky and like crash onto somebody's house or something. So like, even if you could have flying cars, you can't have flying cars. <laughs> you know? So that that one that one ain't coming. Cause as soon as soon as a car lands on somebody's house, it's over. You know? They're oh shit. Car landed on my house. Uh maybe we shouldn't do this. The houses have to fly too. Okay, so first you, if the houses fly first, okay. First you have to make our houses fly, then that, then the problem is solved. And like all of the businesses. So like, 
you know, uh, the liquor store. You, you know, you're going to go get your booze. That has to be flying in the sky first. And then later, once all the stores and houses are flying, then you can have the flying cars. When will we get belts that make us fly or rocket shoes? Um, <laughs> rocket shoes, like you blow your feet off. I put my rocket shoes on backwards and I blew my fucking foot off. That's probably how that would go. These guys are a bunch of fucks. Alright, potion time. Fine healing potion. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. Fucker. Is this real life? You watching my stream? Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, it is. And this is what you've chosen to do. Do you find this to be a good use of your time? See, I know that a lot of people watch my streams while they're doing other shit, though. I think the majority of people, I don't think there's many people that just, they're just like this. And it's just the stream and they're just, some, some people, maybe. But I think a lot of people, you know, they just have it on in the background while they're doing other shit. Which is fine, I would expect, I would hope that that's how you're going about it that you have another activity happening and then this is just like some background noise. That would be the best. I would recommend that is how you do these streams. Then I don't have to feel as guilty. It's like, yeah, this guy's just watching. His whole life is being wasted by watching my stupid stream. Yeah. You know? I'd feel much better if you guys, you, you have a hobby. You can still watch the stream. But you have like a thing that you do. Dude, this guy's a fuck. That was five hits. Why was that five hits? Beating off. Does it count? Uh, you know what? I'll leave that up to you to decide if that's if that's what you you want your hobby to be. You know, I can't really. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna judge. But um, I was thinking more something along the lines of um, you could you could be reading. You could be reading the works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle while you watch my streams. But the guy is like, well, what about beating off? How about that? What, listen, whatever you want. Alright. 
Okay, this is gold. Oh, not gold. Mimic, fucker. Oh, I don't have the key? I thought I fucking got it. God damn it. Well, son of a bitch. I still don't understand the gold thing. Like, what does that shit mean? It seems like it would be a good thing. <laughs> but I don't know, it's probably not. Fuck. How many of these fucking things can there be? Dude, this place sucks. It sucks ass from a straw. All right, give me this. Shield. Oh, fine ability potion. I thought it was gonna be that stupid aqua shield. I mean, maybe I should, like, I don't want to take the armor off, but it's like, if I took the armor off, I'd probably be getting the first hit on everything, huh? Maybe I shouldn't be wearing this shit yet. <laughs> Do I have another armor to even put on? Could I put the gold armor back on? Why is my guy got to be so weak that he can't fucking have some... Maybe if I get to level 17, he'll be strong enough to wear this armor, like... Let me, let me look at, like, 62. Now we're at, I was at 58, now we're at 62. He still can't fucking... How strong do I have to be to wear the armor and not be, like, weighted down to, like... I don't, I don't have any other armor that you can put on, so it's staying. Strong enough to wield a smash hammer, but too weak to wear armor. I mean, that might be the problem, too, is that I do have this heavy smash hammer. I mean, that could be, yeah, that's probably also weighing me down. I mean, I don't know if there's like a way you can calculate how much more I need. You know, like, like how do I know how much I need? Like, what if, what if I need, like, 64 or something, you know? Like, get a gun from the Shrine Maiden? Yeah, right? She sells a fucking gun. Oh, I forgot to read the through the fucking wall thing. Fucking wizards are coming. There we go. That's how you have the, that thing. That thing I don't understand. Got bottle. No way to t find out other than to take the smash hammer off and see if it lets you put the armor on. Well, wait, wait, wait. No, I have, I have the armor on. This is the only armor that I have. Is this chain mail? So I have, I already have it on. But like, also, like, I'm worried about taking the. I don't want to like unequip the smash hammer because it's inscribed. So if I unequipped it and put it back on, I don't know if it would stay inscribed. That might make me have to leave the dungeon to like re-inscribe it, if that makes sense. 
So I don't want to be messing with that, because that might end this run. So I better not screw with that. I don't need to calculate it. It's whatever. I'll just play, you know, like whatever. I just feel like when you go here, like it'd be nice if there was something that just, like if the game somehow told you, I don't know. Test it out before you leave next time. You know what's gonna happen though? I'm not gonna remember. <laughs> and also, when I am in the town, I gotta read the thing that's about the enemies attacking through the wall. Because they were gonna tell me something about that and I kept skipping it. Fuck. I don't know what to deal with that guy is. Some of these enemies, I don't know how to... Oh my god. I don't know how to handle some of these enemies. Fucking mimic. Okay, it's gold. Shard. health any slower it is really slow i think i feel like tornico you get health a little oh do i have to oh i thought that it was like i couldn't say i guess because the ground oh no it's snow now all right i thought that was like fog <laughs> That's getting like, all right. I couldn't tell if the hell I was looking at. I guess. <laughs> Crap. Oh shit. I keep calling those guys Metal Babble. I think that's the name of the... Like, the metal guys in Tornica, the metal jelly guys. Which are, like, really hard to capture in that. Or kill, or whatever. I know that was a sword, so it was not, but I, I think the, I think that guy was also called Metal Battle, I don't know. Speaking of Tornico, in that game you lost your level every time you exited the dungeon or died, and you didn't mind. Okay. Last stream of this you said you would turn the game off if your level got set back to one. So in Tornico, you didn't mind losing your level every time. Um, listen, I contradict myself sometimes, all right? Uh, I don't know, I like this kind of gameplay, so I put up with it, I guess. I think that maybe Tornico is a little bit of a harder game, because I guess if you're losing your level, there's different, like, uh, um, 
challenge levels. There's just uh, there's different difficulties to roguelikes. And sometimes they'll call it a roguelike, or they'll call it a rogue light. So if this game is easier because you keep your level, maybe this is a rogue light instead of a rogue like. But I think I don't know is is Tornico actually considered a rogue like? See that now we get into that. It's whatever. I, I, I generally like these type of games. So I guess I put up with it with Tornico. You know, I, I liked that game. So, I don't know. So, like, so if I lost my level... To, I'm going to be honest with you. Let's say that I did lose my level. I might still be playing this game. Because that would just mean that this game is even harder. And I like challenges with this kind of stuff. So I still might be playing this. I know I said that. But I say a lot of things. You know? You, you can't, like... Fucking, sometimes I say wrong things. Like, what do you, what do you want from me? It's like a fucking live stream. And I'm just, like, shooting the shit with you. Ima imagine, like, so, you have a group of friends, right? And you're, like, you go out to the bar, and you're just, like, shooting the shit, and you're having a conversation, and then... That's it, and you have a good time. And then the next week, you go to the bar again. You're like, yo, let's meet up on Friday night. And you go out with your friends. And then you're then you're like having a beer or something. And your friend's like, yo, remember last week when you said that you would never drink Miller Lite? And you're like, yeah, I guess. And they're like, what are you drinking right now? You're like, uh, oh, I'm drinking a Miller Lite. And they're like, well, you said that you would never drink it. Uh, pfft, I don't know. I don't know. I just ordered one. I don't know. Like. We have to have, like, a level of, like. People are allowed to just, like, say shit. See, when you're on the, when you're on the internet, especially when you're typing stuff, it's a little better when we're doing this because I can, like, explain things. But, like, if you say something, you're, like, on Twitter or, like, one of these things, and you say something, God fucking forbid you say anything fucking wrong. Because then you have the fucking nerd army coming after you. Like, get a fucking life. Like William Shatner said. I don't know, man. Get off my ass. Listen, sometimes, sometimes I'll say something inconsistent or wrong. You're just going to have to deal with it. That's the best I can tell you. Like, I'm not saying that you're wrong. Because you're right. I did, I totally did say that I would turn the game off. And then you go, and you're then you gotta go through all my videos that I ever did, and find the, like the one time that I didn't do the thing I said. Actually, one time when you were playing, you know, uh, Super Mario Brothers three, I have an example of when what you're saying is wrong. Dude, I don't fucking know. I'm a fucking human being. I make fucking mistakes. Fuck. So is it is that panic? Is that what they're saying that that is? Dude, that is panic. I fucking guessed it. So if you're spinning around like that, dude, that's like a fucking anxiety attack. Your fucking character has a fucking anxiety. Motherfucking uh, motherfuck! I only have. Oh, I have a couple. Oh, 
Suck my dick! By the way, so it is the bats. Dude, that is horrible. Alright, level 17. Oh, so it's a fucking, you're having a fucking panic attack. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, fuck, I didn't even need to do, oh, because I just got the fucking level up. And they give you your health back. I fucked up. God damn it. Now I have to remember everything that I've ever said or ever did. Because God forbid I make a fucking mistake. That, that right, that, that's why you should never live stream. Because of that fucking guy. Oh, you fuck. Now I got fucking poison going on and shit. That's fine. I got a lot of poison potion. I got fucking poisoned again. What is happening here? You fucking kidding me. There, we healed. And then also, I need, like, my health is down. Holy shit. This is exactly me when I play League of Legends. And you get tilted <laughs> like a pinball machine. I say I will never start the game up ever again. One hour later, you're back at it. Oh my god, happy TV, that happens to me too. I'm like, fuck this game. 10 minutes later. <laughs> Time to play again. I was playing, uh, that uh, I was playing the tower defense thing like on my phone yesterday and I oh my god it pissed me off so much and I fucking I same fucking thing I like I was like on one of the like the later stages I, I fucking something happened and it fucking pissed me the fuck off because I was playing it for like a half hour and then I fucking turned it off I shut the fucking app and then I swear to god it was like 10 minutes later I turned it back on and I fucking went at it again I, I got through it but I was so angry. Mike, the guy was joking, but so are you. True. The guy in the chat? Yes, he was. Yes. He's, I know. And I'm, I'm joking? Yes. Sure. Yes. So none of this matters and no one is serious? Right. But don't we all know that already? You see, you're just speaking the obvious. But once again, it doesn't matter, and we're only joking. Have I played Celeste? Yes. I'd, I'd, I'd you had Mike's OnlyFans, you'd see he beat it with boxing gloves. His massive ten and a half inch rod is in boxing glove and beats it. My problem with that statement is how you, you so he said I'd you only had I'd you'd I'd you had retype that I'd you'd had How much have you had to drink? 
decide you'd add a smash hammer. Oh, you see that trap right there? Do you, th do you think if I stepped on that, that I, I you'd had get hurt? Shit toast. <laughs> if only, if only I'd I you'd had shit toast was here. Then, then we'd all be good. But at the moment I you'd had shit toast isn't here. I almost had a fucking healing potion, is all I know. It's gonna be bad news. If only I could carry more healing potion, but- Oh, I'm sorry! You can't bring the fucking feather with you! And the fucking key is on the other side of the fucking universe. Maybe if I could solve the fucking problem with that I can't strike anybody first because my fucking weight is too much. I'm going through the whole fucking game where like every like everybody can hit me before I hit them because I'm too fucking heavy. I'm gonna. I took the fucking thing off. Let's see if it goes green. I you had. I'm gonna get fucked up though. Wait. If I can ever figure out how the fuck to get to the. It was blue. Is that the first thing we've seen that's blue, though? Maybe I should have fucking taken that fucking armor off like an hour ago. I was just, I was worried because I'm like, well then I won't have armor on if I take off the armor, right? Anyway, there's the door, but. See, that's what I, I play a lot of video games. So I can tell you, so if you don't have, here, wait. Oh, he's still red, though. If you don't have armor on, then you don't have armor on. Right? Does that make sense? And he, there, he's still red. So I need to put the armor back on. Also, I think it's still inscribed, though. Fuck. Hold on, hold, hold on. This is just, this is just. Okay, so the chain mail is still inscribed. So I didn't lose that. So if I take the smash hammer off, I won't lose the smash hammer. So you know what I, all right. I'm going to use a balance thing on I don't have any, do I have any weapons? I don't have any weapons. I was gonna put on a different weapon besides the smash hammer. Something that maybe is lighter, but I don't have any weapons. So forget that. Shit, oh! Oh, that's the first time I hit one of those. Oh, and then it just went, ah, ah!
Now I can see again. God. Oh my god, oh my god, this is gonna be bad. I'm gonna try to get through it. Surrounded. I finally find the fucking key. All right, now let me walk for a month to get back to the fucking exit now. My fucking warrior is not balanced at all. He, like... The biggest thing I want to do in this game is balance my warrior. I can't really do, like, I don't have, the smash hammer's too heavy and I don't have, like, a, another weapon to, what about this green thing over here? Is that, like, gonna be, oh, fucking eat my dick! Come here, oh, you lousy scum! For two seconds, got ice. What? Oh, hold on. Oh, it's worse. Fuck you. I'm never gonna get like good armor and shit. Like, I'm just fucked. And there's so many enemies, it's... Dude. I'm like trying to make it as far as I can, but this is going poor as hell. And it's going, and I know, it's going poor as hell because my guy is totally unbalanced and every enemy I'm fighting is red instead of whatever, green or blue, whatever the color is. I'm aware. I I'll fix it when I'm able to fix it. At least I'm like leveling up some more. Like, that's the one thing I guess about this is that you can always be like, well, I, I leveled up. Even if you die or it goes badly, there's at least that. That is something that, you know, can kind of keep me going with this. They gotta, because they gotta give me something. But I guess Tornico doesn't give me shit, huh? Tornico's like, oh, you don't even get that. Fuck you. I fucking beat that game. I One day I should do, like, the 99 floors or whatever, or whatever it is. I think there's, like, infinite dungeon in that or something. Actually, what I'm gonna do next time is I'm gonna play the PlayStation game. That's a great, that is a great game, that Tornico, man. further here, I don't think. I see the key. Yeah, and also, like, how slow the health re regenerates. That is a little bit more, um... They, like, in Tornico, when you're walking around, I feel like they give you the health back better than in this game. This game's more like, you better have potions. At least so far. And like, you know, sorry I'm talking so much about Tornico, but like, that's the game oh, to compare this to. Should I leave? I'm gonna stay a little longer. Here, give me the fucking, dude, the skeleton did that shit to me?
I didn't know the skeleton can make me fucking panic. Can any enemy make me go into panic? Maybe it can. should be doing is just looking around for treasure chests at this point so I can get a better sword. See if I can find anything before I get out of this area. I'll be leaving soon. Like, this is it. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna use the feather soon. Dude, this run sucked. The only thing I was able to do was, you know, level up a little bit here. No, like, no weapons. The red treasure chests are the ones that tend to give you the swords, I think. Alright, that's it. I'm out. Before I fucking die. I'm out. Man, was that the tenth floor? There, or was it the ninth? Twice now, I got to the ninth. Man! Yeah. The Cowardly Lion, please again. You are tr that is true. You compare this to Mega Man 4? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, Pac-Man, actually. Alright. So whatever I picked up, first I gotta, I wait, I wrote, appraise. First I have to appraise. Hey, at least I remember to, re I remember to remember to look at the thing that I can't remember. <laughs> Something wrong with me. I remember to remember. selling. Boy. And I really have nothing. Oh, I have that. Did I have that the whole fucking time? Here, um, so here we go. I'm gonna store some shit with him. Let's store. How much stuff can I put in storage here? I'll keep the smash hammer on me. You know what, I'll store some of this stuff, so that way, like... That'll sell. Alright. Peppermint leaf, don't give a shit. Drain potion reduces HP. What on the enemy? Do I throw that at them? That's weird. <laughs> the energy drain potion. I really love those. I'm gonna hold on to that bottle. Fine ability. Anti panic is a good thing. Now yeah, those are good. Poison. All right. So basically, I just need to get help with stuff. That 
might come in handy. Yeah, it's well, I used it before on the um the like green jelly jello boss, and it was it was all right. The like fire bottle thing. Poison potion is that good or bad? That's wait. Oh, causes poison. Poison. Causes poison. Uh. Unless you can throw it at an enemy or something. I'm gonna sell that too, actually. Thanks for saying that. I was thinking that that was the antidote, is the thing. So, alright. or earrings or whatever they are. They're not giving me any of that. So, by the way, so now I have this. This is like a way weaker weapon, but I'm hoping that now I can actually hit things and have this not be stupid. The, visit the blacksmith to work, merge your weapons into something better. Yeah, but, like, I don't, like... It's the weight of it, though. Like, what am I gonna do? Like, merge my smash hammer and claymore? What if the weight is still bad? Unless merging it lowers the weight, too? I'm, like, worried to do that. Like, what if that screws me over? Should I, should I do it? Should I just say fuck it and do it and merge the fucking claymore and the smash hammer? I think I'm gonna wait until I have, if I have like other weapons, like right now if I had one more sword, I would do it with the claymore and like do it. You don't know how the mechanics work. Dude, I don't wanna fuck this up and like lose my good weapon. So I will, I will do that definitely, but not just yet. I need some more weapons to do it with. Cause I can't go losing like my good weapons or screw it up somehow like I turn my weapon into something like bad or I don't know you'd be trying it with crap stuff just to see how it works exactly I just don't have crap stuff when I ever get like a bunch of weapons and armor and stuff I would be glad to go and merge things it's like very it seems very rare when it gives me a, a new weapon or you know, anything. But we will, we will do that when I can. All right. So so now, so look. Now I'm using the claymore. So hopefully, let's see if more. Oh, yo, this might be. Too many items. Fuck off. Why is it not facing here? so I can do this. Okay, I got another iron claymore. So what if I combine an iron claymore with an iron claymore? <laughs> it's like I wanted a different thing. And 
And look at all this shit that I can't... I have too many of these fucking Anvil potions. Bronze boots. I mean, there you go. So how many boot things do I have now? It's like, it's all the same though, is the fucking problem. I need like different things, I think. Can I get like ice boots or some shit? I wish you could carry more shit. Offer to the gods. Peppermint root. Yeah, well guess what we're gonna be doing with the peppermint root. Just shove it up your ass. There. Okay, so let's see this. So... Yo, so that's green. Blue. I'm striking first now. Strike first. Strike hard. Alright, so there you go. So now I'm getting the first hit, but my weapon's weaker, so it's like... Maybe it's better to use the smash hammer and take the first hit. This is why I gotta be a higher level. Like, I, I need to be... I just need to level, fucking level up is the fucking problem. If, I, if I'm, like, level fucking 40 or whatever, then I'll be able to carry all my shit, and then I don't have to fucking worry about any of this. So the problem is my guy is too much of a fucking pussy. This is a fucking problem. You know? Like, seriously. It wasn't such a fucking pussy. But I am getting the first hit now, so I did kind of fix it. Yeah, if I can fucking kill these guys in one hit. I'd kind of rather take that, get that first hit. There's so many small enemies that are always like hitting me. Like may, maybe this is better. God damn it. We'll see how it goes. See, like that, kind of that situation. That's what you want. See, first hit. Now I'm not gonna, you know, hopefully lose all my health potions because I'm going down the fucking dungeon the whole time getting hit by these stupid enemies. Oh yeah, how about that? Why don't I fucking get that? You found a game that was on Game Master Challenge where you collect diamonds and do Hadoukens, but a platformer called Skyblazer. Wait, didn't I beat that game? Isn't that on Super Nintendo? Isn't that a Super Nintendo game though? Like, what, you found it? You found it probably from watching my streams. <laughs> you found it, okay. You mean Sky? You mean that game that I streamed and beat? Guy comes in here. He's like, "Oh, Mike, I found a new game. You know what it is? It's real cool. Oh, what's the game? Oh, it's called The Nightmare of Dragula. Oh yeah, you found that? Yeah, Mike, I found it. Good job. I'm glad that you found that. I think he's been trying to tell you that for two and a half hours. Who, the, the Skyblazer guy? You've been, for two and a half hours, you've been trying to tell me that you found a game that I already streamed and beat.
Like, am I wrong? I, now I have to look it up. Yeah, dude, I fucking streamed that. It was a while ago, but... I mean, that game was pretty good. From what I remember. I think I liked it. I think I remember it being pretty tough, but... The fucking key. That's what Mike remembers, that it was cool. I guess. Dude, I don't really remember. You don't, it's like a platformer or something, and you're jumping around. Or some shit. Dude, I don't really, it's, all, all I, it's on Super Nintendo. Like, that's all I remember. There's like some platforming shit or something, I don't know. I don't really remember the game at all. I'd have to watch, re that's why, I, that is why I do this and why I have, that is why I made that YouTube channel. Because of, ex for that exact reason, I was like, all right, I'm gonna be doing this live streaming shit, but then like, you know, a year's gonna go by and I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, what? I knew that I wouldn't be able to remember what games I played or what I, or if I, even if I did like, if I'm like, oh, I know that I played Ghosts and Goblins, but like what happened when I played it? Did I beat it? Did I, what weapons was I using? You know, all, like everything about it, like, that's why I like to have that archive of my videos that I fucking remember. Cause dude, you, you keep doing these streams like every, you know, every other day. And it's like, I can't fucking remember everything that I played. I also like to, to have the streams for like proof of shit, because like something crazy will happen. Like I'll be playing one of these Mario games and Mario will like fall through a platform and then you try to tell somebody about it and be like, oh, I was playing Mario one time and Mario fell through a platform. And then somebody's like, well, what do you, I don't believe you. And be like, oh, but now I have the footage. See, back in the 90s, that shit would happen to me all the time. I'd be like, oh, I was playing such and such game and this crazy thing happened and you try to tell somebody about it and they don't understand what you're talking about or they don't believe you. But now you can have the fucking footage. So there you go. That's one thing that's better about this day and age than back in the 80s and 90s. There's one thing. I have found I have found the one thing that's better. I don't know if there's anything else, but at least there's that. I mean, you know what though? Even back then, I guess you could just you could record um, your CRT with like a fucking you know VHS you know camcorder or something. So it's like we kind of had that technology. It's just better now. But then you'd have to keep it all on VHS tapes. You, like, you could technically do that. You set up a tripod with a, and then you put in the tapes and you can fucking record the screen. So technically, but, and then you'd have like your whole room would just be filled with like a thousand VHS tapes. And then like your fucking friends comes over and they're like, what are all these VHS tapes? And you're like, uh, gameplay footage. This is gameplay footage. They're like, yeah, sure. Gameplay footage. Okay. Why do you have that? And you're like, uh, because maybe something will happen in the game that's crazy that I need to show you later. Like, what What would happen in the game that I need to say? Like, maybe Mario would fall through the platform. So, just because Mario might fall through a platform you have your entire house filled with VHS tapes yeah because you want to make sure that you prove me wrong yeah and is that worth it to you yeah totally okay how many VHS tapes do you have down here 14,000 14,000 VHS tapes. Good. 
So that's that's why it's better that we put this stuff on YouTube. See, it is better. Then you don't have to have your house filled with VHS tapes. Now you can just upload the VOD to a website. And then you don't have to fill your house up with VHS tapes. So it, I, I, see, I worked my way through it. It actually is better in 2023 because you don't have to have your whole house filled with VHS tapes. And like then your mom comes over, she's like, what are all these VHS tapes you got? And then you try and explain like Mario platforms to like your parents. They're like, what, Mario? You like Mario? What? Yeah, you like you like that Mario. Yeah, that's great. Get rid why don't you get rid of this v, these VHS tapes? <laughs> They're like, is this, Jeremy, is, this is all pornography, isn't it, Jeremy? Uh, it's Mario. Oh, it's Mario. Yeah, Mario. Okay. We're gonna send you away to that camp. <laughs> that camp that you don't wanna go to. <laughs> oh God, not the camp. Oh no, not that camp. Don't send me to that camp. I, I'll get rid of the VHS tapes. You're going to the camp, Jeremy. You're going. No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell, ask dad. Your father's gonna agree with me. No, he won't. Hey dad, do what your mother says. I hate you. I hate you all. So that's how that goes. Um, I better use something. Anti-poison. I don't fucking know what I'm doing. See, this is where you switch to the smash hammer. Why is he so, cause he had the high ground. Now I'm swapping weapons around and shit. Mike has created a sitcom. No, I, that's just what would happen. All right, so there's like a chest over here. It's like, ugh, it's like that. Can I get like a good treasure chest? Can I get the key? Like, can I do anything? 69, bruh. <laughs> so I better make sure I'm always fighting these guys on a level plane or I have to hire. Oh, now. Now I got the high ground, bitch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bitch. Oh, now I know how to fucking play the, the, the fucking video game. You fucking stupid jelly blobs didn't think I would ever figure out how to play this fucking game, did you? Dude, I fucking saw uh, fucking, what one is that? Revenge of the Jedi's or whatever the fuck. I don't know. The one with the high ground or whatever the fuck. Whatever one that one is. Episode three. 
Oh, there's a green. Oh. The green ones are the good ones. I have those on already, don't I? So, like... I mean, I guess I could have sold those for more money. I should be selling the, like, cheaper shit. That was stupid. What are you gonna do? I fucked up, alright? Now that my level went up, though, can I put the smash hammer on and, and fight these fucking enemies? And if I combine items, will it take the weight down? That's what I fucking need to know later here. But here we go. I'm changing it. Let's say... If it's still too slow. It is. You fucking see it right there. It's still, still too fucking slow. See, it went blue. You, see, you fucking see that? Bitch. Yeah, you can't. You're standing to your back to me, you fucking idiot. Thought wizards were supposed to be fucking intelligent. You're fucking staring at the fucking wall. Asshole. This is the stupidest fucking wizard I ever saw. <laughs> I mean, like, shit. Ugh. There you go. Yeah, oh, I didn't read the fucking thing go about going through the wall. I'm never gonna fucking remember that. See this? He's red. So this guy, he's fa he's fucking fast. So so it's not gonna matter because this guy's like just fast anyway. What the fuck? See, these guys are all fucking fast as shit. So it doesn't even matter. I can't even be faster than them with my with my claymore. Maybe the claymore sucks. Maybe this fucking sucks! Thought the claymore was supposed to be like fucking great because it's faster. It's faster for the skeletons! Then what am I supposed to do? Switch it every fucking time? The skeleton fucking walks along here? Is there like some like bullshit? Here? Like there's some bullshit, right? Here, what do we, what do we got? I don't have like any like little stupid things. Here, use another. How much? Oh, here, let's use some of these up. Grab it. Helm. Do so you think this is gonna be well let's see. I've got the balance. Oh, I should use them on all this shit here. Maybe that's good. I'm gonna start using some of these. Wait, 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 wait. This is a good idea. And this frees up some inventory.
not that I'm gonna use the shield right now anyway, so. I mean, shit, maybe I should be using the. Oh, fucking, I'm stupid. If I'm using the claymore, I can put the shield on, right? Fucking forgot about that. Unless, unless that's too. Is the claymore two handed? Shit, 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 shit. Hang on a second. Wait, let's see if the claymore. Hang on. Wait, wait. It is two-handed. All right, never mind. Fuck. Right. Um. That's all weak. Can't get anything better. What the hell? They're not giving me shit. I can't imagine the claymore being much faster than the hammer. It's still a heavy two-handed weapon. No, you're right. That's absolutely true. It's not even worth it. I'm just gonna fucking put this on. I'm like, I was like trying to make it better for the speed and it's just not, it's just not happening. Yeah. So yeah, maybe when I combine items like, uh, or pretty much he's just gotta be stronger. Grandma, fucker. What? Turn. Oh, he can't do a diagonal. This is gonna be a mimic or what? A thousand hour playthrough. There's probably a guy who beat this in like seven minutes. I'm sure. I am sure that guy is out there, by the way. I know. Hey, Mike, you know the speed run for this game is seven minutes? I didn't even get through like the, the intro cutscene in seven minutes. Oh, whoa! is not more. Oh, well, I don't want to lose that. Fucking finally got a fucking item that's like decent. Like, holy shit, first time for everything. that the weight isn't more boots here you know what I've got a bunch of this bullshit here uh, use it on the boots isn't that what I have already I swear to god I'm just using some of this because it clears out like inventory space there you go good yeah, it's the same. It's a bronze boots. Ever fucking get a pair that's like different? 
but it might be good. I mean, now at least I'm getting some stuff that I'll be able to experiment with to combine, do some combinations. The very least. Alright, I can get it out. Anakin, you're trembling. <laughs> yeah, cool. In the original Star Wars movies, it's like, you know, no, I am your father, you know. And then the prequels, Anakin, you're trembling. Or, uh, do you want some death sticks? Great. Just like the fucking people like defending those fucking movies. Like, are you kidding me? They're doing that to be contrarian, right? Because it's like, come on, <laughs> you know? Like, I do agree with like. I think people were shitty to Hayden Christensen and, and shitty to Jake Lloyd, and I think that that was, you know, bad, because it's like, they're just fucking people, and they, they didn't write the fucking dialogue, like, it's not really their fault, like, I don't think you should be, like, shitty towards, you know, those actors, but that doesn't mean it's a good movie. I feel like just because, you know, they went through this era of, like, oh, you know, they were, you know, harassed or whatever, yeah, they should, they definitely shouldn't have been like treated shitty like that but that doesn't mean the fucking plot and the dialogue of the movie is good you know like it's still fucking bad it's like I don't like Star Trek Picard but leave Patrick Stewart alone you know It's whatever. don't like something, threaten it, that's the new way. It seems to be. It's pretty fucked up. Ooh, we got a weapon. Wait, let's see what it is. Be, be good, be good, be good, be good, be good, be good. Chain whip? Oh, look at, ha! Okay, damage 34 or damage three. I want to see it, though. Dude, now I'm Simon Belmont. Dude, too bad that's not, like, good. <laughs> I mean... If, if I could get a chain whip that's stronger, that'd be fucking sweet. But I can't be having that if it's gonna be that weak. That's disappointing. I was like really excited that that was gonna be like awesome. But it wasn't. Three, oh my god, yeah, nice, huh? It's a good weapon to sell? I mean, unfortunately, I guess so. Or, no, what if I combine a chain whip with a claymore? Let's 
look at this. Look at my guy now. I'm fucking purple and shit. Dude, I have to inscribe this armor big time. That was one of the um, Beagle Boys from DuckTales was big time. So on DuckTales, they named the, Be the Beagle Boys. So the, ho the whole joke, or you know, one of the big jokes of the Beagle Boys is they have, they go by numbers. So it's like one, four, two, two, four, one, or whatever. It's like, it's like they, they swap the numbers around on their chest and that's like the joke and how, how they're like identified. That's, that's the joke. And then the writers of DuckTales are like, oh, let's give them names. It's like, okay, well that just, you just took away the whole humor of the fucking characters. Or, you know, half of the, part of the humor of the character, not the whole humor of them, but like, they're really good at ruining shit. Like, really, really uh, adept. They, they, like, they didn't get the subtleties and the humor of the comics, so they just did whatever the fuck they wanted and made, like, fucking... And that's how you end up with Bubba Duck. Because they just think of it as, like, idiot, you know, programming for fucking idiots. That's what they think. Oh, yeah, superhero character, and Bubba, and Webby, and Mrs. Beakley. Oh, yeah, great fucking ideas. Great fucking ideas. I'm going to complain about this until the day I fucking die, just so you know. Somebody's got to do it. I don't. I don't know if anybody else right now complaining about the numbers of the fucking Beagle Boys on Twitch. Somebody's got. Somebody's got to do it because it deserves to be fucking complained about. get to this. Oh, you fuck. Oh, did it just go? No wonder. I <laughs> actually offer up that chain. I want to sell it, though. Guess one of these. You know what? Somebody's like, oh, because uh, I was complaining. I'm like, oh, you know, they replaced Donald with a uh, launch pad. And when somebody's like, oh, well, they didn't want to have Donald in it because of Donald's voice. Right? So they take Donald Duck out of DuckTales, right? And they replace it with Launchpad, who's just an idiot who slams a plane into the fucking wall. It's like idiot humor. And they're and then they're like, but, but, but listen, though, Mike, listen. The, it, they had good reason. You can't have a character in a 30-minute cartoon, um, in a half-hour cartoon, where you can't understand his voice, right? And, yeah, but guess what? Then they made Quack Pack. Really? You can't do that? So what about the whole fucking show where they did that?
It can't be done. Shut up. And they pulled it off even later than that with 2017 DuckTales. Sure. See, it can be done. But that's what people say, though. Or I guess that's what, you know, people say that that was the reasoning that they had at the time that they didn't feel that they could have Donald on there because of that, which just once again shows how the people making the original DuckTales didn't know what the fuck they were doing because they did it with Quack Pack and then they did it with the 2017 show. So, like, they didn't know what they were fucking doing. And no, nobody out there calls. Everybody just remembers DuckTales as like, like, oh yeah, DuckTales, great show, whatever. And it's like, it, compared to a lot of shows back then, it was a, that was a lot better than a lot of other cartoons. It was. But like, they fucked so many things up. That, like, I don't want to, just because it was better than a lot of garbage shows doesn't mean that it's like this perfect fucking show. You see what I mean? Here, I need to... To use this on it. Oh, iron hammer. Ooh. Oh, same weight. So it's worthless. Alright. Well, I'll sell it then. Or I'll combine it. I'll combine it. Dude, a chain whip and iron hammer. I'm gonna fucking combine those. Oh, I can't wait to do that. I wonder if you can do, I wonder if you can combine a whip with a hammer in this or like that'd be, that's the kind of shit I want to be able to do. Like, it's like some magic fucking bullshit, you know? Dude, if you can do that kind of shit, that would be fucking sweet. I have a feeling it might be like, oh, you can only combine swords that are similar together or something like that. We'll see. We'll see what it lets me do. I gotta get look at this key over here. You like how I'm playing this fucking game and I'm complaining about DuckTales for like fucking 30 minutes? Listen, I gotta fucking talk about something in these fucking streams. Right? So like... What do you want? I have lived in retro video games for so long the nostalgia is gone. It just feels like normal life. Well, then that's a good life, though, isn't it? I feel that way, too. I, I play retro video games all the time. Like, the nostalgia of it. I'll have nostalgia for, like... If it's a game I haven't played since I was a kid... Um... Like, maybe if I were to put on, like, the Sierra games or something, because I haven't really played those since I was a kid. Um, I don't know that that's something I'm going to stream. But, like, maybe something like that. But, yeah, in, in most cases, it's like, yeah, I don't really... I'm always playing retro games, so, yeah, I don't really have the nostalgia, because it's always, like, it's always there. Oh, fuck. Wait, what? Wait, then I'm gonna be able to warp back to this spot? So is this telling me I can go back to the town and then warp back to the spot? This portal is a magic gateway that will transport you back to ground level? What does that mean? Does that mean the town? When you want to enter the dungeon again from ground level, you'll be able to warp to any dungeon floor that has a portal. That's a weird way of warding that, but I think they mean if I go back. I would like to know if ground level means the town. 
So I don't have to use that right now, right? Like, I can just keep going? Okay. Or, and then I can continue on. Huh. Mike, I have a penis question. I'm trying to fucking... I have a fucking gate here. Like, this is a... Yeah, I'm sorry, Dave. They're on there as highlights. They shouldn't be going away. I don't want to be that guy, but save state? Save state on a PS2? How does that work? Not that I would anyway. I'm going to do this. It seems to be a two-way portal with the ground level. Let's see what happens. Fuck it. I better keep all my shit. To the shrine? I better not lose anything. I don't see why I would. I didn't die. If I if I lose my like weapons and shit right now, I'm No, I have I have everything. Alright, first wait, first of all. Everything like costs money. Anyway though, so Smash Hammer and Granite Mail. Those I have like forever now. Okay, so that's really good. Um, let me go appraise some things. Daddy O40, thank you for the sub, and Aqua Vector for thanks for the sub. Oh, it's just potions, okay. Okay, so, now we're getting into where I'm gonna, so first, let's look at what I got. So I have Iron Hammer and Chain Whip. That's what I wanted to do, right? Iron Hammer and Chain Whip, that's what I would like to combine. Let's see if I can do that. So I think this is the guy, right? So, do you have any spare equipable items? Prince, I do. I can combine any uh, equipable. I can combine any kind of equipable items at all. Oh. has been combined. Wait, let me look at this. So that's it. Now it's just chain whip plus one. I mean, it made the damage a little bit better. I mean, if I, if I put both of these iron claymores into the chain whip... What I probably should be doing is putting the iron claymores into the smash hammer and then making smash hammer like plus, right? I think I'm gonna do that. Fuck it, let's just do it. Smash hammer. What if I do it with the chain? No, I'll do it with the iron claymore. It's better fucking be good. 
now. Let me see what happens. Sm that's what I wanted to happen. Okay, it is Smash Hammer plus one. I was worried that I was gonna change my Smash Hammer into the fucking Iron Claymore. Okay. I wonder if there's a limit to how many times you can do that. Oh, I don't have enough money. Right, well. money now? Hey, asshole. Alright, I had the money. Smash hammer plus two. I probably need, need even more money to do more. So look at this. Oh, smash hammer plus two. Let's look at this now. No, don't do that. So, uh, damage went up a little bit, right? Weight? Did the weight go down at all? I wish I could make the weight go down. Rarity three. I wonder what, like, rarity stars you can get for, like, items later. I mean, I, I know I'm going to get, like, better stuff than the smash hammer eventually, but, like... How much would it cost to combine this chain whip and get smash hammer plus three? Can I do I have the money for it? Let's see if I can do it. I don't know. I have 1,400. If I sell something else. Wait, wait. Oh, wait a second, though. Wait, wait. I don't have... Oh, I have a bunch of potions. Okay, so wait. So let's sell... There goes that. Um... Oh, yo. I have this extra chain mail. Boom. Perfect. We're gonna go fucking plus three. I wonder how many pluses we can put on this. This is great. 1,400. Yeah! Oh, smash hammer plus three. I wanna fucking do this to all the, oh my God. This is great. I love this. Um. All right, so I'm gonna get some more potion and shit. I would just, can I like beat level two or whatever? Like, that'd be nice. Also, how am I gonna use that portal? Like, how do I use that portal to get back? It'd probably be better off if I just went through the dungeon again and get, you know, get my level up even more. So that's all I can do. Um, so this like portal. Maybe I just go back to the regular like lady. And then maybe there'll be an option. Let's see. Wait, and this shit is inscribed, right? So I got that and that. Okay, so that's good. Is this how I do this? Underground cave. That's not it. How do you do this? The weight stays the same. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, oh, 
go back to the regular, I mean, like, will it send me back? I guess I'm just, here, whatever, I'm just going to do it, and we'll see if it actually sends me back or not, because I don't know. It wouldn't hurt to have me go through the caves again anyways, so it's like, oh, it fucking tells you after that, okay. All right, here we go. I thought it was like gonna be in another building or something like that. <sighs> All right. So now we're going on past level 10 now. There's the blob, that was the first boss. Yeah, this is 10, which is only just the portal room, right? Basically. Okay, so yeah, this is the portal, and then you can either cho choose to go back or you can move on. All right. All right, was I streaming? I think I'm streaming. Sancho38 gifted subs to the community. Give the subs to Weathered Pecker, Dr. Gonzo, Master Thrasher, DJ Juice, and Caluso, you guys got gift subs from Sancho. Thank you once again, Sancho38. And Retro Junkie gave some bits. Thank you very much. When we when will we get a Mike shit cam for whenever he's on break? I have, we've been through this a hundred times. I shit on stream. When I'm off stream, I'm usually making myself a cup of coffee. Red Zero, I don't even know what that is. Mike, do you have a rant about the Super Nintendo World theme park that opens next month? Um, not really. Uh, from what I've seen, it looks like they're doing a good job on it. I wish that uh, Disney was doing as good a job as Nintendo is doing. I can rant a lot about Disney stuff uh, with their thing. I haven't been to it yet. Uh, from what I've seen of it, it looks really cool. Um, 
I don't know. I have to you, wait until I actually go to the place, and then maybe I'll. I don't know. I could have complaints or something, but I don't know. I haven't. I've never been to it, and what I've seen of it looks cool. I can tell you that um, with Nintendo, like I'm really happy that they. Like Super Nintendo World, it's it seems themed off of like classic Mario, and you know the toys that they do, like the Lego toys, and like the Super Mario toys that you'll see. You go to like Target and you'll see like the toys that they do. Those are all like it'll have like the ship from Mario Three, and like everything is very like classic Mario. It's not like you know. Like they're doing everything has to be like the new era. It's like you, I look at these things and I'm like, oh my god, why didn't these exist back in 1990? You know, it's like I think they're doing a great job um, with with all that. So I don't really have a rant about it. That is my rant. I think they're doing a pretty good job with all that. love those toys. Yeah, they're cool. Anyway, all right, so we're playing um, the Tower, the Nightmare of Dragula. Uh, let's get back to this. All right, we're going to go through this door now. Here we go. So we'll see if this, there's more floors or if this is going to be a boss or what. I'm going to guess that there's going to be more floors. Okay, yeah. Basement 11. So I wonder if this goes to 20 and that's where the boss will be for this area. I don't know. Guess I'm getting a little further. And Sancho, thank you very much. Is this the Godzilla here? Maybe I should let that guy walk around because it seems like he's taken down the walls. Or some crap. Uh, thank you for gifting that subs to the community. Uh, Sancho gifted that subs to B Rad, Setzer, Rob D4700, Salvage Bar, and Megastar64. Thank you once again, Sancho. Who's going to gift the sub to Sancho, though? He's probably already subbed, though, so. Let's see what this is. Iron Axe. Yeah, no. I'll, I'll combine that with my Smash Hammer later. get equipped with Spike. Sancho has a very big penis. Yes. Don't you think? Is this guy, is this lizard guy different? I think he is. Uh, no, he's the same. is what he is. Here's another one. Yikes. 350 gift subs. Is it? Yeah, it's like a lot, right? It's 363 gift subs. Thank you, Sancho. You have a whopping four inches. I'm sorry to hear. This is what my chat's talking about. They're talking about their dick sizes. That's good. <laughs> Sancho is the gifting goat. The downsize is that he won't be allowed to use jetpacks. 
Are, we, are you still on the flying car thing from earlier? Is that over rocket shoes or whatever the fuck? Are you guys still talking about that? Oh my god, that was like an hour ago. Oh shit. Red Roper, Mr. Roper. Stanley, take out the trash. Eat my shit, you bitch. Oh my god. That's pretty much how it went, right? I think that's what he would say. How fucking strong are these? I tell you what, I need some magic, I guess. There you go. Wow, they were strong as shit. Mike, what the fuck are you playing? Uh, so, Sancho, do you remember at all when I was streaming Tornico? For quite a while, uh, for Super Famicom. I don't know if you saw any of those streams, but this game's similar to that. It's, a, it's like a mystery dungeon type of thing. Ooh, level 19, sweet. It's the nightmare of Dragula, but I'm calling it Dracula. Nintendo 64-ish? Well, it's PlayStation uh, 2. I like... I, I want to... So, Sancho, like... So, he gifted out a bunch of subs, but, I, like... You gifted out a ton of subs, and then after that, then you asked me what game I'm playing? I would think that you'd be, like, watching, and you'd be, like, interested in the game, and you're like, oh, I, I like this stream, I'm interested in this, and then you would sub because, like, you like the content. But do you just, you just come here and you just subscribe, you gift, you gift out subs anyway, regardless of what game I'm playing? It's all for you. It has nothing to do with. It has nothing to do with the game. So I could play anything, and you and you do gift subs. Shadow Man, fifty. Thank you also for that sub. That's unconditional love right there. Apparently. Where do I want to see two D Mario go next? Oh, um. Shmup. I want a Mario shmup. I would. I don't. I, they would never do it, but I'd like a. I'd like a violent Mario game at this point, because like we've had like so many Mario games, and I know that's totally not Nintendo, and they would never do that. I'm just saying, like maybe like an adult kind of Mario game, and I don't mean adult like. Mario's fucking peach in the ass or something. I mean, like, adult, like, you know, maybe, like, you know, when you kick a Koopa and then he smashes against the wall and there's, like, some blood or something. I don't know. But that, you know what, that's also very not Mario. Maybe I don't want that. No, you know what the, you know what? No, I, I thought of it. Actually, never mind. Forget all that. I don't want that. That doesn't fit in the Mario world. What I, I have a better answer now. What I would want is I want Mario games that exist in the Mario universe with other Mario characters. And they've done it before, like Wario Land. It's the Mario universe, but you're Wario. How come Waluigi doesn't have a game? Uh, there's Captain Toad. They've done that. So they've kind of done it, but they could do more of that. <sighs> Nintendo also, I think, needs to kind of, like, create some new things. So how about, like, let's meet it halfway and, like, 
maybe a new Mario game with a totally new character. Just somebody totally new and introduce like a new character. But Mario wouldn't even be in it. But it would be in the Mushroom Kingdom and in that world. Maybe like the Koopa Kids are in it or something, but like... Just, or not even, like new characters, just like it, stuff that takes place in the Mushroom Kingdom with new characters, basically. How about that? I don't know. Waluigi Shmup? <laughs> I'd play that. Didn't you play Brutal Mario game from a couple months ago? Yeah, the, uh, I mean, that was fan made. We're talking about, like, if Nintendo actually made it. And that was cool, by the way. That, like, that Doom mod where it was, like, violent. Honestly, like, that's true. I did play a game like that, and I liked it. So maybe you can do it. I mean, that proved that you can, actually. But you know what, but like still though, like for a real Nintendo game, I don't know if I would actually want like a violent Mario. But like, I'll tell you what though, I would want a violent Zelda. I would, I want a really dark Zelda game. Like, cause now we got shit like, you know, there's like Dark Souls and shit. And then you go back and you play Zelda. Cause when I was a kid, I played Zelda too. And I thought that, Zelda 2 was like gonna like I thought like at that point like the Zelda universe was very like dark like that and then after that you know they have stuff like Wind Waker and they like lightened it up and that's fine like I like that too but we've seen a lot of there was like there's sort of that like that almost claymation Zelda which is like that Link's Awakening remake which is really cool like that that's all well and good and you can have cutesy Zelda I like cutesy Zelda I'm all for that but we've had a lot of cutesy Zelda now. It's time for, like, a serious, like, dark adult version of Zelda. Like, it's fucking time. Like, and, like, when we saw, like, Twilight Princess, we were like, oh, that's going to be the dark Zelda. But it's, like, not real. Like, that's not what I mean. I mean, like, a, like, a lot more than that. Like, I want a Zelda game where you're like, oh shit, like, Dark Souls looks like a fucking pussy next to this shit. Like, I want, like, a real fucking, like, I want, like, decapitations and shit. You know? Like, the love, like, Mortal Kombat, like, fucking 10 or whatever, like, the fucking fatalities and shit. I want, like, serious, like, fucking gore and shit. I want Link to disembowel pig form of Ganon like in awesome like like modern graphics that's what I'm fucking ready for at this point like cause this shit is like I I'm good with cutesy Zelda I've seen enough of it and I always wanted Zelda to be more you know, like a darker game like that. I've always wanted it to be that. Like the original Zelda, I thought of it as a kid when I would imagine what that world was like. Like I would imagine like a Stalfos like coming up to me and they would be like intimidating. Not these like jokey like cartoon character things. You know? And they've never they've never really done it, you know? The closest you'll get really is Zelda 2. Yeah. So that's actually the one that I would I would want to be a darker game. Mario. Mario, I just want new characters in the Mushroom Kingdom universe. So there, there you go. That is my long form answer to that. Okay. Thank you for the bits, Sancho. The 14-year-old definition of adult. Y yes. Not in terms of writing or just... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean, pretty much. I mean, like... What are you gonna have Zelda be like a fucking... Like a... 
like an HBO like drama, you know, or something like that. No, I don't want. I don't want that. Yeah, yes, the fourteen-year-old version of, of adult. Blood and guts and gore and violence. Yes, that is exactly what I mean. Might get his ass kicked to the game. I know the exit was the other way, by the way. I'm just like, I kind of wanted to see if I could find a treasure chest or something, but I guess this isn't, it's not worth it. me of the three times I rented this from Blockbuster. Did you actually? That's funny. Do I ever watch streamers like other streamers on Twitch? Uh, occasionally, not too often, but once in a while. Sancho, um, thank you for gifting us subs to the community. Gifted us subs to Tromboy, BK, Ava Waves, Real Fruit, XP, Tang, and Pre Shizer. You guys got gift subs from Sancho. Thank you again, Sancho. Um, yeah, sometimes I'll just look around. I'll look at like the retro section and I'll see what like people are playing. And then I find that like, oh, do I have to use this? Is it like I can't see? I can never, sometimes, doesn't that look like I can't? You got the helmet. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, I don't know what to say about it. Occasionally, yes. Okay, there's the key. Oh, they're hiding the key in the bushes now, okay. What's up, Poldera? Yeah, it's been a, a bit a minute, yeah. How you doing? You're doing the Mario 12 Gems hack game? Oh yeah, like the 12 Gems or whatever. Was it, wasn't that like kind of glitched out or something? I think I kind of liked it. I played like a good amount of it, but then it was like, there was something wrong with it, I forget. Or just like went on fucking forever. Some of those hacks are like, they just go fucking on and on and on. It's just like. It's not even that. Not, some of them. Oh. I was not fucking paying attention. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah, I had to ask me about the fucking hack 
game. So, okay, all I have now is that and that. That's all I have. Are you happy? The loading screens were glitchy, but Mario Sunshine suit was dope. Yeah, but do you, fine, but do you see how, what happened? He's not even, he's just still talking about the hack. All right, well, now I gotta get some money. I'm gonna I'm gonna start at the beginning. Cause now I need money. The only channel tag is retro. Uh, what am I supposed to fucking put in it? I don't even know. Here, can I change it? Here. Category. Oh, yeah, tags. I didn't even fucking look at that. What, what else can I put in here? Play. Can I put PlayStation in? Is that a tag? It's not. PlayStation isn't a tag. All right. How about Mystery Dungeon? Oh, that that actually is a tag. There you go. Mystery Dungeon. All right, what else is a tag? Um, I don't know, How, what else should I fucking tag this shit as? PS2. Okay, that is a tag, good. PS2, is that enough? No, you know what's gonna happen is I'm gonna forget to, I'm gonna forget. And then the next stream I do, I'm gonna be playing like fucking Mario or something, and then it's gonna say PS2, and they're gonna be like, this isn't PS2, this is Mario, and then I'm gonna have to fucking change it. This is why it's only retro, so I don't have to fucking put it in every time. No, I'm not fucking doing this. I'm, I'm clicking off of it. I'm not putting in all these fucking tags. I deleted them. Because then every time I stream, I have to like put the tags in. Why? All I want to do is play the fucking game. Why do I have to sit there for five minutes and, and think of, and put the fucking tags in? Listen, you have to find me. I'm not. You find me. If you don't find me, I, then don't. Then do something else. There's other things to watch. Sancho, thank you for gifting out subs. He gifted out more subs. He's gifted out subs to Muckra, to Kahuna Tuna, Cosmic Cult, Spawn 2023, and Bambo Dildo God. Oh, Dildo God. Thank you for gifting a sub to Dildo God. And Chicken Legs also subbed. Mike is like, I have 500, usually I don't need more people. I mean, like, listen. I'm able to have, I'm able to look over at your comment and read that. You ever go into these streams and people have like 10,000 people watching them and then the, and then the stream, and then it just, there's, you can't even read the chat. I don't, like, it's fine. 
I'm not looking to take over the world here. See, some people think that... See, a lot of people assume that, like, your goals are like, oh, let me be as popular as possible. I don't need to... This is enough right now. Game over. I don't need anything more than this. It's fine. I just want to play... It could even be less. It could be 100 people. Like, I don't need it. It's fine. If you want to watch, watch. If you don't want to watch, don't watch. Like, it's... I just want to fucking play the game. I would like some people to be in here, because I like to talk to you guys, but, like, it's fine. I'm not, like, looking to take over the fucking world. Or, like, I know I know that's supposed to, that's, like, the goal with, of, like, a lot of people, right? You're supposed to, you want, like, a billion subscribers or whatever. Like, I don't care. You could stream 10 hours of Kaboom with 100 people, and it would be entertaining. I would die. It would that would be fine if I had 100 people and I stream Kaboom for hours. That that's enough. I don't need more than that. It's fine. Like. I don't have desires of being like the top Twitch person or YouTube person. I, I don't care. I don't even want to be. If you were like, oh hey, you could be the top person on like YouTube, I don't fucking want that. It's too, that, you know how annoying that would be? You wouldn't be able to leave your fucking house. You wouldn't be able to do fucking anything and then, oh my god, it would be a nightmare. It's like, then you're like, then it would be like, you're, you know, Tom Cruise or something. Like, you can't even go down the street. Like, I don't fucking want that. So, this is enough. In Yugi, thank you for the sub. Hot Tub Stream 1. If Mike had a thousand viewers regularly, you'd be at odds with it. Th like that is like the most I would e like ever. That that like it doesn't ever need to be more than that. Gift subs all around. Oh, you are you? Whoa. Is he? You're just like. You hear this fucking guy? He's just like yo. Gift subs all around. Who wants some? Sancho's like swinging his big cock around. He's like, check this out. <laughs> you like it here only because of the cum related topics? Okay. What? You, not, you don't care about the games at all? That's fine. I mean, listen, I don't know. You can like whatever you like. I don't know. <laughs> not at all. It's a, not at all. <laughs> oh, you don't like the games? It's like, oh, no. No, not, not even a little bit. Well, I do, so it is what it is. Aslan wants to know how many subs does he have to give before he will have a big cock? Oh, because I said it, Sancho did? I thought you were literally like, yeah, if I gift out enough subs, will... <laughs> will that happen? Um... Oh, I gotta get the fucking key. I can't believe I fucking died on that other stage. I was like doing pretty well. That was a like, huge fucking setback. But there you go. There's. That's mystery dungeon games for you. So now. 
I mean, should I go beyond the gate here? Like, I don't even know. I guess I'll... Oh, I could go this way. Oh, there it is. Yep, there it is. But, I mean, you know, I am generally making progress here. I mean, I got better weapons. I mean, all this shit sucks now, but... I don't know. Oh, fuck, here. If I do... There. Fine healing potions. Where's the regular heal? Do I not have any more healing potions? Fuck. That's, that's right, because when I fucking started this, I couldn't buy a bunch. Almost forgot. Denji, Red Zero, gifted out some subs to the community. Gifted out subs to Lone Swordsman, 126, Lesser Kuma, Victor Kun, 1995, and Dark Star, 1915. Thank you, Red Zero. You were the one I was yelling at earlier, right? What did you ask me? Now I don't even remember. Oh, he asked about like the previous stream or whatever, and then I went on a rip. You see that? He pointed out a flaw or whatever in my streams, and then I yelled at him for like 20 minutes, and then now he's gift subbing out to the community. See, there's a guy that can take some ball busting. See, I like you. You're great. You've, re you've redeemed yourself. Actually, honestly, you didn't do anything wrong in the first place, so you're fine. <laughs> it's only it's only my fault, actually. <laughs> I'm the I'm the psychopath here. So what are you gonna do? Gifted out subs, gifted out subs to M. Sant. Greetings Programs 28, Lego Skinner 703, Viney Lead, and Civ 79. Thank you very much for that. I'm surprised there's not like a hype train going. Like, you guys have been gifting out so many subs. Thank you. Do I like Blazing Chrome? Um, yeah, I'd like to stream it again, actually. I played it when it came out. And I beat it, and I, I liked it. Uh-oh. This thing is such a fuck. Nah, I probably don't have any left, right? I don't have any healing shit left. Um, wait, though. I should use it on the helmet. What if it's a good helmet? Oh, it's not. So I'm, I'm about to die. And I have no potion. Alright, I have to leave. This is unfucking believable. I'm getting nowhere today. I don't have a choice. Oh my god. Uh, an indie dev guy gifted out subs. He gifted out subs to... Jay Murder, Zombie68, Blackhawk81, Yoshio-kun, Dirty Danny, <laughs> Chasm1992, Mage and SR, Mr. Sajiro, Sergeant Schmegma, uh, and Elias... You guys all got gift subs from Indie Dev Guy.
<laughs> Thanks, Lindsay Dev guy. <laughs> How much money? Six hundred dollars. Swear to God. What's the course of action? I'm gonna see if I can sell anything. I'm gonna go buy some potions and go back. Like, it's just like. I got really screwed by dying, er like, earlier. I mean, that's what happens. It's a mystery dungeon. I wasn't paying attention. One of the guys killed me, and then I lost a bunch of progress, and that's the thing that makes these games hard. So let's see what I can sell. Oh, wait. Yo, I gave some... I have some stuff in that inventory. I forgot. Hang on. Gifted out subs to the community. Gifted out subs to Ed Toad King, uh, MLC4050, Ultima26, Dirty Unicorn Puke, and Count Daro. Thank you once again, Sancho038, for gifting out those subs. And um, how you doing, Dirty Unicorn Puke? Thanks for watching the stream. What's your favorite game? Dirty Unicorn Puke? What would you like to see me stream someday? I, I was asking Dirty Unicorn Puke, Tilty. This other guy goes, Ghosts and Goblins. Excuse me, I was talking to Dirty Unicorn Puke. I'm gonna I'm gonna start earlier because I'm not. I mean, fuck. I don't know what to do. It's like ugh, I could go through the entire first dungeon and then like get a bunch of money. It's just like this is gonna take me the rest of my fucking life. Um. I guess as long as I'm playing, I'm making progress, right? 
Or if I do the fucking, no, fuck it, fuck it. How about this? Basement 10th floor, fuck it. This terrible idea, I'm gonna do it. Excuse yourself now, apologies. You're good. And then the unicorn puke never even fucking said anything. So, yeah, you're good. I'll talk to you then, because you're the only one talking. Fine. Tilty, he wanted ghosts and goblins. But I've done ghosts and goblins. The guy, who? The, t the unicorn puke guy. That didn't fucking... I'm gonna, I have to take a break for a minute. <laughs> All right, so what was going on? He will never stream the games we want to see. What games do you want to see? Tell me. This is where I ask, and then the guy, he'll never respond to me. This is what always happens. I'll, I'll point out a specific person, and then they don't respond. I'm getting used to that, too. All, all these other people respond. No, I want the respond from, it was Brown's fan one. He's not going to say anything, now. We said a bunch of games, and I'll respond. No, I want I want a response from you. I want you to list the games that you want. Everybody else is responding except for him. He said he'll respond. That was his response. You're not scared to talk? That's fine, but list the games. You're saying everything but giving me the answer. You said Dungeon Warfare. I've streamed Dungeon Warfare, though. So I did that already. Also, that's a great game. But what do you mean? So, the game you asked for, Dungeon Warfare, I've streamed it. So, I have streamed what you want. You never finished? I don't have to... I, I don't necessarily finish everything that I'm going to play. I am under no... Uh, contract or obligation to finish every game that I play. <laughs> you said you were going to finish it? I say a lot of things. How many times have we got to go through? This is going to be like the third time today we're going to go through this on this stream. So, like, don't... Don't get me started. <laughs> Carson, thanks for the sub. So like, I'm just, I just, we're just shooting the shit here. Just cause I necessarily say something. I might not necessarily follow through on everything. And sometimes I change my mind on things. So if I, if I say something, and then three months later I say the opposite, sorry. Thanks for being a real person. <laughs> Mike is allowed to change his mind to chat. Thank you. Sometimes Mike ends with David the Gnome and sometimes he doesn't. Listen, I have to be in the fucking mood. And also, like, I'm not just gonna do everything forever. 
you know? Like, I did, remember the Twitch switch? I did that for a while, and then I was like, all right, that's enough of that. We've seen it, and I was good. I was, I was done with that. So sometimes, time, time moves on, and things change. I know it can be difficult to accept. Like, one day, I won't be streaming this game anymore, but there's some people here that like this game. There was a guy who said he rented this from Blockbuster. So, like, time moves on, things change. Quantum Fighter NES. I'll write it down. I'll look at that. Quantum Fighter NES. I don't even remember that. Anyway, let me get back to this. All right. Um, all right. Oh yeah, I fucking was a crazy person and I went to the tenth floor. Let's see how this goes. Probably bad. So I have no. I have, like, shit, basically. I have shit. Alright, floor 11. Let's, can I even make it through floor 11? Dude, look at my helmet. Am I fucking Shredder? When did that happen? When did I become Shredder? What the fuck? not the only bottle I'm gonna get today by the time this fucking stream is over. <laughs> All these fucking, uh, there's a, where's the, I started, when I started this fucking stream, there was a bunch of fucking drunk people. Are they still here? They passed out. You already beat Kabuki Quantum Fighter. Oh, is that the game he's talking about? Y you mean Kabuki Quantum Fighter? Yeah, no, I, I did that. That's a great game. I didn't know, oh, 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 yo, yo, uh, check out my YouTube channel. I did that already. That's a good game, but I mean, I beat it, so I mean, I don't know that I, I need to do it again or anything, but that's, that's a, I love that game. Really good one. I mean, I don't know, maybe I will play it again someday. But yeah, I mean, if you want to see me play that, yeah, you can look at the old stream. I don't really have any reason to play it again right now. Hey, hey, hey! Iron Gauntlets! I knew I came down to this dungeon for something. So you know what I wish I could do? I wish I could zoom that bottom right map out. I wonder if there's a way to do that. <gasps> Holy shit, you can. You hit select. Dude, I didn't fucking know I could do that. Oh, look at this. That's more like Tornico, too. Uh, oh, this fucker. I'm gonna fucking give him a shaft strike. God damn it. How are you this strong? And I used magic and shit on him. Oh, here goes all my fucking everything. Oh, 
Okay, so one good thing happened. I got, what was that? Uh, uh, gauntlet. I got some better gloves that are two better. They were four strength, and these are six, six strength. So here's here's what I did. That's great. See, like I got uh, I got those iron gauntlets, and that's it. Did I get money? Not really. Uh, Sancho, thank you for gifting out subs. Sancho's getting me through this stream. Uh, Otto, you got a sub. Robert loves Liz. Got a sub. Avocado halves. Got a sub. Sky Chief. And CT1000, you guys all got subs. Thank you very much once again, Sancho. Alright, so I think I'm gonna have to go... I, I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to go to the easier dungeon and, like, get some money and shit, because this is just... not going well. You know? Sucks. So I'm gonna sell. I thought I had something to sell. Don't I have anything to sell? Not really. And these gloves. I'm gonna like. Actually, that's it. It's just those gloves. I kind of don't want to do that though. Like, you know what I want to do? Oh, wait. Um. I'm gonna give him his gloves. It's like, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to the easier dungeon. I'm, I'm, I need to, like, have potion and... I'm just gonna have to grind. This is gonna, this is gonna be, unfortunately gonna become grinding now, because I'm not getting anywhere. So it's grinding time. As much as I don't really want to do that. We're gonna go this first one. Wait. Oh, you can't, I can't go back there? Okay, so I guess I'm going to the beginning. We're not gonna go to the 10th floor, so I'm gonna go to the first floor. So I can do that, though. That's as much as I can do. <sighs> Shit. Oh, this is... I, I know about Moonrider. <laughs> Thanks. I'll play it in like 10 years. Everybody, like, always, they want me to play, it was like a Castlevania Chronicles thing. There's some new Harry Potter game or something everybody's talking about, and then there's this Moon Rider game. These are the hot games of the moment. I don't know how many times I gotta fucking talk about that I don't always stream the latest, most hyped games. Like, maybe I'll play them someday, like... Just because a new game comes out that everybody's talking about doesn't mean it gets pushed to the front of the line. Not here, anyway. I know a lot of streamers do that. I, I'm, I'm not doing it. You know? You want me to promote the latest game? That, they pay me. They can pay me. How about that? Like, what do I get? Like, right, I want to play this right now. This is this is where I'm at. You want me to play, like, whatever, the new fucking Harry Potter or whatever? Fucking send me a fucking check. I'll, then I'll fucking play it. I'm playing this shit. <laughs> like, Swear to fucking God. Like, right? Like, wouldn't you do? Isn't that what you would do? And maybe, the, and maybe the game's fine. Like, it could be a good game. I don't know, but that, I'm just not playing that right now. I'm fucking playing this. And you know what else I want to fucking play? I, pl I want to play this fucking title Legends shit. And Burnout 3. Like, that's what I have right now to play.
But what if all of a sudden a new fucking game dropped? Oh my god, a new game came out right now. Um, you know, uh, Car Carnival 8000 just came out. It just came out. Oh, did you guys hear about it? Uh, let's turn this game off. Let's turn this off and put on Carnival 8000 right now. Because that just dropped. It's the new hot game. Gotta stop everything. And make sure that I fucking do that. What am I getting hit by? Did you see that? Oh, is there a fucking... Is it this guy? It's this fucking asshole. Let me just fucking stop everything that I'm doing. I'll pay you $7 to play Minecraft. I Yo, I like Minecraft. I played it. Um, back when I did that Inspector Gadget video, I didn't. I just... I didn't know what the fuck it was. I was just trying to make fun of YouTube. Because everything on YouTube was Minecraft. So I, that's why I made that video. Because I was like, okay, I don't know anything about Minecraft. So I had Inspector Gadget play it. so Because I didn't know what the fuck it was. Because it had just come out. Um, but since then, um, like a year or two ago, I, I played Minecraft. I like it. It's like a fun game. Contra Shatter Soldier PS2. Yeah, I've tried it. I'm like horrible at that. I ha I have it, and, and I have the other one too. Contra Neo, I think it's called. Minecraft and Fortnite are easy to shit on, but man, they're popular for a reason. Honestly, like I I like Minecraft and Fortnite. I like both of them. I know, like, the retro community doesn't, like, want to hear that, but it's, like, they're fun games. I played both of them, and I like both of them. I never played that other... What is the other one that's... The Roblox? I never, I've never played that. So I, I don't even know what the fuck that is. But, um... I know that that's, like, popular, too. Uh... But, yeah, like, I played that. They're, they're good. Like, I don't know. Like, Minecraft is basically just fucking Legos, and, like, I like Legos. Like, you guys don't like Legos? Like, you know? You're just gonna, like, just, like, build anything. But, I mean, that's, like, the building of it. If you just like to build stuff. But then, like, there's, like, monsters and stuff, and you, you go around and, you know, you build stuff and whatever. It's, it's fine. I don't really love how it looks. Um, I kind of wish the graphics were, like, different or something. I think that's why I kind of, like, was... I, I got into, like, Valheim a bit, because Valheim was, like, sort of Minecrafty to where, like, you can, like, build buildings and sh shit like that. But the graphics were, like, more sort of, like, realistic. And that's one thing that I did like about Valheim, for sure. Um... So I, I definitely, and I, by the way, I've, I've tried the mods too. There's like all kinds of like mods that you can do for like the graphics in Minecraft, but I didn't really find one that's like, com like changes it like completely. Oh, Iron Blade. Um, wait a second. Basically, I'll just fucking combine this shit with the smash hammer when I can. You farm the ore. Yeah, all the, well, yeah. Well, like, so in Minecraft, you go out and you, like, you use the pick or whatever, and then you get different types of ore and all that. And that's the same thing in Valheim. You go and you get, like, copper and you get iron and all this stuff, and then you, then you can build shit. It's, like, the same thing, you know? I mean, not exactly the same, but it's it's like pretty similar. Now, I'm getting like all these weapons now, so this is great. I wish it would give me like some different boots and shit. Boots, not boobs. 
You play World of Warcraft for over 356 hours. I, I know people that have played certain games for thousands and thousands of hours. I have a friend who, what was the game? I forget what game it was. I have a friend who played something for like, like 2,000 hours or something. I, I don't think I've ever played anything for that many hours. Honestly, though, speaking of Warcraft, I mean, Warcraft 2, I used to go back and play that a lot. That's probably the game that I put the most hours into, like, in my life. Um, I don't know how many hours. Probably not, I mean, I don't know. I, I wonder. I have no idea. I mean, that's the thing. Is like, back then, like, the 90s, like... 2000s, like, it, you didn't have this stuff like Steam to, like, log your hours and everything, so I have no idea how many hours. Doesn't fucking matter anyway. Let's say we knew, the, let's say we knew, and it was, like, 1,100 hours. Okay, like, what does it fucking matter? Actually, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't fuck. it doesn't fucking matter. A lot, a lot of hours. A lot of time wasted. Do I need an exact count of how many hours? What does it do for me if I have an exact count? So, so I, I can be fucking anal about it and then I can fucking know the exact amount of fucking hours. I don't need to know the fucking amount of hours. What am I gonna do with that information if I have it? Nothing. spread the word? What, to tell everybody how many hours? That's the last fucking thing I want to do, honestly. Yeah, well, you want to know how many hours I played the Nightmare of Dragula? 13,000 hours! You know what, maybe that's not something I should tell people. Maybe that's something I should fucking keep to myself. I'm going to, I'm going, I'm going out, after the stream, I'm going to go to the fucking bar, and I'm going to, there's going to be a fucking guy sitting there, and, you know, and he's like watching the fucking football game, and I'm going to go, excuse me, sir, he's going to go, huh? I don't know. Yeah, would you like to know how many hours I've logged into the Nightmare of Dragula for PlayStation 2? 14 million hours! Like, it's like telling people how many hours you've been beating your meat. That would be probably more interesting. How about that's what the Steam should add that. If you could connect your, you put like a, a microchip into your cock, and and then it connects to Steam, and then every time you beat off, it logs the hours. That's that would be better. Then 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 I go out to the bar and I say to the guy, "Excuse me, sir." And he's watching he's watching football. I say, "Would you like to know how many hours I beat off? I have the exact count on my Steam account." <laughs> huh? One million hours. Okay. And then, and then, let's say, and then the guy, guy has the information, right? The guy is at the bar, he's sitting there, he's watching his football game, and then now he knows, he knows the exact amount of hours. Then what? What good did it do anybody? What good did it do him? What good did it do me? They tell me about logging your fucking hours in your fucking Warcraft game. Guess what? 
Doesn't fucking matter. When is this fucking son of a bitch gonna die? And I don't have a fine healing potion. Yeah, get the fuck. Oh, level 20, motherfucker! Got potion. Look at all this shit. So all of this shit is unidentified? Holy shit. Well, it's, at least I'm getting a bunch of stuff here. So what were we talking about? I don't know, I don't fucking remember what the conversation was. Beating your meat, oh. Yeah, I'm done with that. We don't need to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sancho. He gifted out more subs. Once again, he's getting me through this. He gifted out subs to Doom Reaver. And then there's Re Reaver. -er. So we got Doom Reaver and then Reaver. -er. Those are two different people. You guys both got gift subs. Yurigami. Merrick01 and then Charred Dick all got gift subs from Sancho38. Did I say your name right? Is it Charred Dick? That's it, right? Like, that's Charred Dick. And then Retro Mog also sub says hi. Hi. Uh -huh, I'm talking about Charred Dick. see the fucking map. I mean, it's it, like the map is there, it's on top, but I got like I can't fucking see it hardly. It's very hard to make out. Oh, now I got one of these up my ass. I'm running from this thing. I do not want to fight that. for horses. Unidentified potion, then it, it turns me into spinning. Well, well, look at how many un unidentified things. Gold seventy two. I only have seventy two gold. Everything's fucking 
became unidentified. I'm so fucking annoyed with it. Get, fuck this. Spinning around. I don't even think I had the thing to fix the spinning thing because I fucking died earlier. I had like a million of those anxiety fixing juices, gummy berry juice. I don't even have the thing to fix the spinning. Sit on it and spin. Oh, and then the other thing, I don't even, I don't even have the money. Well, I have to sell something, because I need the money. Here, iron blade. I guess. Here, now I can... Now I can do this. Alright. Identify all this bullshit. Identified. How much money do I have now? 952. That's it. <sighs> oh, look at that. What? I have all this shit I could put into the smash hammer if I had the money. Well, I could sell one of, you know what? I'm gonna sell that. Let's see if I can level it up again. What if I get this shit to level four? 1,800? Yo, I can do it with that. I'm doing it. Oh, level four. I mean, I am making progress. It's like really slow, but I'm, I am making progress. My level's 20, I got smash hammer plus four. This shit this is all shit. Well, how come I never get these? Like, I want those. Like I'll go get a little bit of health shit and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go through this fucking dungeon and I'm gonna fucking find some what are they earrings or some shit? How come I can never have that? I had some at some point and then I lost everything. I need to be able to inscribe more things. I need like ah. fucking chat and I fucking died. Some guy's telling me about a hack that I fucking played on stream already and he's playing it or something. And I'm reading that and then I'm not paying attention and then some fucking like skeleton or some shit like chopped my fucking head off. give you the feather to get out. Unless you, like, 
actually choose to go into it without the feather. But then, like, that's only if your inventory is, like, totally full. Is it a modded PS2 or normal? It's a normal PS2. It's a slim model PS2. It's just the um, cable is, uh, um, what's it called? HD Retro. It's like a component cable. It's the only difference. So if it looks better, that's why. Is that why somebody in the chat thought that I could save state? Because it was like... It, does it look like an emulator? <laughs> Is that why? No, it's a real system. It's the real system and it's the real game. It's just a component cable. That's it. Yeah. Oh, what, is that a purple? Wait a second, what? Ooh. I'm gonna use it. Well, well it, like, so I open all these treasure chests. You know, how come it's never? These fucking earrings, or whatever they are, or I, I, not earrings, I guess. What would they be? Like a necklace, I guess. Mike has a PVM CRT. Um, I do. The PVM sitting here. It's actually the camera you're looking at me with. The, it's sitting on top of the PVM. I moved things a little bit. I use that for my Dreamcast stuff. Shield. I mean, I am finding like all these. Fucker. Fucker. Fucker! Oh, uh, you know what? Eat my dick. Dude, you're a bitch. Give me more gold. I'm gonna fucking do this, man. I wanna fucking beat this game. I want to beat the game. So when you come back in like a year and you're like, oh, you said you were gonna beat it. I would like to, but maybe I won't. Maybe I'll get stuck or some shit and won't be able to. So I wanna fucking hear about, you said you were gonna do it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Is that clear enough? Maybe. Probably not. I'll pr you know what? I'll probably make it like halfway through the game and then it, I'll beat like a boss or something. And then I'll turn the game off and I'll save it. And then I'll forget that I was playing it and then I'll end up playing Atari. And then I'll forget that this fucking game exists. And then three years later, down the line, I'll be like, oh, you guys remember that fucking Nightmare of Dragula game? I don't remember how to play that. Like, let's be real. <laughs> All I 
know is that I, I, I'm fucking Shredder right now, okay? I'm, ha I'm Shredder and I'm happy. How come this game isn't more like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? This is the backstory of the Shredder. <laughs> That's what this game actually is. This is how Shredder became Shredder. And there's, and there's no story involved, you know? He's just walking around with a fucking axe or whatever. A giant hammer and smashing, smashing shit. And then he became Shredder, and that's it. Don't fuck with him. And so that's the story. So next time, when people ask me, yeah, but what's the story of this game? I'll say, it's all about the Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And they'll say, what? That game has to do with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yes. And then they play it, and they're like, yo, hey, Mike, I played that whole game. And I beat it, and it didn't have anything to do. I didn't see anything about Shredder or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like, what were you talking about? And I'll say, huh? What? I don't know. I don't remember. Did I say that? I didn't say that. And then they'll say, you did say it, because uh, there's a VOD of you saying it. And then I'll say, I don't, I don't know. Well, I don't care. Fuck you, I don't care. <laughs> I'll say, fu I'll say, fuck you. <laughs> Is Splinter my balls? Yep. No, apparently in this game it's orbs. There's orbs. <laughs> when I get senile, I'll play King's Knight again. I mean, probably. We're pretty close to that already. So I, I, I replayed something the other. Oh yeah, Fester's Quest. Why did I do that? I had some reason, I think, when I started it. I don't remember why. I had some reason to reply it. I don't know. You know why I wanted to? Re I think I wanted to reply. I mean, I guess watch the watch the vod. See, that's why the vod exists. I think it was because I wanted to remember exactly what sucked about it or something like that. I don't know. I found out, like, I thought that there was, like, only one thing I didn't like about it, which was, like, it not having checkpoints. And I'm like, is that true? Is that all I really dislike about it? And then I played it again, and I was like, oh, no. And then I made a list. There was, like, eight or nine things that I really had a problem with. So, actually, it, it, <laughs> I was, like, defending that game for a while. I was like, oh, no, no. There, it's, it's not as bad as you think it is. And then I replayed it, and I was like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> Hang on a second. Yeah, no, no, yeah, this has all kinds of problems, actually. <laughs> never, never mind, oh, yeah, this sucks. <laughs> totally a game that needs a hack, though. Could be awesome. idea with this game is you go, you go and you get the key and then you go to the door and then you go in the door then after you go in the door there's going to be like another area yeah that's what I want oh, those, these fucking things I got the high ground though bitch why are they so strong now? Didn't, don't I have like a level fucking 15? A fucking... Yeah. 
Like, right? I'm like level 20 and I have a smash hammer plus four, but these things are still surviving. What did I just get in the fucking thing? I didn't even fucking see it. Oh, I have a chain helmet? Did I just get that? Oh, oh, oh! Well, excuse me. Oh, okay, wait. Yeah, wait, that's way better. There we go. Oh, now I'm not Shredder anymore, though, but it's a better helmet. Sancho gifted out subs to community. He gifted out subs to Kev171, Rune Rim, Page Sphere, Seeker Gather, and Double Fat. Thank you very much, Sancho, for gifting out those subs. <laughs> All right. Why is there eight billion guys? Stop it. How the fuck do I get over to this? It's this way. This whole area sucks. Leave me alone! Why are they so fucking powerful? Like a hundred fucking hits and like ten fucking potions. Now I don't even have any fucking potions. Like, is this, this is going like in a fucking circle? And I'm using, I use the magic shit on them. I use all the magic shit on them. And then these guys, you can't even fucking kill them. Iron spike. I'll give you a fucking iron spike. Oh, here comes fucking Gandalf. Fucking bitch. Yeah, get the fuck out of my fucking face. Oh, then there's these fucking things. These fucking things and those fucking things and those fucking things. <gasps> you mother, you mother. No, get away from that. Ah. Bitch. What's this green shit over here? Oh my god, what? I'm gonna like not have health soon. I panic. Fine ability potion. All right, well, I guess I'm using it. Oh, I've got four of those. Oh, no, that's for the fucking magic. Oh, I, I do have some healing. All right. skeletons. Uh, do I have another like faster thing to put on? 
No, it's the same way. difficult enough for me to get to this fucking thing. Oh my god! What? I thought I was there. Oh, do I have to go all the way around? Oh, I hate everything! Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! This way, you, what? What? I thought I knew how to do it. I can't go. Oh, oh. find my way through this fucking maze. Oh, this is... You know, I'll tell you what, at least in Tornico, like, I usually didn't get, like, trapped in a maze like this. Seven forty seven. Stuff and I'd get a bunch of money, or do I want to like 
start combining. Yeah, I should combine the chain things with the granite mail. Is what I, probably what I should do. So all the so what do I have? I have one chain mail, and that's it. And the, sh the shields I should definitely sell, because I'm not even using shields. Maybe I should be. And this thing is worse than what I'm using, right? It has to be. Let me look. Yeah, so let's sell the fucking helmets. I'm gonna combine the chain mail with the. Alright. Come here, motherfucker. We're combining this with that. And we're gonna plus one. Plus one granite mail, guys. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> it only cost me $1,800 to do that. So for $1,800. I got plus one on that, and I still didn't get any fucking necklaces! Amulets. <laughs> Amulets. the map in the middle of the screen because I moved it so I could see the whole map but it's still hard to fucking say you can break the dungeon walls is that why I couldn't get through that area so some of the walls are breakable fuck all right, well, I didn't know that, really. Costs a little health, but you can break. Oh, fuck, I think I remember that from like way, way early in the game. Oh, I forgot you can break some of the walls. Oh my God. Almost for nothing. Slow and steady. Anti panic potion. Yeah, right. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna go, I guess, back into the dungeon. Now what do you think though? So should I should I just jump to the tenth floor, or should I go to the first floor? Like, what do you guys think? First, I was thinking that too. 
what is your goal? <sighs> to like, like level up my guy and not die. To not die. To not die. So I guess that means go to the first floor. You know. Second. the treasure chest, okay. I like couldn't move into the treasure chest and I was like, why not? All right, I didn't see the slime. Thank you Corbin County Jr. for the tier one sub. Is that worth it? It's gonna be a fucking sword or something. I'm gonna. F I'm doing it. And then that fucking appears out of nowhere? What? It was. It is a weapon. And then what is this? Finally! Equip that shit! It's a ring. Wooden ring. Better than nothing. About fucking time you, the game gives me a fucking ring again. Dude, if I lose this fucking ring, I'm gonna fucking freak out. Thank God. A wooden cock ring? That sounds like not a good idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> there, there's a reason those aren't made out of wood, isn't, isn't there?
I should I should just go after the green like dots on the map because those are the good treasure chests. Ugh, like go out of my face. Is there enough knights? How about a couple more? That's fine, I'll bash all your fucking skulls in. I can do that. It's fucking fine. If that's what you want. <laughs> so you think I can bash those trees down? Like, what can I bash down? Like, these, should I try it? I mean, I'll take damage if I do. Uh, Sancho, thank you again for gifting out subs. He gifted out subs to... Uh, Barna Beast, uh, Gearick, Get a Life, Dumb Shooter, and Alan99999. Uh, if you guys got a sub from Sancho, let him know you appreciate it. Thank you very much. fucking guy like here fatal crush guard up like I don't know there that fucking got him good I, I had already smashed his head in like 50 fucking times though god there better not be another one of those fucking things I don't know why they made those so strong like Every time I get to one of those, it's like, just, just use up like 50 of my fucking potions.
stop it. So you can't break down the trees, I guess. <sighs> Jeez. This is unbelievable. How much gold do I have? Five sixty seven. Like fucking any money. Anti-antidote. This guy. Fucking bitch. It takes like two hours to le fucking level up. Iron mace? Okay. Wait, what did I? Chain gloves? Yo. Ugh, they're worse. But I could combine the chain gloves with the iron gauntlets for money. And then what was the other fucking thing I got? Oh, the, yeah, the mace. Oh, shit. less weight and then we don't know what that is. I should uh, let's use this on the uh, weapon iron claymore so it's like I have all this shit that I can I'm not gonna have the money to combine anything though you know if I could just find like 10 tr gold treasure chests <laughs> If I could just find 10 gold treasure chests, this will just be all fine. Granite mail. Oh, I could sell that though. That's probably worth a lot of money. Okay. Too many, too many items. Not in a second there won't be, cause I'm gonna use some of this shit. Got boots. Let's see what these boots are. Do I have any more things? I have, oh, I have five of these. Bronze boots. Isn't that what I have on? I think that's what I have on. Oh, wait. They're like slightly better, okay? I'm getting some shit here. And I guess you, like, literally can't break through the trees. I don't like that. Is that true? Like, what if... Oh, God damn it. Oh, here we go. This is the exit. Get out of here. I know there's, like, more, like, stuff, but... I just want out. Have I acquired any of the power crystals yet? Nope. I'm not doing shit. Set of fat, thank you for the sub. I'm trying to like do anything. I just learned, I'm like 20 hours into it. I learned, I just learned that I can break down walls. So I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing great. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> you know, it's like not, it's not going hot. Nah, I just walked into a trap, so that was good. How many pumpkin points have I accumulated? The fuck is that? Is that a real thing? You making shit up? Oh, 820 gold. Okay, that's good. How many pumpkin? 
fucking points do you have? Dude, I don't fucking know what that is. <laughs> this is the best walking simulator? Yeah, but walking simulator, all you would be doing is walking. I'm doing 10 million other things. What, so any game where you're, okay, and then Mario's a walking simulator too, because Mario walks. You use that for games that you basically only walk. You see how many other fucking things I have to do in this? Are you fucking crazy? So I'm gonna go. You see a green floor? Yeah, the, the grass in the game? That's right. The, the, healing potion. I guess I'm gonna be using the magic things more because like that's filling up half of my fucking inventory. Here, you're gonna get magic. How about you? I'm gonna give you a shaft strike. Bitch. <laughs> they gotta call it that. Like really? You know, you just know that that's what they were thinking. They were. They. That's what that they were. I've decided. I don't even need it on those guys. This is gonna be all trees that I can't get by. I got that. Get me the fuck out of here. See, it's like I don't even need to be down that. Oh, this bitch, though. Hold up. You're getting that. There you go. Oh, yeah, I need to use the thing, don't I? Um, here. Forgetting. There it is. Next. Actually, let's look and see if is there any green. There's a, there's like a blue one, but. so much. I'm gonna give him a shaft strike. That didn't even fucking kill him. Alright, so we I need to, to use the green here. A fine ability potion. There you go. 
And then where's the other? Here's the healing. What we got in here? Iron spike. Should I throw an iron spike at somebody? I'm gonna do that. See something different. Next, I don't care who it is. Any enemy is getting an iron. Do wait. I saw somebody coming. Come here. You're gonna get the iron spike. You're getting it. You're getting the iron spike, motherfucker. <laughs> He's getting the iron spike. <laughs> Let's go. It didn't even fucking do. Oh, c why? Cause he's iron. Did it? Wait. Did he even fucking do anything? I don't fucking know. Fucking waste. I got a hundred fucking jelly beans coming after me. Is there nothing up here? I swear, you know? I go to turn on these magic things and then, or like, throw something. And then it's like, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw another, I'm trying it again. Bronze spike. I mean, maybe because he was right next to me. Maybe they gotta be further away. Is that the problem? Because you're throwing it? I guess. I guess. Now I'm all into this shit. Here you go. It didn't even fucking kill him. What a waste of fucking time. Alright, we got the fucking door, but... Let's look at this. Okay, so... Boom. Hey, motherfuck. So if I like, how do you get back there? Oh, you know what you gotta do? Like this way. Oh! Now I'm interested. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Do I have more of that bullshit? Balance. Iron Spear. Yeah, I've never seen that yet. There, somebody way earlier in the stream was asking me if there was a spear in the game. And apparently there is. Why are you hurting yourself? Why are you hurting yourself? Why, why are you punching yourself? Why, why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Why hit yourself? <laughs> All right, basement 10. So this is where the portal's gonna be, right? Which I should use it for sure. Or do I have to go like one more? I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. We're using the portal. This item is a two-way portal that will take you to the ground level. Yes, I do want to use it. How long have I been playing this? Five hours and 30, I gotta stop. Five hours and 30 minutes. I feel like I didn't get at barely anywhere. I mean, I got somewhere, but like barely. I, like, I'm gonna have to put it in a bazillion hours to get anywhere in this fucking game. All right, so. Let 
One thousand, I only have a thousand dollars. I gotta really think about what I'm gonna do here. So, wait, wait, wait. Okay, there's all this shit, right? And then there's the... I could sell that, or I could combine it with... I could combine the, that granite mail with that, or I sell that granite mail, which will give me a bunch of money, and then I can upgrade the smash hammer more. I mean, fuck it. Just go, go for smash hammer, you know? Why not, right? I would make my smash hammer, like, bigger. I got this big ass smash hammer, but why not? All right, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sell this fucking thing because I already have a granite mail, right? So I get 2,700 for that, right? So sell it. And then chain gloves. I'm not working on gloves right now, so I'm working on one thing at a time here. Oh, and then the shield has to be appraised. So then the next thing, we gotta appraise shit. Thank you, Sancho. He gifted out subs to D. White Hill, Single and Loving It, Lynx, Pale Cat, Doom Slayer, and Big Viking 89. Now, hang on a second. I'm appraising all this crap real quick. And then, so. Also, the shields, by the way. The shields, I don't need. So, shields gonna go. I'm not using the shields right now. Maybe later in the game I will, but not right now. So there go the shields. Like tremor bottle. Do I need that? Squall bottle. Those are pretty good. Like I have an anti-panic. Like that's a good thing to have when you go spinning like an asshole. Oh, and then the iron claymore. Oh, well, that's what I'm going to use to upgrade the... All that shit I'm going to use to upgrade the uh, smash hammer. So let's upgrade the smash hammer. All right, here we go. Smash hammer. The, so that iron spear is, like, the most expensive one. Can I afford to do that? 2,000? Yeah, I can do that. I'm going to do it. Smash hammer plus five. Okay, ready? Just combine it with that. Smash hammer plus six. Iron mace. I can't afford that. I'd fucking do it if I can. Let's see if I can sell anything else. To, what do I need? Like another thousand? Shit. Um. I don't know that I have. sellable enough to do that. It's like all this kind of crap I don't need. Yeah, I don't have, I don't have enough. So what I probably should do is, fuck. Um, oh, that's as much as I'm going to get the, the smash hammer for now. Smash hammer plus six. Granite mail. I'll have to bring that up later. And so I'm only doing that and that because see see the little flash? Those are the ones that are inscribed. I'm only leveling those ones up because I'm not going to lose them, so I might as well only work on them. Eventually, when I beat, like, the next level, then, you know, maybe I'll choose the helmet or the gauntlets or something, and then I'll start, like, combining things for those. But, like, if I'm if there's, if there's a chance I'm going to lose them, then it would be stupid for me to do that. That's, that's why I'm putting it into that and, and this, by the way, just so you know. Um, also, how strong is a smash hammer now? So 42. I forget where it was, like, earlier in the stream. But uh, Retro Mog gifted out subs. He gifted out subs to Mr. Foodski, Big Muff, uh, or Big Buff, sorry. <laughs> That's something else. Uh, blind Guy, Hanu Patra something, and Virgible. Thank you very much. Those are from Retro Mog. Thank you for gifting out all those subs. Okay, um... So, what should I do from here? So, wait, I have a thousand. So, I, okay, I can go. No, don't talk to him. I don't. Oh, I know what I need to do. I keep forgetting about the guys that attack through walls. 
I fucking finally remembered. Guys that attack through walls. They attack through walls. They attack through walls. Was it this guy? Tell me. About enemies that can attack through walls. It only took me five hours to remember to do this. Ghosts and dark spirits can attack through walls. Okay. Even if you can't see an enemy, be careful. There isn't one attacking you from the other side. I'm sure. If you're caught off guard, you can lose health. Dungeons are dangerous places. Keep your guard up at all times. I pray you keep this point in mind. That's all I have to read. That's it? I'm waiting the whole stream to hear about... So, you're telling me what I already know, that I can get attacked through a fucking wall. I thought you were going to tell me how to deal with it. I think you should be sent, Spearman, and you, Spearman, you should fucking be sent down there for bad advice. You fucking idiot. Okay. So I'm down in the dungeon, and I'm getting attacked through a fucking wall by a ghost, and then I come back, and I ask you for advice. Oh, hey, so I was down in the dungeon, and there was a ghost attacking me through the wall. Do you have any advice? And the guy's like, oh, I have advice on, um... I have advice on getting attacked through the wall. Oh, yeah, okay, what's the advice? So, when you're in the dungeon, a ghost can come and attack you through the wall. I hope that helped. Fucking dick. It's like, it's, I swear, that's like my chat. <laughs> That's like when I get scrambled eggs in my chat. One guy tell, tells me one thing, one guy tells me another thing, and another guy tells me another thing, and I'm supposed to decipher what the fuck I'm supposed to fucking do. I don't fucking know. Everybody tells me a different fucking thing. Buy items. Yeah, buy some health. Good. Now get like five of them, and then let's get some of these. All right, and that's for me to go back in there. All right, tell you what I'm gonna do. Um, from here, I'm saving the game. Check this out. So I'm making sure that I save all this. Saving data. Do not remove memory card or turn, and then save successful. Turn off the PlayStation 2 console. And then, and then you go like this. Now the console's off, and that's how you—that's <laughs> that's how you save it. I mean, it was—it it is saving. Otherwise, like whenever you go leave the dungeon or whatever, it do, it does save it, you know, quite a bit actually. But it's kind of funny that that version of the save just shuts, shuts the system off. It's stupid. Anyway, that's enough for now. I had enough of this game for the moment. I'll come back to it some point later, and we'll see if we can make it further. All right, guys. Um, if you have other PlayStation games you want to recommend, drop a comment if you see this video later on YouTube. That was Nightmare at Dragula. I also, at some point, I'm going to play these title legend games. I got Punisher. I got Time Splitters. I got Burnout. All kinds of stuff. And uh, thank you very much, Witch Knight, for gifting out subs to the community. They gifted out subs to Mushi X4, Evil Alex, Dodger Frank, Megalodon7, and Tau Pixel getting in some last minute gift subs. Thank you very much. Thank you, Daniel, Daniel Rocha597. Everybody that subbed today, or gift subbed, subbed, everything. Thank you very much for that. Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon. Uh, yeah, I know there's like the Final Fantasy ones. There's also a isn't there like a racing game, like Chocobo's Racing or something? I think I tried that one time. Is that PS1? Or something. I forget. Um, anyway, I remember seeing the cutscene for that. And it was really cool. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. That's it. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.